subscribe, this is where you want to be, cause you know we gon' talk about it. Happy Hump Day, Wednesday. I know a lot of y'all <laughs> probably is evening time. Y'all about to go to sleep. Your girl just woke up. Woo! <laughs> I slept long, y'all. I slept long, baby. 
I slept long, 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 long. I slept long. I slept long, y'all. I slept long, honey. I need y'all to go grab your waters, your waters and your crackers. Go get them. Go get them, honey. Go get them. Go get them. Go get them. I got mine, but I might need to go get me another one. I might need to go get me another bottle of water. Matter of fact, I am. Hold on. I'm going to give me another bottle of water. Go grab your water. <laughs> All right. I had Grab me another bottle of water. <laughs> All right, y'all. Hey, everybody. Special shout out to my members, to my moderators. Y'all know I love y'all to life. All my other supporters, I love y'all. Thank y'all for coming up. We need to have a conversation. We need to have a conversation. Hey, Felicia. She's, I'm at the Africans giving me a breakdown. So, so be get be get me right. Okay, girl, gonna get beautified, honey. We all need to get beautified. We all need to get beautified. Go get your waters, your tea, your coffee, or whatever you want to drink. Just gonna get it. So let me say this. Let me start off. First of all, <laughs> thank y'all for reaching out to me. And if I have not responded back to you, I apologize. I will. I will sleep. <laughs> And I woke up to a whole bunch of uh, missed calls and uh, messages and and messages in my inbox. I'm like, what the heck is going on? Like, what's going on? So anyway, first, let me say this. Let me put this out here. I am not here to bash anyone, okay? I'm not the one that's going to sit here and spill all the beans on whatever, whatever. That ain't the type of person I am. I ain't doing that. So if you're here for that, then might as well just get gone because that's not what I'm about to do. But what I am going to do is I'm going to caveat off of what I've already said, and that is there ain't no teams no more, y'all. There is no teams. Let's Kill that noise. There is no teams, okay? Ain't no team this, team that. We need to stop fighting. Seriously. Stay out the comments fighting each other. There ain't no teams. There is no teams. Fake news for views. No teams, baby. No teams, okay? I feel like both parties... That was once teams have been played, okay? And let me just explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. There's no teams. There's no need for us to continue to waste our time fighting for anyone, okay? No teams. We should not be fighting. And when I say we, I mean the supporters as a whole. All the supporters that went against each other. Fight. <laughs> Swinging. Stinging. Whatever. Stop wasting your time. Because that's exactly what you're doing. Okay? <laughs> Let's just keep it above here. You are wasting your time. You are not appreciated. Okay? Okay, you are dispendable. You are not needed. You are not valued. You are not appreciated. Okay, you are nobody. You are nobody. And I hate to say that, but it's just true. It's true. Okay, you are nobody. Unfortunately, you can hear anything you want to hear. You can hear all day long, I appreciate this, I appreciate that, I appreciate this. Lies, lies, and more lies, okay? Lies. You are not appreciated, okay? 
Stop wasting your time. Don't do it. It ain't no teams. How we, like I said yesterday, or whenever I said it, yesterday, day before, whatever. We are here battling each other, talking about each other, going back and forth at each other. Okay? For what? For what? For somebody to say, I didn't ask you to do that in no way. Somebody to say, you should have minded your own motherfucking business. For somebody to say, I could argue with my nigga if I want to. I can have a conversation and go back and forth with my nigga if I want to. It wasn't for y'all to say shit, huh? You're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. Period. Don't do it. Okay? Don't do it. You're going to look like a goddamn fool just like I do. Yes, I look like a fool. Okay? And if anybody want to make memes and laugh at me, go right ahead. Honey, I already got all my tears out, baby. All of them, honey. All of them. I'm done. I'm so freaking done. One thing I do not like is an ungrateful motherfucker. <laughs> I don't like ungrateful people because I'm grateful for everything. Everything that I have. Everything that happens to me, everything that comes to me, I'm grateful. I don't like ungrateful motherfuckers. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Now here, this is what I'm saying. Neither one of the parties give a two goddamns and a fuck about you, okay? So stop fighting. Stop it. Cut it out. You're wasting your time. Go back to doing whatever you was doing, picking vegetables, you know, I don't know, detailing your cars, house hunting, going on vacation trips, loving on your loved ones, playing with your grandkids or your children, whatever you was doing before. Go back to doing that. Watching your favorite reality shows on TV. Go back to doing that, okay? Because to here, I can argue with my motherfucking nigga if I want to. And nobody told you to do this. And you should have minded your motherfucking business, okay? It ain't cool. It's hurtful, okay? Especially when you thought... Especially when you thought you was doing the right thing. Especially when you thought that it was needed. It's funny when someone needs you, right? They co-sign your bullshit, okay? But when they don't need your ass no more, it's nobody asked you to do it. You should have minded your motherfucking business. Yeah. It, I, ain't, I ain't tell you to do that. I, I, I've been telling you, you know, whatever the fuck. <laughs> it's hurtful. It's hurtful. And to be told, I don't give a fuck if I lose two or 300 supporters. I got 3.2 million on this channel. I got this amount of million on this channel. And I got this amount of million on this channel. What is it to lose two or 300 supporters? Yeah, the two or three hundred that was motherfucking standing on the front line. Huh? Really? Really? So anyway, it's hurt for y'all. And I ain't trying to throw nobody under the bus. But at the same time, I'm here to warn y'all. I can't continue. I can't continue to go on and be entertained. And, 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 and hey, Latanya, I'm sorry. I didn't see you. What's going on, baby? Hey, what's going on? Not much, girl. Got to get some shit off my chest. <laughs> what you got? I know right you. Oh, I got a lot. I got a lot. <laughs> I had to take a deep breath. But let well, me you just say that. Right quick until I finish, or you want to go ahead and say yeah, No, right? you go ahead. You go ahead, because I want to piggyback off you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh -huh. So I'm going to drop you down just until I finish, and then I'm going to let you back up, okay? Okay. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm not going to drop you down, but this is what I'm going to do. Hold on. I, it, it don't matter. I'll let you say it. So listen. So anyway, where was I? 
Okay, I don't know what I, where I was at, but what I'm saying is, this is not to to throw nobody under the bus. Well, yeah, it is to throw somebody under the bus. It's to throw the 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 whole the whole shit up under the bus is what it is. Okay, we shouldn't be out here windmilling, and this ain't just no one sided thing. This ain't no one sided thing. In my opinion, neither one of the parties give a fuck. The the parties are the family, to be honest with you. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm gonna keep it. I'm all holding the motherfucking the buck, okay? Not nobody, the party or the family, give a fuck about the little people, okay? We're the little people. We are the little people, okay? They don't give a fuck about us. We are the little people. And that's why we shouldn't be fighting, okay? And that's why I said yesterday that there's, this is a call for peace. It's a call for peace because we shouldn't be battling with each other. We've said a lot of nasty things about each other. I'm talking about the content creators and the sponsors. I mean, not the sponsors, but the supporters. Because we thought we was doing something right. We thought we was needed. We thought that we were standing in the gap. No, we were standing in motherfucking quicksand, Okay. That's what we were standing in, motherfucking quicksand. All of us were standing in quicksand, okay? If someone appreciate you, they will appreciate you from the start to the end. They don't appreciate you during the battle, and then after the motherfucking battle, they don't appreciate you no more, and then they get amnesia. People get amnesia these days. God damn, really? And you know what? I'm going to tell you this. I don't nobody owe me shit. Shit, so I ain't gonna sit here and act like nobody owe me shit. Yes, I did come in this fight voluntarily, so I'm not gonna sit here and say somebody owe me this or somebody owe me that. No, I just don't like ungrateful people. Use your mind the words that come out your motherfucking mouth, okay? I would never tell someone that stood in the gap for me that you should have minded your motherfucking business, okay? I would never say that. I would never say anything like that. I wouldn't never stun you like you don't mean shit. I wouldn't do that to a person, okay? We ain't got to be BFFs or nothing like that. But to act all nonchalant and funny and 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 and, <laughs> and act like I, I was having an argument with my motherfucking nigga. Y'all the one jumped in it. Like, oh my God. So anyway, I'm telling y'all today, please go back to your regular lives. Go back to doing what you love to do. Leave it sit alone. Leave it alone. I promise to God, leave it alone. Yes, it was when I fight. We shouldn't have got it. But when they do, listen, <laughs> they'll give you a shout out and tell you how much they motherfucking love you, right? To get up under the other person's skin. But when they start back geeking and sneaking in the background or whatever, and everything is all peaches and creams, they'll have you out here looking like a goddamn fool. So what I'm saying is, Stop looking like a fool. We looking like fools out here. There's no teams. Drop that shit, y'all. Please. Just drop it. Just drop it. You know? Just drop all that shit. It ain't no teams. Team this. Team this. Team activate. Team this. Go after this. Go after that. No. Drop all that shit. Just drop it. Please just drop it. You know, and a lot of y'all, let me say this. There's out here mad at Jenny, right? <laughs> y'all out here mad at Jenny. You know, I ain't no, I ain't no, I ain't no Jenny fan, right? I ain't, I ain't a fan, fan of no fucking body no more. I'm done being a motherfucking fan, okay? Fan, supporter, I'm done with that shit. Yes, I'm going to learn to mind my motherfucking business. Do you hear me? I'm going to learn <laughs> to mind my own motherfucking business, okay? But a lot of people out here are upset at Jenny. Don't be upset with Jenny. Do not be upset with Jenny, okay? Because things are definitely, definitely not as they appear. I said this before, and I'm going to say it again. What you see on the internet is not always a clear picture. You, you will see and hear what you see and hear on the internet, but behind closed doors is a whole motherfucking show going on, baby. <laughs> so all I'm
I'm saying. I'm not here to don't 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 either don't twist my words. I'm not here to say that you know this, you know, I'm not even talking about who's right or who's wrong. I'm just saying as the supporters, we all been played with, okay? We all been played. All of us have been played to think that we were supporting an individual. We wasn't. They are a team, okay? The family is a team as a whole, okay? The family is a team as a whole. Let the family stay a team, okay? That's the team. Let the family stay a team. And we stop battling with each other. We wasting our fucking time. We are not appreciated, okay, at all. We are not appreciated. So stop, stop wasting your time. I still see people as of last night arguing back and forth with the with. I hate to even say the other side. Oh my god, it just make me. <laughs> it make me mad to even think about it. The other side. No, there's no other side. Stop saying the other side. You whoever still saying the other side, you drinking the Kool Aid. You drinking the Kool-Aid. Wake up. There is no other side, okay? There is no other side. Stop drinking the Kool-Aid. Stop being mad at people you don't know and battling with people you don't know about a family that don't, don't give a fuck about you. The family as a whole do not give a fuck about any of us, okay? Any of us. We all been played. Period. Okay? Fake news for views. The whole fucking saga is fake fucking news for views. Period. And people can say all they want to. Well, more you made money off of it. Yes, I did. And I'm sure I wasn't the only one. But I don't even want to make no more money off of that fake ass shit. You hear me? I don't want to make another motherfucking dime off of no fake ass shit. Okay? My support was real. Okay? Real, real. My support was real. Because I thought it was needed. But now that I find out that it was not needed and I should have minded my own motherfucking business, those words will stay in my mind forever. Okay? Those words, you should have minded your motherfucking business will ring clear to me forever. Okay? Now, you're right. I should have minded my own motherfucking business. We all should have, y'all. We all should have minded our own motherfucking business. Okay? When somebody tell you something, what do they say? What my Angelo say? When when someone show you who they are, believe them. Okay, stop covering it up. Put sprinkling sugar on top of it, spreading butter on it and shit, trying to make it seem like it ain't what it ain't, it ain't what it is. Cause it is what it fucking is. It is what it is. Let's just stop. It is what it is. When someone show you who the fuck they are, believe them. Trying to make it seem like, oh, you know, they're young. They don't know yet. They haven't learned. People know when they do shit to you. People know when they shitting all over you. People know when they can laugh and play in your motherfucking face. And if you continue to let them laugh and play in your face, guess what they're going to do? They're going to continue to laugh and play in your motherfucking face. But you can't continue to play in my face. You can't continue to tell me that what I did wasn't shit. Or what for my own personal gain, and I'm throwing up names for clout. <laughs> clout, contrary to anybody's belief, I don't need no motherfucking clout. I don't need no clout. I can come on here for clout. <laughs> I don't need no clout. I ain't never thought about being no goddamn content creator. This shit just came after I got in it. After I got it, I came, I came to this motherfucking internet not even knowing how to work the motherfucking live video and, and stream yard and all this shit. I did this shit because I thought I was needed. I thought I was standing the gap. I thought I was pushing a whole bunch of bullies off of someone, right? I thought I was protecting someone. To find out that I should have minded my own motherfucking business and they can have an argument with their motherfucking nigga if they want to. What? Hurtful. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Most definitely. Okay? 
So people let the family argue with themselves. If they want to argue with themselves, let them argue with themselves, honey. We were supposed to just sit back and watch. We wasn't supposed to support or stand in a gap for them at all. We were just supposed to watch, honey. It's a whole big ass reality show. We were just supposed to sit back and enjoy and laugh with our popcorn, honey. We wasn't supposed to team up and hoorah, hoorah. We support you. We got you. We love you. We're here for you. We celebrate you. We wasn't supposed to do that, honey. We were supposed to just sit back and watch this big ass show play out into the end, honey. What? That's what we were supposed to do. We weren't supposed to get involved. But we did. It's our fault for getting involved. Huh? You see how they want to blame it on the supporters now? Do y'all hear me? They want to blame it on the supporters for getting involved. Y'all the one got involved. Y'all the one made it this. Y'all the one made it this. Because we wasn't supposed to do that. We were supposed to just sit back in our recliner chairs with a big bag of popcorn and our wine. We were supposed to just watch, y'all. We were supposed to just watch. We wasn't supposed to say shit at all. We were supposed to mind our motherfucking business. That's what we were supposed to do. You hear me? And let them. That's what we were supposed to do. But unfortunately, somewhere along the line, we took side. Yep, we did it on our own. We did it on our own. And now we're told to back the fuck up and check the fuck up, okay? So I'm here today to say there is no teams. Stop saying the other side. And I know it's going to be hard to say because I didn't say it. I keep saying it. I need to stop. Okay? There is no size. There is no team. Ain't no team Robert, no team Latrue, no uh, team Bree. You know, it ain't no uh, Bree Highs. I ain't, no, I ain't a part of nothing. Okay? Now, if y'all want to continue on, <laughs> If y'all want to continue on, you go right ahead, but you're wasting your time is what I'm telling you. You're going to look like a goddamn fool. We all look like fools, okay? Period. What you got, Tanya, baby? Hey, girl, I was letting you get it out. I was just sitting here listening to you. But um, I got to be a little long-winded because I got to oh. take us back just a minute. <laughs> okay, take it back. I remember when... Girl. I remember when this whole saga first started, and I think I, I came on one of your lives. You was just start like on Facebook, and I forgot it was like four of us up there, and we was talking for a little while. And I'll never forget, um, you know, I said, um, you know, I keep thinking about the fact that, you know, Brianna's, you know, mother is deceased. And I said, I have a daughter around Brianna's age. And I said, if any, if you know, I said, if something was to happen to me, if I, if you know, if I was to die and my daughter was left back in this world, you know, being abused like that and attacked like that, I said, I would want some strong women to put their arms around her and protect her. And the thing is, girl, I got so much to say. I was, whoo, let me, let me take a deep breath. Yeah, honey, I'm telling you, I tell you, I didn't cry so much. <laughs> I'm, let me take a deep breath. Let me take, oh, Lord. But Brianna, no, girl, listen, don't give me Brianna, <laughs> Brianna, you know, now I got to talk to Brianna. It's like she's my daughter. And I mm -hmm. talk to Brianna like she's my daughter. I love Brianna. You know, I'm a fan and I've been rocking with her in the background. But Brianna prayed for a soldier and God sent her one. God sent her one. You know, people are quick to say, God got me, God got me. God uses people to bless you and to move you forward. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? It's like people are so quick to say, God got me. I don't need nobody but God. How is God going to take you to the next level without using other people? You understand what I'm saying? So God, when that girl prayed, God sent her a soldier. Somebody that can handle the ugliness, the nastiness, the dirtiness of what was coming at her. Mm -hmm. He sent her a soldier. 
Now, I felt as though this was going to end like this because I knew how the enemy was after her and how all the ugly in everybody came out because that was all that I really directed towards her. Do you understand? It's like, it's, it's crazy how I'm seeing this unfold because the enemy then, then swithered his way back in in some sort of shape and form because he caused confusion. And the more don't you ever think that your role in this was a major. And God sent you, y'all Y'all paths aligned, you know, people come into your life for a reason, season, a lifetime. God was preparing you all of your life for Brianna's moment. You understand what I'm saying? You're not done yet. So if people drop you off, that's fine because you've done your part. Job well done. You Thank crossed you. this path. Yeah. And you were in alignment with what God's plan was for you, not just for other people, mm -hmm. but for you. And the whole world saw you battle. I don't give a damn what nobody say. I'm a fan of Brianna's. I love Brianna. Brianna got... 100, 200, I don't know how many million followers, but there was only a few faces right. that you saw in that battle. Right. And you were one of them. Yeah, you had background people. You had people that, you know, that, that was in the background or whatever, but you put your face to what you were saying behind your words. Mm -hmm. And you meant that shit. And it's right. because of you that a lot of this shit, a lot of them backed off. A lot of them backed down. Exactly. You got with them. You 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 brought confusion to what they had coming towards her. Now just imagine all that ugliness, even with the battles that you and 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 and, and Brianna supporters had with other people. In reality, think about it. This was really directed at her. So it was yeah. a lot of things that penetrated the blows that that girl would have got without a soldier. Right. Without a soldier, she needed somebody like you in her corner. She needed that. And, not, and guess what? She prayed for it because now she has the peace. She would have never got that peace without, without you, ever. And, and I'm glad that she has the peace. You know, yeah, I'm she glad, does. I'm glad that she's on the other side. You know what I'm saying? Of all the yeah, she's over I'm there. She's over there, but you helped her get her there. You helped get her there. Yep. And to hear to hear the hurtful things now is it's is hurtful, but uh you know, but it's 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 sad to know that okay, I appreciate y'all, okay, but now I don't need y'all no more, so I'm good. That's the part that hurts. You understand what I'm saying? That's the part right. that you like. What? And that's why I just want everybody to just please just understand. Nobody is appreciated the way they should be appreciated. Just move mm -hmm. on. Just move on with your life. But but it then not that only that too, not, not only that too, Amora, again, back to the spiritual side, not only that, you brought together a sisterhood. Yeah. You understand so. what I'm saying? It, it, it got bigger. You got people branching off, getting ready to really talk about domestic violence. Yeah. Think about the role that you played. Like I said, that's why I said this was just a, this was just a path that you had to cross anyway. You on the other side, they where they need to be. You help get them there. Your job yeah. is done. Yeah, my job with is that done. anyway. Definitely done. And yeah, listen, your I'm, job is done. I'm here to back Brianna. I'm not here to back Brianna. What I'm saying is, Brianna, Robert, and the family don't need us. They have said it out of their own mouth. They don't need us. And I'm mm -hmm. just tell you, it's been like that for a while. Okay. So this ain't no bashing session or whatever. All I'm saying is they didn't appreciate us. I'm just going to be honest with you. Now, this ain't for here for me to come out and reveal this, reveal that, reveal that. I ain't doing that. That ain't me. But I'm here to tell you they don't need us, honey. They said it on the front line and the back line. I don't need you. I don't need y'all. I got. I can stand to lose two or 300 supporters. And I can feel that y'all should know that. You should know it. Let's not let's not play dumb. You should know that it was okay to lose you. Okay, I could stand to lose two or three hundred. Who said but, that? But 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 again, the more again, the more the picture is still so much bigger than social media. What 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 you and Felicia it you know have done 
you know, it's 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 so much bigger than 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 social media. Like I said, I was, you know, I was actually planning on, and I think I put that on your page. I was actually planning on um, going to the party. But I, my main goal was going was to see you and Felicia. I said, I want to be around, you know, I don't get out much. So I wanted to be around my sister, grandmamas and aunties. You see what I'm saying? I wanted us to show these young folks, you know, have a good time and chill and have fun, you know, because it really was. a lot. Brianna has a lot of older supporters, people that could be her mother. Yeah, she yeah. has. A, a, she has a lot, you know, so it was like an endearing type of fanship where it comes to me anyway because I said she's young enough to be my daughter and then plus I've been through a lot of the things that Brianna been through right you know but like I said I believe that the enemy definitely it, it, it's good I felt like it was going to end like this because the, the devil was still there you know people were letting their guards down trying to move into this but the devil was still there so the devil's always going to cause some type of confusion you know it could right. be one person getting in your ear you know, right. it's going to, the devil's always going to be, and some people just don't, they're not aware enough to know, you know, how the devil uses people, in other words. But my right. thing with you is your job is done. Yeah, you, I mean, your job is yeah. done as far as that goes, but don't ever, like I said, I'm talking like a mother point, don't you ever not show your appreciation or gratitude for what somebody does for you because they didn't have to, exactly. especially when it comes in your full defense. You see what I'm saying? She didn't have she didn't have family coming out like that. You came out like a mother, a, 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 a sister, a auntie. You came out hard for her and put your face to it. Yep, put my whole and you know, and I don't want no Cynthia <laughs> anything like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not expecting somebody to be like, oh, you know, oh war more, oh war more. No, I, I, it ain't no oh war more or whatever because I did I did do what I did voluntarily, but I just you know, but I also want to say that. You know, I, I see a lot of people picking at Jenny, right? And they're and they're saying all this and saying that. I understand Jenny's pain. You understand what I'm saying? Now I'm mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that Jenny is going, but I just want people to back off of Jenny because let Jenny have her moment or whatever, and let mm -hmm. people, people do things differently. I, I right, right. Desire to come out and, and 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 release text messages, voice recordings, anything like that. I ain't got to prove a motherfucking thing as far as did you know me? Did we talk this and that? I ain't got to prove none of that. But what I am going right. to say, don't never turn your nose up to someone that ge was genuinely there for you. Right. Right. Basically shun somebody off like, oh, I ain't even really fuck with you like that. <laughs> I ain't even really fuck with you. I ain't even, and you, and you, girl, ooh, ooh, Jesus. Yeah, I understand. I understand, but that's but that's how the enemy works, though. He causes confusion. Yeah, that's how the enemy works. But then that's why I say people forget what they pray for, and then they they don't, you got to pay attention to how people move in your life, not just your boyfriends. You know, when complete strangers come into your life and be a shield for you, you know that's God. That's God right there. But the best, but I am here to say the next time we see a couple arguing on the internet. Or whatever the case may be, just let them argue, honey. Just change the channel if you will. Don't get involved because it ain't always what you think. We thinking one thing on the front line and on the back line is a whole, 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 whole different ball game, baby. It's a whole different ball game. Do you understand what I'm saying? We and uh -huh. then, the thing about it is this is this is the most hurtful thing about it right here that it was okay to see. Us battling against each other. You understand what I'm saying? A bunch right. of folks battling. That was okay. That wasn't, hey, you guys, y'all stop battling against each other because it's hurtful to see that y'all battling against each other over our shit. That's what should have probably came out of Ben said. But whatever the case may be, we said it now. We shouldn't be battling with each other at all. I'm talking, and it, it, it's even, listen, it was funny to see people fall out. Cause you know how we was watching the Robert supporters fall out and we laughing and he he ha ha and shit like that or whatever. But that ain't even funny because they're falling out still because of a saga, a story that they should have never got into either. Do you understand what I'm saying? So right, I, right. It's them, which I'm not, you know, I don't have no dog in that fight, but I would even encourage them to have a come to Jesus meeting and just say, listen. 
whatever. This ain't our worries. This ain't our fight. Let's stop it. Because the back and forth and, and, and the bickering amongst each other over this storyline is absolutely ridiculous. So I right. say this. Mm. That has out over this storyline, please find a way to mend your relationships and not even have to be BFFs, but just not enemies and just move on. Do your own thing. And I'm mainly talking to the content creators that done fell out. I'm mainly talking to the ones that done fell out over this story. Oh, you don't support this person. Or you don't support them higher than I support them. Or you don't support them. You know, listen. Support yourself. Support yourself. Support those that support you. Can we do that? <laughs> support right. those right. that support you. Support mm -hmm. those that support you. Period. Ooh, child. Like, I, you know, oof. Mm -mm. Yeah, I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot, but I'm 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 just like, you know, it's just amazing how how this whole thing just took so many twists and turns and you yeah. know, it's just crazy. It's taking a lot of twists and turns. Mm -hmm. And it's something that Jenny said. Jenny said, uh, I didn't see it because I didn't want to see it. She said something she was saying something and she said I didn't see it because I didn't want to see it. A lot of us don't see things because we don't want to see it. If you let us, you know, if you let pictures, videos, smiles, you know, if you let that stuff blind you and cause a cloud to come over your eyes, you're going to be blinded. Okay. You ain't going right. to see what it is. Right. Once right. You right. For a moment and get those smiles and soft voices and Showing pictures of how you and, 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 and you know how you was a good father, you was a good mama, you was a good wife, you was a good husband, all that stuff. You showing all that stuff, and and, and it makes people want to form an opinion of how you really is. All that stuff is just just forget that, and then you got to see things for what it really is. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of right. us got clouds over our eyes is what I'm trying to say. It ain't what you think it is. It's not what you think it is. So I just think that we all should just go on about our business, leave this shit alone. Leave this shit alone. We fighting each other. We we talking about beating up. We we talking about, you know, people going to court. And thing, at the expense of all of this bullshit, people going to court, people attempting to get charges or whatever the case may be. For what? For the family to be coochie crunchy in the end. <laughs> but then but then think about this too. Think about this too. Some of those same people, these were people that was coming after her. These are the mindset and the cruddiness of the people that was coming after her. Yes. Evil people, just dirty, nasty. You know, that's why I said Bri uh, Brianna needed a soldier. She needed somebody. That was a lot of heat coming at her. That was a lot of heat coming at her. Yeah. But this was their show, okay? This was their show, whatever. I don't know. You know, this, this was their show, and we were supposed to just be viewers. We wasn't supposed to get involved. All this evilness and ugliness wasn't supposed to come out. This came out no, because it, we were it, watch. It was supposed that's because it was supposed to come out. People were supposed to see how narcissists behave. People were supposed to see this type of behavior playing out on TV. So mental health, mental health became aware more aware to a lot of people just from watching this. You know, abuse came more aware, you know, to a lot of people. You know, it became more aware to, you know, to different stuff like that. And then not only that, sisterhood became strong. It's a lot of it's a lot of positive that came out of this situation right here. People revealed themselves. And then not yeah. only that, God did stand in the gap. Because I'm telling you, I don't have any doubt that if God didn't send Brianna a soldier like you, somebody would have had to come. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? People mm -hmm. need people. This is how he uses us. This is how he blesses us through other people. But do you see how now huh? we're being, you know, you see how now it's, it's like, it's okay that we're being painted as the bad people. And that's why I'm saying it ain't, it ain't no bad people. Let's just kill that noise. We, we support it hard. Because and this, this is each supporter, each each you know each one of them, each couple, you know, 
had a support team that would do whatever for them. You know what I'm saying? Go hard for them. Okay. Mm -hmm. But now it's like the supporters are wrong. The it's the supporters' fault. The supporters did this. The supporters did that. Now we're told that, oh, we could, we, I could have had an argument with this person. I was having an argument with this person. Y'all jumped in. Right? It's our fault. So that's what I'm saying. The, 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 the lack of appreciation. You know what I'm saying? And then people say, oh, mm -hmm. I said, I appreciate you before. I, I gave you a shout out. I, 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 I hollered at your channel. Like, what more do you want from me? Like, it's not, it's not what more do you want from me? You don't turn your nose up and act like, oh, it's okay if I lose this person or that person. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Right. Especially a valuable one. Especially a <laughs> valuable one. Yeah. So I just say that this whole thing has been it's been draining. And I just say to the supporters, stop fighting each other. Stop fighting each other. Mm -hmm. Just stop. Let's just stop. And let's learn to mind our own business, honey. You know, because, mm -hmm. you know, the appreciation is that that, you know, I got this and I got that. And we've heard both of them say we've heard the whole family say we don't need y'all. <laughs> To fight our battle, okay. You don't mm -hmm. need, it. and that's mm -hmm. that's how you do, though. You know, unfortunately, right, right, right. But then, what, I mean, was, I, oof, I don't know. What part do you think of the yeah, saga? What part of the saga do you think was real? Who for me? Yeah, somebody asked that in the audience. What part of the saga oh. was real? Oh. Mm. I don't know. Well, I think the part of the saga that was real, I, I, I truly think there's some mental health issues going on in the family. I think yeah. that's very much real. That's uh, real. You know, like I said, it brought it brought out so many things. The devil didn't want people all this stuff to be revealed. It was a lot revealed during you standing in the gap. It was a lot, it was a lot revealed. It was. And and that's why I think people started taking it personal because a lot more was being revealed. You know, it started off as being evil and hate, you know, thrown towards her, lies about her, talking about her and her children. Right. And well, then it I, seemed I, like... It, I, agree uh, with you. I, I agree with you when you said a lot of mental illness. And 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 as a whole, you understand what I'm saying? It, it, you know, mm -hmm. it was a, definitely a lot of mental illness um, uh, revealed. But right. also, you know... Mm -hmm. um, I think that a lot of people have learned that social media, you know, that you can make a lot of money on social media and people mm -hmm. love, uh, people love, you know, drama. <laughs> drama right, right. And right. if you get a hold to something and draw it out for a long, long time and have so many people involved, I guess you would just do that. You know what I mean? And I think that that mm -hmm. played a part as well. This was money, you know, and I had to count nobody's damn pocket because, I, you know, make your money. Do you, boo? Because I'm going to make mine. Right. So right. I didn't have nobody's pocket, but I, but I will say that this, you know, it was also drawn out further than it should have been because, you know, this was some, you know, let's just call it the fate of fate. This was good money made for the family. The family. Right. So I'm say to the supporters, you know, to to to, to all, everybody out there that played a part in this, honey. Everybody that played a part in this. Mm -hmm. Along with your life, honey. Uh, the family good. You know what I'm saying? Um, unfortunately, we don't want to look like fools. We don't want to look like you know. <laughs> we 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 put a lot of time, energy, and effort in this, and it was all for nothing. Period. It was for nothing. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. Whether we wanted it to be, whether God intended it to be, it's just that's how that's how the storyline is ending. We waste our fucking time in this shit. We wasted our time. Now, maybe from what Tanya you tried to say, we didn't really waste our time because things. No, were no, it was a it was a blessing that was put in the midst of the whole situation. Like I said, awareness was brought to a lot of different things. You know, I honestly feel like you know. You know, I feel like Brianna was abused. I don't, I don't, you know, not feel like that. And I honestly and truly believe that she was depressed 
and that, you know, and, and the whole world witnessed how her husband turned on her and, and, you know, and was doing, you know, in other groups and putting her down and, you know, making her out to be crazy. The whole world saw this. We saw how he treated her. So, and, and we saw her breaking down and we saw her crying out for help. And then we saw God send her a soldier and then all eyes was on the soldier. And we saw how the soldier moved and how the soldier brought other people along. And brought, you know, brought awareness to, you know, narcissism and all these different things, you right. know. So, like I said, I don't think, you know, that's why sometimes when we get into the the more flesh part of it, we think more about, you know, and, and I can understand how people don't feel grateful and not showing gratitude. But God was in this and God knew who he was sending. God answered yeah. her prayer. God answered her prayer. And, you know, now now it's time for you to move on because God said, wait a minute, let me just stop this soldier over here and knock this heat down real quick. But I got something else for this soldier, but I'm gonna let her come over here for a minute <laughs> and straighten right. this out. But I got bigger plans for this soldier. So she, it was just a journey. We on a journey. We on a journey in life. We on a journey. Somebody, but, but, huh? No, but God definitely. I'm go ahead, read it. What is this? Huh. Yes, yeah, somebody said, Amor, she told you to stop. Yes, she did. And that's why I say to you guys, actions speak louder than words. You can say anything out your mouth, right? But when you say right. it out your mouth and you do something different, like send somebody something or whatever the case may be, you can say all day long, I, you know, listen, this act, listen, just know, you, actions speak louder than words, okay? Actions mm -hmm. speak louder than words, baby. Okay? Actions speak right. louder than words. Period. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Actions speaks louder than words. Right. right? When you... Whew. But, um, Tanya, other people want to come up, and I don't want to hold okay. other people at one time, so I'm just going to drop the link and let other people come up and speak as okay. well. Okay. All okay. right, well, thanks for letting me up. I okay. hate that I'm not going to see you because I was definitely planning on hanging out. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, 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 you know, and I'm not telling nobody not to go. Please go have fun. I uh, am going to help my husband drive to Texas. So yeah, that's well, that's a, yeah, that's that's good. But yeah, but I, like I said, I was planning on just hanging out with the with the older women. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to hang out with the young kids. I was going, huh? Okay. That's not what I'm going to do. I'm not trying to turn nobody against nobody or nothing. I'm just saying, wake up. I'm saying I would be wrong if I continue to come out here and act like nothing is wrong and that that everything is is great and, you know, this, that, and the other. And, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's not what we've seen. It's not what it looks like. There is There are no teams. You are not appreciated whatsoever. Just know that, you know, Actions speak louder than words, period. Okay? Right. Right. Are right, you welcome? Okay. All right. Look, I see people down in the comments saying, Amor, you said you'll never do this. No, what Amor said you'll never do is I'm never revealing secrets and, and, and text messages, this, any other. But for me to tell you that uh, you are not appreciated, I will be wrong if I don't come out here and let you know that you are not appreciated. And this whole thing is. Uh, Fake news for views, pretty much the whole thing. I'm saying the whole thing. Now, am I, you know, I'm not even talking about no abuse or anything like that. I'm saying the whole this side against that side. That's, leave that alone. Leave that alone. It ain't no sides. That's what I'm saying. It ain't no sides, okay? It ain't no sides. Let me go on and get this person up out of here because they just want to go ahead on. Here we go. You know, I could be I could be all kind of bees and this, that, and the other, but you go. Bye. Have a great day. So anyway, but um, I you know, and I'm not trying to put nobody down. I'm just saying that, and I like what Tanya said because I said, uh, what did I say? You somebody said what was what was real about this whole story that a lot of mental illness was revealed. Okay. Now I ain't no doctor and this, that, and the other. And I ain't just talking about with the family. I'm saying as a whole, some of the family, the supporters. The whole thing. But I'm here to say, don't lose no sleep. They sleeping good. Okay? They sleeping 
good. Let's let them sleep good, but we need to sleep good too. We need to sleep good too. So go back to baking cookies and baking cakes and pies, eating ice cream, going out for walks with your family, playing with your grandkids, dancing to your favorite song. You understand what I'm saying? She said, who are they really working for? Themselves, baby. Themselves. Themselves. She said, I told you not picking a side was best and not taking it personal. Well, you did say that, Monique. You did. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, it's a lot of people that told me that they wasn't on the side. Monique was one of them. She said, I'm just here because, you know, blah, 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 but I'm not on the side. Or more, this was more than just a story. This brought us together, so be appreciative of that. You know what? You're right. It brought us together, but it brought us together. It brought us together of us thinking that we was doing the right thing. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm saying that, you know, because I made a lot of great, you know, you know, I've had, I've had a lot of great relationships in this. I ain't even going to lie. It did bring us together. So you know what? You're right, Sonia. Out of all of this, it did bring a lot. A lot of people have long lasting friendships that came out of this. But what I don't like, Sonia, on the other hand, is a lot of people are bickering with each other because of it as well. As well. So that's what I'm saying. Don't bicker with each other because of this. Don't. Make up. That's what I'm actually saying. Make up. Kill your beef. Cancel your beef with each other because of this. Don't do that. Yes, there's a lot of great relationships formed because of this. But the ones that got into it and went at each other's throat, which was a lot, a lot of you guys don't know, behind the scene, a lot of people went at each other's throat. What I'm saying is make up those relationships because it ain't worth it. It ain't worth you having beef with someone that you don't know on the internet because of someone else's story. So the relationships that was formed, thank God for them, okay? Because that was great. You're right, Sonia, for bringing that out. You are right. But the ones that beeping at each other and having a horrible time and this and the other, nah, don't don't be mean and mad at somebody else or whatever because of this storyline. You know, there's a lot of people that we didn't even get to know because we took sides and we took sides because we thought we was doing the right thing. OK. She said, well, she really falling apart or was it all fake? No, 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 no. Now, hold on. Hold on. I'm not saying. That Brianna's story is fake, or even Robert's story is fake. I'm not saying it was fake. What I'm saying is it was meant for Facebook, social media to just watch, is what I'm saying. We were supposed to just watch. We weren't supposed to be about it. Do you understand what I'm saying? We weren't supposed to go at each other's throat and cat fight and windmill and this and the other and my side, your side. That's what we weren't supposed to do. Now, I'm not sitting up here saying that uh, there was no abuse and this and the other. Nobody can tell me that because I already know. I already know for sure. But we wasn't supposed to get involved. That's what I'm saying. But like Sonya said, us getting involved did form a sisterhood. You know what I'm saying? A lot of great friendships. And I will cherish those, okay? But as far as sitting here thinking that, you know, you know, and then and then this is what I don't like. I don't like now that the family, and, and I hope nobody think, oh, more just mad because the family got back together. No, I was actually happy that the family got back together. Hell, when I first came out on, on Facebook, not Facebook, but YouTube, I was trying to get the family back together. I hope people don't really think that, you know, that we didn't want to see the family get back together. That's not it. But if the family can get back together and be coochie crunchy clean, then the supporters that fought each other out here in these YouTube streets, these Facebook streets, these Instagram streets, and these TikTok streets, they need to mend it too. They need to come coochie crunchy. You know what I'm saying? It don't make no sense to leave a lot of hurt people out here mad at each other, ready to pull up on each other, ready to end each other's life and all this bull crap over, over them when they coochie crunchy behind the scene. They they high-fiving, you know, <laughs> talking about skits and shows and all kind of shit behind the scene, right? And we out here looking like fucking fools is what I'm saying. Don't be, don't look like a fool. Enjoy, enjoy the friendships and the relationships that you developed, right? 
but don't sit here and battle with nobody in no comments no more. Fighting with people, talking about pulling up, or when I see you this, or when I see you that. No, forget all of that, please. But please. Let's all just forget it and move on and enjoy the content creator that you enjoy. You know what I'm saying? If you like their content, go watch their content. You know? Don't get mad if, you, if you're seeing in somebody else's comment, making a comment because you enjoy what they said or you found what they said to be funny. Don't get mad. Stop fearing that you're going to get kicked out of a fucking group if you, you know, if you like another content creator's this or if you say that about a content creator. You know what I mean? Stop walking on pins and needles and shit is what I'm saying. Go on back to your regular lives. Fake news for freaking views, period. So, but at any rate, at any rate, uh, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Did, did, did everybody enjoy the show? Because <laughs> that's what it was. It was a show that we were supposed to watch. It was a show that we were supposed to watch. I'm more, what's your thoughts on Johnny? Uh, I'm not, that ain't for me to, listen, that ain't even what I'm doing, y'all. That ain't even what I'm doing. I, that part, listen, that, the saga to me has been over, right? But, you know, the support for this side of that side, that was still going on for a minute. And now I'm not with that shit. I'm not with no team. Now, y'all still want to be teams. Y'all can be a team. I ain't no team. I ain't nobody team. I, I'm out of it. That's what I'm doing. I'm moving on. And the only reason why I'm coming out to say something because I don't like to see people still arguing in the comments. And I know, I know it's not, it's not appreciated. You wasting your time. You wasting your energy. You could be doing something else more valuable. Don't fight each other in the comments. I still saw it. Even at, last night, I jumped on Jenny's live and I see people still dragging each other and calling each other names. And I was like, oh my God, if they only knew. That's what I'm coming out here to tell y'all. If you only knew, if you only knew, y'all, we being played. They ain't arguing and beefing and they he he and ha ha and shit. Y'all, we'll be a goddamn fool to continue out here strapping at each other's throat. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. We'll be a goddamn fool to continue out here going on with this bullshit. If the family is he he and ha ha, let them he he ha ha, and we can he he ha ha with each other. We can he he and ha ha with each other. You hear me? <laughs> Y'all don't understand what I'm trying to say. Don't think that, you know, a lot of stuff is not being shown because if it's shown, it, you know, <laughs> if, if it's shown, you know, it shouldn't be shown. Let me just say it like that. But just know the family is fine. Let the family be fine. You know? <laughs> Sitting here thinking, oh, it's a real beef. <laughs> it ain't no real beef. <laughs> it ain't no real beef. We out here. And he, you know, I'm laughing now, but I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I was crying, y'all. Real motherfucking tears because I'm just like, my heart hurt for people when I when I see people, right? She's at my resident cracking up at you. What's your resident cracking up at me for? Why your resident cracking up at me? But no, to go to somebody comments or whatever, somebody page, and I hear. No, because you know Robert gonna do this, and she gonna go to jail, and 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 Brianna gonna do this, and 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 and, and, and she gonna get her hit lit back, and this, that, and the other. Then all along, you know, all along, you know that it ain't even that type of story. It ain't even that type of story. It ain't even that type of time. We out here talking about, oh, no, and God gonna do this to this person, and God gonna do that to that person, and then all alone, it's, 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 <laughs> we out here on demon time, and they on angel time. <laughs> Girl, bye. <laughs> bye. All I'm saying is, start having long live conversations about, I'm team this, and I'm team that, and I'm here to tell you, I'm gonna be this team for life. And, and I'm about to be this because this person did this person wrong. Listen, stop. Stop talking about you team this and you team that. They team family, okay? 
They team family. How many more times do I need to say they are team family? They team family. So stop. Just stop. Period. She said they could have been ended it offline, not division for months with our own people. Woo! <laughs> That's what I'm saying. This could have stopped a long time ago. Yeah. And some people probably said more of you would have shut the fuck up. Whether I would have shut the fuck up or not, it was up to them to shut this down, not me. Them. If they can do it just like that, don't you think it could have been done just like that months ago? Huh? Don't you think it could have been done just like that months ago? No. It was more shit was about to be real revealed. And that's now all of a sudden. Touch our faith. We good. We don't need y'all. We don't need nobody defending us. Leave us alone. We good over here. Everybody on this side, team, we the truth and y'all the messy ones. What? This shit could have been shut down long ago, time ago. If, listen. If they wanted this shit shut down a long time ago, it would have been shut down a long time ago. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? But when numbers start falling, when money stopped being made off the shit, now be quiet. Be quiet. So now we can do something different to get numbers back up, okay? She said, more. do you think Brianna used you? You know, I'm just going to say it like this. I'm not going to sit here and say, because Brianna did not ask me to speak on anything. Just like Robert didn't ask people to speak on anything. We all voluntarily came out to speak on the saga, okay? So I'm not going to say that I feel used by Brianna. I feel unappreciated by Brianna. It's a difference, okay? I feel unappreciated, but not used. I did this on my own, okay? I did this because I saw someone broken, breaking, okay? And it's in my nature to protect. Y'all, I protect the whole goddamn country. Why wouldn't I protect an individual that I feel need protection, okay? So no, was I used? Absolutely not. Was I devalued and unappreciated? Absolutely. Do I feel that there are people fanning the fuck out? Absolutely. So damn lootly. Do I feel that people will cover up other people's shit? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and close blind eyes and don't and act like they don't see things for what it really is? So damn lootly. I will. I do. Okay. But do I feel that I was used? No. No one asked me to do this. But I was told that I should have minded my motherfucking business and that they can argue with a motherfucking nigga if they want to. Okay, so with that said, that was time for me to throw motherfucking deuces. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. You don't tell somebody that stood in the goddamn gap for months that they should have minded their own motherfucking business. Okay, so you're right. I should have minded my own motherfucking business. We all should have minded our own motherfucking business. Okay, okay, we all should have minded our own motherfucking business. Period. So now, anybody else got some questions? Anybody else got some questions? <laughs> Hold on, I'm reading the questions. She said, why would you feel like that? Why would I feel like what, Renee? Tell me, why would I feel like what? And then also, <laughs> the, 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 I don't see, oh, more stop. She didn't ask you to speak, but like she said to stop, she could have hit your line and told you to stop personally. So she used you to get them people off of her. Well, I don't feel used. I'm not going to sit here and say that I feel used. I don't feel used. Nobody can use me. Okay. I don't feel used. I just feel 
you know, unappreciated. Do I feel that? Hell yeah. But I feel like all the content creators should feel unappreciated because, listen, I'm going to say it like this. The reason why I feel like all the content creators should feel unappreciated is because it was a waste of time. They could have ended this long time ago. I'm just being honest with you. They could have. It was carried on for a reason. The family carried it on for a reason. This could have ended long time ago. You know, this, you know, it wasn't going to be me that ended. It shouldn't have been, you know, it's not me. It's not Jenny. It's not Joppy. It's not, uh, no, none of the content creators. They should have ended this long time ago. They should have took this shit offline. It should have never even been on here. But the fact that it was, they should have ended this. She said, not appreciated. I thought you said she, she had thanked you personally. That's why I said actions speak louder than words, Renee. Okay. Somebody can, t yeah, she also told me I should have minded my motherfucking business personally too, okay? She also told me I should have minded my motherfucking business that she can argue with her nigga if she want to, okay? That's what I was told personally two days ago, okay? Okay? Okay, okay? Renee? Okay? 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 So... She said, Brie Hive talking about stop trying to divide them when there is no division. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Laughable. Listen, I ain't trying to divide nobody. Do whatever you want to do. Do whatever you want to do. I'm just being straight up with you. Do whatever it is that you want to do. There ain't no teams. <laughs> trust me when I say it. Okay? So, trust me when I say it. Let me tell you something. My, you know, I'm all empathy. I, you know, if I see someone hurting, I'm gonna have empathy for them, right? If I see somebody hurting, I'm gonna have empathy for them, right? But to hear somebody hurting and to tell them to get out your motherfucking feelings, do you think that's showing empathy for someone? Get out your feelings. You need to get out your feelings. Who tell? Who talk to people that way? I don't know. Maybe y'all do. Maybe y'all do. Maybe y'all do, okay? Maybe y'all do, honey. I have empathy, okay, for people that I care about. I have empathy for people I care about. Now, listen, this is not for me to say uh, don't support Brianna. Support Brianna. Support Brianna. I still love Brianna as a black queen, okay? I still love Brianna as a black queen. But what I refuse to do is sit here and act like I'm on a team and be mad and, and, and bickering and fighting against other people that, that don't support her. That's what I'm not going to do. I'm not about to be mad, bickering, and, 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 and want to fight people that don't support her because you're wasting your motherfucking time, okay? And even the people that, that support Robert and don't support Brianna, don't be mad at people that don't support Robert. Just don't. Stop being mad at people that don't support the other side. We all need to be kumbaya with each other because they kumbaya with themselves, okay? They are kumbaya with themselves. We're part of that. Do you not understand? We'll be a goddamn fool to, to beef with each other, to, to, to hate each other. Oh, I can't stand this person. I can't stand that person. Or oh, this person evil, that person evil, and stuff like that. We'll be a goddamn fool to continue to beef with each other when they ain't beefing with each other. And that's the part that I don't like. They left us here mad with each other. A whole lot of hurt, mad black folks out here in this saga. And I know it's more than black because I have, you know, we got all type of flavors, right? We got all type of flavors. But don't be, don't be mad at each other and stuff like that. Why they leave us out here mad and hurt and, and, and angry with each other when they ain't? They're not. They get the night the fuck up. Okay. While we out here looking like fucking fools, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Hey, I didn't see y'all back there. I'm sorry. Hey, Amora. Hey, what's going on? Well, you hey, already know. You are what's going on? I'm what's, I'm sorry. What's going on, right as well, right now? But I'm hot. 
Just a little. I mean, it, it's oh, just shit. a whole thing. Just a whole thing. We all need to have a goddamn picnic is what, what we need to do. We need to have a picnic <laughs> and we need a hurt Hey, hey, some of these, some of the uh, content creators, man, they they ain't all the way there. Some of them ain't, some of them ain't right. Some of them believe wholeheartedly that everybody that speak up against these people are haters. No, they're not. They're not. They're not. They're not. I'm here to tell you they're not. They're not. And, and the thing about it is. Somebody need to turn it. Somebody turn, turn turn your YouTube off and be up here. Turn your future thing. That ain't me. Hold on. I don't let me think see. it's me. Let me see. Let me see. say something again. Again. Yeah. Here's yours. Here's yours. Okay, hold on. I, I might need to put the head. Hold on. It's this microphone. Amora, I just yes. want to say. Uh -huh. I just want to say. You know what? It's sad that people. Turn their nose of people that that really truly loved them, that truly supported them, that truly had their back, and they turn their nose up at you. I feel like you still. I feel like you did your job in this. You did your job, Amora. You did your job, and you got to understand. You got so many people out here that love you, that support you. Yeah, and I, I appreciate that, but you know, I'm not. You know, I, you know, I understand what you're saying, but I, it, it, yeah. But I, my, my, it goes beyond me. You know what I'm saying? It's beyond me. It's not just me. It's, it's the supporters, too. I, you know, I even hate to say that, but it's the supporters as a whole. Definitely. It's the supporters as a whole. The supporters as a whole, who they want to do. And they just being, you know, it's just not right. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. It's like you can't voice your opinion in this thing. You can't voice your opinion. If you voice your opinion, you get in trouble like you in school. Nobody, nobody, nobody got parents out here. You can't tell nobody how to feel. And that's, that's how this true. thing had become. You try to tell people who to like, who not to like, who to be friends yeah. with, yeah, who not yeah. to be friends with. Or if you if I catch you liking this person, then I'm gonna remove you out this group. If the group is not positive, what you got a group for? Yeah. I you know, you know, I just want to say, hold on, is this, is this thing still? Hold on, is it too loud? No, not I too loud. Hear. Okay. No, I, I just I just want to get to a uh, say uh, you know, we don't went back and forth about this, about what we stand at with this thing, right? And you know, mm -hmm. what we believe in, in this, that, and the third. But you know, I've always, you know, had a stance that. I'm not really on the side. I just believe what I believe about it. You know what I'm saying? And and, and I was adamant about that. You know what I mean? But uh -huh. when it comes down to it, when it boils down to it, I just want to say to the people that these people are not celebrities, man. And these people are, you know, it's almost like a cult mentality is going on around this situation. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mm -hmm. And it, and that's happening for, for both of these people. And I'm like, yo, once I peeped the game, and I, I, I kind of... I fell back from talking about date situation and started talking about, you know, whenever a content creator, you might mention me or something, I go live and I talk about you. You know what I'm saying? Because right. my heart won't in it to be talking about them no more anyway, because I've been beat the game on. I've been saying, I don't, I don't know if y'all can go back and, and watch it or whatever, but I've been saying, hey, these people are one and the same. They one and the same. They just like. They are. Yeah, like. they family. Yeah. Their family and I, you know, I, I don't. Did you did you know they was uh, you know, they family? Did you know that they were cool? Oh, oh um, I know at one point in time, um, uh, Tamika Michelle, we had a conversation, mm -hmm. and um, Brianna was was when they played. It was a, it was a it was a video that had been released one time, and Rob released the video. And they played the video, and it's not the whole thing. It's not the whole conversation. You know what I'm saying? It never per Right. It was. It was more to it. The conversation was, "Hey, um, I can help you out." Basically, trying to help him get his numbers up, type shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. At that point in time. So it was a so, but he declined, I guess, back then. You know what I mean? But I, 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 that's just the conversation that I got. But it was mm -hmm. the conversation that was had a while ago about helping him get his numbers up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Well, 
I'm, I'm just going to say it like this. I just think that, you know, I feel like it probably should have been. Don't you think that it should have ended a long time ago? Yeah, don't you so. think you should have took this off the Internet a long time ago? Yeah, without question. Yeah, don't you think that it, it, it's just so now all of a sudden one apology and it, everybody's supposed to just shut up? If, yeah. if, 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 it, if it happened just like this, don't you think it should have happened a long time ago? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You know, look at Tamika said, I told you I used to feel like, yeah, yeah, you did, you did, and that's why you know what I'm saying I, I would never speak ill on Tamika, you know what I'm saying, because I, I, I knew her position, I knew from the back, from the back end conversations that was going on, what her whole I didn't even understand why they her and Toya and them, you know, what I'm saying what happened with them, I didn't understand that, shit. I couldn't understand yeah. it, you know, what I mean, because of the reason why they fell out was you know, she was mad with her brother for she felt like. That toy your brother were doing her wrong type shit and you know some more yeah. shit you know. Well, I I just feel like this. I feel that um, to leave a whole lot of supporters out here beefing with each other and going back and forth with each other, thinking yeah. that there's a real beef and that you know and and oh this side and that side. I think that that's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I think mm -hmm. that that that's definitely hurtful to have a, a lot of people out here that don't even know each other still mm -hmm. battling back and forth trying to say, oh, I'm on this person's side I'm on that person's side. Instead of just it ain't no sides, it ain't no teams, just stop, you know, and just apologize for even having people going back and forth, you know? Right. And did they make us do it? No, but did they support us doing it? You got them right, they did. They was definitely in on it. They was definitely in on that. So that's, that's what I don't understand about, it's like a slap in the face to tell somebody you know, hey, um, I ain't tell you to support me. You know what I'm saying? It's like, uh -huh. it's like that's disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's disrespect, man. You know what I mean? And not, uh, you know, this, not even I didn't tell you to support me, but you should have minded your. I was told I should have minded my own motherfucking business. Who told you that? Somebody <laughs> told you that? I was told that I should have minded my motherfucking business that they can have an argument with a nigga if they want to. Ooh, shit. Oh, so what they get? What they? What they? What they? What they back together or something? I don't know. I don't know. It's just the whole family is is team family, okay? And team family, okay? okay Let's well. just that. Team family. We team family and so all i'm saying is if the family could have ended it if they just with one phone call with one apology could have shut all this shit down then this shit could have happened motherfucking a year ago is what yeah. i'm saying it could have happened a year ago yeah period it could have happened a year ago yeah i could have minded my motherfucking business we all could have minded our own motherfucking business yeah. we stood in the gap we stood in the gap, we fought each other, and now we're left out here to still fight each other. And that's the part that I don't want to see. Let's stop fighting each other. They're not fighting. They're not fighting. For sure. They yeah. I ain't got no beef. I ain't got no beef with no no, no content creators who, who who um I ain't got no beef with none nobody from either side of that situation unless they got, got something ill to say about me. You know, if, if somebody got something ill to say about me, then you know I'm gonna have something to say. I don't have no beef with nobody. And that, you know, maybe I didn't make myself clear yesterday because I still saw people arguing and fussing with each other. Where, let's stop arguing and fussing with each other. Let's stop the beef. Stop the beef. There's yeah, no beef. fake beef. Okay. There is no real beef. If they ain't beefing with each other, if they cool, if everybody cool and ready to have skits and make skits and kumbaya and have Thanksgiving dinners and planning Christmases, then why are we beefing? Why are we left out here to yell, fuss, cuss at each other when they yeah. ain't yelling, fussing, and cussing at themselves, okay? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Let's stop beefing with each other, honey. Fake beef, fake news for views, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Let's just stop. If it was a snap of a finger, let's turn mm -hmm. it off. That snap of the finger could have been done long ass fucking time ago. Okay. Good on man. Yeah. And now all of a sudden, I ain't tell you to do this. Right. Amara, let me ask you a question. Uh huh. Do you yeah. ever feel like you was uh, a part of Brehive? I felt like I was a part of a sisterhood. Yes, and I still feel like I'm a part of a sisterhood, but I don't want to be a part of a sisterhood that sleep. 
no. I don't want to feel a part of a sisterhood that's so fan fuck out that if you go and talk to somebody else, um, that you're gonna get cuffed out, uh, kicked out, stomped on, anything like that. No, I don't want. I don't want to be. I don't want, cult. I want to be part of something that if you are you ain't drinking the motherfucking Kool Aid no more, that you're gonna get X out. No, I don't want to be a part of that. Mm -mm. Okay, so can you can you now believe that when people were telling you multiple times that Bree says she didn't fuck with you, like can you believe it now? I do believe it. I believe fact, it. Fact. Fact. I believe it. And you know, and, and, and when I would say something, I would be told, Did you hear me say it? Did you hear me say that? Did you hear me say that? Or whatever. And then I would try to downplay it and put sugar on it. Like we like some of us would just continue to do forever because we that manipulation. Manipulation. <laughs> Hey, 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 if you know who wife that is. Mm -hmm, I believe she's large from the back. Hey, that nigga said I made a monster. I said, I started. But when he said that shit, I said, well, no. Let me start looking at these motherfuckers. I'm looking at both of y'all motherfuckers now, right now. <laughs> I started looking at both of them. I was like, hold on now. He said he made a monster. I, I, I personally I, think the grand finale came when she brought a new car, and then he went and brought a new car. And that was just to show people. That this is the amount of money that they made off this bullshit. Nah, nah. They, I don't know. They probably went trade. Listen, oh, man. Hey, man. I'm gonna just chill on that. I don't wanna. I don't wanna be no hater. I don't want. I don't wanna sound like no hater. Yeah, she we might know. be making. Yeah, but nah. But you know, you got the you got the super fan out folks in the in the crowd. They're gonna be like, "Oh, you hating? Oh, look at them up there hating." You know what I'm saying? Nah, man. I know. I know for sure. I, I don't be seeing her content. You know what I'm saying? Um, she got me blocked or something like that, but I don't be seeing her content. But I be seeing dude shit, and you know, look like to me, he just went and traded his car in and got another car. Uh, Hold that on, ain't, that, ain't, that ain't a lot of money to do that. The youngins, you have your mute button on. The youngins, I don't know who you are, but you have your mute button on. Your hold on, your mute. Okay, it's off now. Say something now. The youngins. Say something now. We can't hear you. I can't hear you. Hold on. We can't hear you. Go out and come back in. Go out and come back in. Either your volume down or something is not right. Go out and come back in. Go out and come back in. But um, but do I believe that that it was it was being said by all these people that um, I don't fuck I don't fuck with her I don't fuck with her I don't fuck with her Yes, I believe it wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly. You know that's that's crazy. Yeah, I'm so sorry, Amora. No, this ain't no this. I understand what you're saying and thank you, but this ain't no uh this ain't no oh I feel sorry for me tour. Please don't feel sorry for me. Just know that I, I, I actually feel bad for all of us as a whole. And, and somebody said, I still feel like we have a sisterhood. Yes, I still feel like we have a sisterhood. But if you want to belong to an organization that will kick you to the curb, if you move this way or move that way, then that's up to you. Okay, that's up to you. You can do that. I'm not about to be a part of no organization to tell me who the fuck to talk to and who not to talk to. Okay, so y'all can do that. But do I still love everybody that I came in contact with that, that was good to me? Yes, love all y'all, and we'll continue to love all y'all. But what I'm not going to do is not communicate with someone else because of, you know, my love or appreciation to this sisterhood. You understand what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying, because that's what I'm not about to be a part of at all. I'm going to kick you out if you wanted to comment saying this or if you wanted to comment saying that. That's Time out for that. Because <laughs> it ain't, it, 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 it's weird. Time out for that. All right, I'm trying to link. Time out for that. Talk to who you want to talk to. Kumbaya with who you want to kumbaya with. You know, it's not right for, for us to be bickering and stuff like that in the first place. We shouldn't be doing that in the first place. You know, they ain't doing it. Why should we? They cool. They been cool. We the ones out here looking like fools. You beefing know? back and forth. Beefing back and forth on the internet every day about yeah. some shit, about some people who don't give a damn about nobody but them. 
That's true. I mean, and I hate to say it, but that is absolutely true. That's how it they went. care about themselves. Do I feel that though do I feel that the family care about their supporters? I don't I I feel that the family don't care if we fight each other, meet up with each other, go to jail. As long as you support them. As long as you support them. As long as you die hard support them. You better yeah, say yeah. that. That's right. You gotta die hard support them. Because if you say, I don't like the way that you said this, oh, yeah. you a hater, and then next thing you know, don't speak about me unless you're speaking positive. Who the hell want to be? Who the hell want to be that type of person where you can't speak about me unless unless it's positive? You know what I'm saying? Exactly. If I can, if I'm talking about you, then I, and you do something that I don't I disagree with, then I have to be able to voice that. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Not not I don't have to be positive every time I split, say something about you because you ain't the perfect person unless you, of course, ain't told a lie since you was a little kid or something. No, no. There's nobody perfect, and you shouldn't get mad. You're right. You shouldn't get mad if somebody don't agree with what you're doing. You shouldn't get mad about it. Oh, only talk on me if you want. Only talk on me if you want to talk positive. But if you if you call me on my shit, then you're not a supporter of mine. What? Yeah, that's crazy. Or, or, or just support me by buying my stuff, right? And and following me and don't support me any other type of way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just 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 support me in this way. You can tell somebody how to support you. You know. Or, or you can, but that, that person don't have to support you just in that way. Right. You know? What's up, Jade? I see you just came up on the stage. Hey, baby. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. What you got? So do you think this whole thing started from Toya apologizing to her, or do you think it was already some back end shit that was going on and they put it on front sheet on front street, like mm -hmm. let's apologize to each other so basically we can get Get back together, basically. Crazy, I can kumbaya crazy. be a family type shit. I think the apology was for the internet, you know. Mm -hmm. I think the apology was to see it's that crazy. they are, uh, oh. they are a united, you know, that they are, you know, that they cool, that they they good. Um, do and what's, what was your question again? Do you think I was? Do you shit? I forgot what I said, Miss Moore. Um, you said do you think that this started. With the apology, or what was you? What was you yeah, to say? like, yeah, or or basically, okay. So this didn't even, cause it wasn't, it didn't even have nothing to do with Brianna at first. This was all about Jeannie going back and forth with Toya. So I'm still confused okay. on how did Brianna even get involved in it from from Toya apologizing to Brianna. Like, was that supposed to stop Jeannie from talking about her or what? Cause I'm, it's just confusing as fuck. Brianna won. We weren't even talking about Brianna or Robert. This was all about Jeannie talking about Toya and Robert. I think the apology was to show that they good. That's all I could think of is to show that we straight. We good. We don't need y'all fighting for us. We don't need y'all defending us. We don't need y'all battling back and forth about us. We good over here. Our family is coochie crunchy clean and we good. So don't talk, talk about nobody in our family. Move on. You know, uh, talk about something else. Don't talk about us. We good. That's that's what I took out of it. I don't but know. But still, how did you get involved in it to where she wanted to say it to you when it was still Jeannie going mm -hmm. after Robert and Toya? What do you mean by say what to me? Off the scene? No, see, what are you talking about? Because I don't want to have to tell everything. Uh, like, like, basically, why, why, why is she saying this to you when the shit was really, it was all steaming from Toya, Jeannie, because and Robert? Well, you know what? I'm going to be honest. I had a problem, you know, with uh, the comment that Toya made. And that is uh, she left it up under her comments saying that, oh, Brianna said that she don't need them no more and that they all liars anyway. So, so I had at a this point, do you feel like she said that to her? Because that's what everybody was tripping about. Well, like, damn, did she really she say that? Say it to her. She said it to her. She yeah. said it to her. Yes, she did. She said yeah. it to her. She tried to paint it to where... Well, no, it's because when you be on your panel and you mention my name and you and people think that you just talked to me and you hadn't just talked to me. I said, first of all, if I if I said I just talked to Brianna, I just talked to Brianna. It may have been times where I would say, hold on, and I would be talking to somebody and right. I would come back. And I wouldn't say who I was talking to. People assume mm -hmm. I was talking to Brianna, right? But mm -hmm. I may have been talking to Brianna, and I know that happened at least one time. But no, did Brianna and I talk every day? Hell no. Did we talk? Did we talk at least three times a month? Yes. Did right. we text more? Did we talk? Yes. But did we talk every day? No, we did not. I never said I talked to Brianna more. 
you know? No, I never said that. But to say now, oh, you know, uh, you should have minded your own motherfucking business. Like what? Who I feel like that's that? what I, I feel like that's what she really wanted to say. She wanted to say that shit yesterday because like, she was playing around and beating around the bush. Like, y'all ain't my only followers. I got 3.2 million followers on this page. I got this many on this page. And see, I ain't into. I mean, I'm I'm in. I I fuck with you more. I love you to death. But kiss the people asses and shit and all that. That's not me. I don't give a fuck about you. Fuck you. If and I feel like you should really feel used. Even if you didn't ask me to do shit, I still stood ten toes for you. And then for you to be saying some some ignorant ass shit like this to me at this point, bitch, fuck you, fuck you and them. The See, fuck. Yeah, you know, that, it was hurtful. It was hurtful to hear. Oh, I uh, you should have minded your own motherfucking business. I can argue with my nigga if I want to. Yeah, that was hurtful. So but, is it, uh, oh, I got a question. Look, I just want to ask. I'm not to cut you off. You you keep saying that. She keeps saying that. I can argue with my nigga. Like let's let's elaborate on that for a second. Is that her man? She just said that two days ago. They, so they were they back kicking it? I didn't take it like that. I took it like that. You know, they still married. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't take it like, no, I don't think they still together. No. You know, they're still married. If that's what you're talking about, okay. together, they're married. But, I mean, but, but why, would she, why would she address him as her nigga? Like, I ain't never had a woman that addressed me as her nigga and I want her nigga. Like, and and, and I don't want no, no feelings there or something, something going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not even know, about to that. say all that, Joffy. After your motherfucking family done drug me through the mud, you don't, my ba he done got her locked up. This bitch showing her period panties. Like, y'all yeah. done done too much. I'm not about to do it. it How you gonna call somebody your nigga that, that it, you ain't fucking with like that? Yeah, 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 man, shit. I think it was more of. Uh, when it first came out, you understand what I'm saying? It's like, cause mm. when, you know, we bring it to the internet. Like I can argue with my nigga if I want to meet in it. She was arguing with her nigga and we jumped in it. We put our nose in it, so to speak. You understand what I'm saying? I can argue with my nigga if I want to. You know what I'm trying to say? I don't, I don't, anyway, I don't want to form no opinions or none, none of that bullshit or whatever. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I don't give a damn. But what I do know is they coochie crunch clean right now. The family is kumbaya or whatever the case may be. And it's fuck us. That's what I know. It's fuck us. It's shut the fuck up. That's what it is. It's move on. It's uh find another storyline. Who the fuck talk about the same person every single day? That's what it is, right? Motherfucker, no, that's that motherfucker well. trying to defend you. The fuck if it's fuck us, it's fuck them. Shit. I know. That's why I was on the floor. Like, what the fuck? What? Yeah. Hey, I ain't got no beef with none of y'all, yo. And it was real different I, ways I, about I, shit. That I heard every single day. And now it's who the fuck talk about the same person every single day? Move the fuck on, find another storyline, you know? Motherfuckers was trying to defend you. You got some of their followers and supporters still in the, in the comment section saying that bullshit. To, like, they still defending these people against, even though they some bullshit, complete bullshit people, man. I mean, I, I'll just call it what and it is. What and I think the supporters need to wake up. I think the supporters need to just don't don't form the side shit. Leave the side stuff alone. It ain't no side. We don't need to be arguing and beefing back and forth with each other when they're not. They're right, good. Right, right. Straight. They, you know, whatever the case may be, they laughing at our dumb asses, okay? So that's what I'm saying. We shouldn't be beefing back and forth with each other if they good. If they can forgive our all the bullshit that they did to each other. Why can't we forgive all the bullshit that we did to each other? Okay? They coochie crunchy clean. We need to become coochie crunchy clean. But it's still confusing though, Mr. Moore, because why neither one of y'all motherfucking asses came out here on the internet or went like, like Jeannie. So you see, Jeannie be saying facts. Why the fuck y'all ain't come together and let us know then instead of having people going back and forth? If y'all really all cool and crunchy cr cream and, and kumbaya and, and laughing at motherfuckers, y'all could have at least kept it 100 and came and told y'all supporters, like, we good, y'all. We don't need nobody else. We gonna work this out. Wooty woo or whatever. Not sitting back and then when you got the time to basically shit on the motherfucker. Well, I think that's what it was. When uh, hun, hun, um, uh, toy came out, that's what it was. they telling us they good. That's what it, that, I mean. I took it as that you didn't. I it's weird because I'm still I'm still on the fact, Mister Moore, that how is she trying to be so cool with Toya and accepting apologies from Toya when Toya just posted pictures of you and we weren't even they weren't even really talking about you. Like Toya went to her because Jeannie is on Toya ass. Like it's confusing. Because they family. They what is fam she gonna do? She can't. Brianna can't stop Jeannie. 
No, I don't think that. I don't know what the, all that is about. Genie unstoppable. Yeah, the fuck? <laughs> it ain't that that one. Keep on, Genie. Keep on, Genie. 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 Genie's a funny. Genie. What's he funny as a motherfucker, man? No, nah, and everybody keeps trying to call Genie crazy and shit. Genie better yeah, no, be crazy. crazy. No, Genie yeah, is not fact. crazy, man. Now, a lot of people don't realize what, what Jenny is saying is Jenny came out and started talking about the story on her own. Robert got in her inbox and started communicating with her and trying to push things her way. You know, sometimes right. you don't even give somebody something physically to, to share, but you may just be having a conversation with them and say this, that, and the other, knowing that they will go repeat it because they're a content creator, that right. they will repeat it online. You understand what I'm saying? But right. what I'm saying is, you know, a lot of people want to say, oh, Jenny wanted him and Jenny heard and this and whatever the case may be, Jenny may be hurt. But don't sleep on what Jenny is saying is what She's I'm saying. Facts. She's, She's speaking facts. She's speaking facts. You know? And I would be hurt too, because basically I, he said I think, her I think Jenny was about to drop some gem, uh, well, drop some secrets. And then they had to deter, you know what I'm saying? Everybody get the heat off of Toya and Jenny so that this side can start beefing. So yeah, they, but still, they obviously have to. Supporters look like that. I, this is what I. Think. Nah, that ain't it. I, all of this was to make the supporters look like we just all of a sudden start beefing with each other for no fucking reason, and it was never a problem. And we just took upon ourselves to just like hate each other, threaten each other, and want to do harm to each other just for no reason. That we should have just sat back and ate a motherfucking peanut butter and jelly sandwich and shut the fuck up. That's that's. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. I'm getting that. Nobody told y'all to get involved. Nobody told y'all to say shit. Y'all should have just fucking watch and fucking, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like it like and kept going. Y'all should have said shit. Y'all should have let us argue. Y'all should have let us say what we wanted to say, and that's it. That's what I'm getting. It's still, but motherfucker still wasn't saying let us argue or whatever when when she was in the thick of it. You know, so but hey. but to say, oh, I didn't tell you to do it, I didn't tell you to do it, but you know, you can shout out and co-sign and put people in your story and and, and you know, this and the other, whatever, and then all of a sudden, uh you should have minded your own motherfucking business, or like you know, Robert said, I ain't tell you to I ain't tell you to fight for me, and you trying to use my name for clout. They so funny when people tell you they you trying to use their name for clout like you are nothing ass nobody. <laughs> right. They 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 uh both I don't care, listen, y'all ain't gotta agree with this. But I'm gonna say it. I've been checking more than this damn YouTube check. Right. What do you say? My retirement check is more than this YouTube check. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Motherfucker, Airbnb paid me way more than you YouTube and all this shit. Airbnb been paying me. I've been getting paid. I've been getting money for years with this shit. So, but that's another story. Look, uh, and, and uh, uh, I want to say this. I think they are the same person. If you call him a narcissist. Mm. You, better, you better know who his wife. Both of them motherfuckers is fucked. They fucked up people, man. And they, well, and they, I, I, I don't even really want to come on here and, and, hey. and talk about that part. You know, they are whoever they are. But what I, they are <laughs> I just don't think it's right that they allow their uh, supporters to stay out here fighting with each other, mad with each other, want to cut each other throat off over, over them. You know what I'm saying? When if they could, if they could snap a finger and say y'all stop, and, and it all stopped just like that, I just think it could have been done a long time ago. There's a lot of hurt people out here, and they just say, "Well, you hurt because you you hurt because you got in somebody else's business." You understand what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. wrong. Facebook paid thirty thousand dollars a month if you hit that mark. If you, if you if you hit if you get enough likes, views, and comments, Facebook will give you a thirty thousand dollar bonus on top of yeah. whatever else you make. I yeah. feel like it's still her trying to protect him at the end of the day. She she back well, on that protection that's mode. Gonna, that's don't need to be our business no more. Ah, that, yeah, you're right. You right. no, shouldn't sit here and worry about if because a lot of people is like, oh more, I feel so bad for her. I feel like if she, you know, if she go back to him, she's gonna get hurt, this, that, and the other. Why are we worried about that? Right. We're on. Let them do them. They told us we don't need y'all no more. Why are we worried about if she go back, if she talk to him, if she meet up with him, and she do whatever she do. If he do it, if he if he do whatever, why should we? Stop? Yeah. 
Yeah, you got you got a you got a you got a messy chat down there. Your chat messy down there. That, yeah, that, that's all kind of shit. <laughs> but you we right though, Mister Moore. So, we good. Yeah, we so, good. At the end so of the why, day, life goes on. It is what it is. Women, they are fool to worry about what happens. Right. Who is this backstage? What's going on? Hi, Amora. So I came on the panel. I was on the panel with you left on Sweet Ma like last month sometime. Uh -huh. This is Jasmine. But I just wanted to say they are one in the same. They are definitely so. one in the same. They've used their supporters, the both of them, when it is convenient. They yes. feed information. And then when it is not convenient for them and they want to put up a positive facade, they both disassociate themselves and say what they've not done. So at this point, I really don't even, I, I mean, I understand everybody being upset. And I want to apologize to you because everybody should feel appreciated. I know I ain't do it, but everybody should feel appreciated in speaking a piece. Even you, Joffy, like everybody should feel appreciated in speaking their piece and going to bat for these people, whether they ask for it or not. Because mm -hmm. they all was putting a battery in everybody's bed. You uploading information, you sending stuff behind the scenes, you're popping up in, on, on platforms, you're popping up in the comment section. You definitely was in support of these people being in support of you. So to put out that narrative, we didn't ask you to, you didn't, you did not associate with the people that were doing it. You definitely were showing up and showing support. So like you said, actions do speak louder than words. And they just played in everybody's face. Toy mm -hmm. got her bills paid. Dunn got her bills paid. Brianna and Robert ran up a bag and everybody else was fighting over it. Mm -hmm. Period. That they all went in the same whole family whole family was in it for the coin and they didn't make whatever they're gonna make off of it and they don't need nobody no more so they throwing everybody away so throw them away too that's what i came up with top period <laughs> hey look the the the, the, the truth happened when the numbers fail facts <laughs> the, the the numbers fell and the money decreased so we don't the need y'all no more now. yeah it was, uh... jasmine thank you for your apology and my apologies to you and to you too Joppy. You know yeah, what? Yeah, so. I apologize beef. to you as well. I ain't got no beef. I ain't got no smoke. I, hey, and this for any content creator. I don't got no smoke with y'all now. Unless can y'all hear me? Get on that bullshit. Get on that yeah, bullshit I now. I'm, 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 I don't got. No, I ain't. I ain't well, going I back. Can I just say something real quick, Miss Amora? Who is this? This is Brina. Brina, what's up? Oh, I just man, wanted to, I, yeah, I had to come, Jackie, you know I was coming, Jackie, you know I was <laughs> yeah. coming. I just had to come, and I wanted to say, I have absolutely still to this day no idea why you and I have such a strenuous beef when we've had numerous conversations behind the scenes, and I just would like to ask, I've never gotten a chance to ask you on live or on the chat, we've blocked each other and talked crap. I've been holiday for I don't know how many months. You've been Aunt Jackie for however many months. We didn't did it. We didn't laugh and had a good time. But I, I genuinely would like to know why there is an issue or what your it, true issue is with me. Because I know you call me fake because I said I wanted to be an individual, but nobody realized. No, no, it was never. It was not saying anything. <laughs> text messages came it, out. It, it was never that that I was sleeping with him. So nobody respected my position on that. So I was just trying to figure you out. Said, what, what happened now? Sleeping with who? <laughs> oh, let me go back. When the text message came out that him and I were supposedly doing something with each other and I smell like this and all this other stuff, people did not- I ain't never heard nothing about none of that. <laughs> you, 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 you seen the, the messages that came out on That's the- That's my word on everything I love. <laughs> I, I ain't know nothing about none of that shit though. She talking about a, she talking to a more Joffy. Oh, I thought she talking to me. Oh, oh. Yeah. I am I'm talking to Joffy. I am strictly talking to Joffy. Oh. oh okay. Right, yeah, yeah. I don't know nothing about that. Like I still so don't. Yeah, he's telling me he's not, there were messages that came out that were made up on me by a specific person, and he never said anything about it. When I came live and said I want to be an individual, you went ham on me. So I'm just no, trying to figure out. It won't that. It was well, something that it was it was a piece of your content. That, that that I felt I felt was out of context, you know. What I'm saying and it gave it gave off the wrong vibe, like as if I liked you in a, a, a way that that I didn't. You know what I'm saying? And and I felt like him sharing that content. I felt like he was a whole ass nigga for that. You know what I'm saying? I felt like he was on some whole shit. And and he come to find out, he really he he didn't come to me and tell me that um he had an issue with me being cool with Coco. You know what 
You know what I'm saying? Until my last live that I had did, that's when he came out. That's when he said, you with Coco or something? Yeah, shut your bitch ass up, man. <laughs> Look, listen, me and Coco been cool. We were cool when you when when he was speaking positive about you. You know what I'm saying? And Coco gave me the ropes on, on his social media stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not just, I'm not, the, I'm not too, uh, bro. I'm not just going to gonna, gonna dis, dis, uh, disassociate myself with a person just based on the fact that another person don't like them. That's not, that's not me. No. Well, Brian, Brian, so I feel, feel bad. But Joppy, didn't you just say you don't have no problem with no content creator? Nah, uh-uh. Nah. So I don't got no, listen. Listen, yeah, I ain't beefing. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying her content at the time, right? You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm asking I've, him because at the time we was having like a real beef and I really genuinely had no issue with you. I was always just trying to figure out what the problem was. I went live and fake cried and made it into a joke because I honestly thought that's what it was. But then I ain't seen none of that. that. I, I, I stopped so watching I that, and that all was that. Content. I'm thinking like, what the hell is dude coming, you know, for me for? And even though we both don't have issues with Oh, anybody, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you when you, just, when you, when you hopped on the panel, it is like you was on the panel with these girls, you know what I'm saying? At, at a time where you, when you hopped on that panel with uh uh <laughs> hell, you know I got jokes. No, I know what you're talking about. I got jokes. I joke the shit out, joke the shit out of the motherfucker. Ain't gonna ain't gonna joke though right now, cause but they probably can wear right. Joppy, I'm sorry, I don't mean to mute you, but I'm just gonna say this: I don't mean to mute you, but we on a whole bigger level issue. Mm -hmm. Rina, Rina, I understand what you're saying, but we talking about something that's bigger right now, and I ain't trying to downplay. What went on with you and Joppy? But can y'all meet in a, in the messenger with each other? Because I, said, I, I don't mean to disrespect. Don't have no problem, but no content. I'm cool with that. I'm cool yeah, with that. Yeah, yeah, like but I don't disrespect the panel. It was just to ask him that. It's not an issue. Okay, thank you, Brie Brie. I appreciate you, baby. All right, y'all. Sorry about that. What was you saying, Jazz? I'm sorry. Oh, I was saying that I just wanted to say I was not a supporter of either. I've always had my view of both of them doing messed up stuff, but I did want to extend an apology because I felt like I, and I ain't watched that. Let me just say that I've not watched what went on, but I did hear about it. And I just wanted to extend an apology because you have been riding like four flats in a Cadillac, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> and mm -hmm. I feel like the main two people who were really riders, you and sweet mom, I feel like y'all got the most flat out of everybody. Like, I'm yep. just, you know, here in the midst, I have my little channel. I talk about what I talk about, and it's really not about Brandon and Robert. But from what I can see, you guys really took a lot of flack from, well, well, y'all just took a lot of flack. I'm just leaving it at that. And so I did want to apologize because you did ride with her. And it, it does make you feel a kind of way when you've been supportive of somebody and they just give you their behind the kiss. That's mm -hmm. not cool. And I peeped that a long time ago when they came the first time calling the truce and then was back at it. So I, it wasn't a shocker to me, but I think it's kind of effed up that they gained and everybody else was just used up and thrown away. Mm -hmm. That wasn't cool. And also, you know, to be honest with you too, I just think that all the fallouts, because we laugh, and let's just be honest for a minute. We laugh at, at the fallout that we like, oh, you know, when we, we may have even said the devil doing that, the devil doing that, or not the devil, I'm sorry, God doing that, God breaking y'all up, God breaking y'all up. And God may have been breaking y'all up, but we laughed at it, right? When all along we should have been like, you know what? None of us should be beefing back and forth with each other like this over something that don't matter to us. And they didn't care that we was beefing back and forth with each other. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? It was okay Absolutely. for us to do that. And so now it's like, leave us alone. We good when we when we still got issues with each other. Uh -huh. We still got issues with each other, and they good and been good for a while. So uh -huh. we looking like fools out here, doing in the comments, swinging and batting, and and, and 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 what do they call bone carrying? Oh, she said this. Oh, she said that. Oh, yeah. That's a point of saying this. That's a point of saying that. Let us stop looking like fools if they good and and like you said. If they can forgive and, 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 and forgive and move forward, why can't we? Absolutely. Absolutely. The fallouts between who support who, people beefing inside and outside. So it's just like, it's unnecessary. It's unnecessary and it needs to be cut out. We need to stop. You understand what I'm saying? We need to stop. We need to stop beefing with each other. Okay? They cool. 
Well, you know, I just think it'd be a damn fool for us to be out here pointing out this person flaws versus that person flaws when they they cool. Right. They yep. Cool. Yep, they let them catch. figure it out. When they got they another catch. issue, let them figure it out. If we yep. all start ignoring it instead of speaking on it, instead of posting it, instead of running to lives, if we just start ignoring them, they'll stop uploading it. Like we, we, uh, you know, as the people out here, I ain't gonna say support because I didn't support them, but we need to start just ignoring them all together. Ignore it. How do you kill a sickness if you if you don't entertain it? It can't right. grow if you don't entertain it. You yeah. know. Back to doing what we was doing, uh, enjoying our lives. They said they sleeping good, good at night. We need to sleep good at night. They dancing up and down the streets of Nashville. We need to go dance up and down the streets of whatever city or state we live in. We need to stop just being posted and glued to the internet, worrying about what might happen next when they living their best life. They all coochie clean, you know, they did all this whatever to each other, but they straight now while we out here still beefing with each other. Every time somebody go online, we in the bushes looking at seeing what everybody else is doing. No, go back to love the content creator that you love. Continue to move mm -hmm. forward. If you want to sit here and listen to a content creator drag one or the other down, I mean, at this point, you're, 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 you're crazy. You're crazy. Okay. You're just crazy. Mm -hmm. And start <laughs> supporting people who support us. It was us to support us. Start supporting people that support us, and exactly. let them have it because they they gonna have what they gonna have regardless. But like you said earlier in your life, we the little people compared to them. We the little people in this situation, anyways. We are the little people. But, Jack. We are the little people. You know, when you being told, um, you guys are not my own supporters. I don't have three point two million. Supporters on this, I don't mean no harm, uh, uh, but that ain't uh, uh, go ahead. Uh, but what I'm saying is, if yeah. you're talking, how do you think that you will feel? You're nobody, you're a little person, you are a little person. Well, folks, I got no 3.2, nothing, uh, absolutely. Jock, I'm here, I'm here with you. Well, uh, that's really a damn lie. If you're told, if you're told, and then listen. You know, if you're told that you guys are not my only supporters, I have a lot of supporters. And if y'all, if if two, if I if I lose two or three hundred supporters, it ain't gonna mean shit. Then mm -hmm. you know, hey. But the like, problem is, the supporters you down there are the people that's actually supporting you. Because the thing is, even if those supporters are real, you've acquired those people over a number of years. All of them people not watching you. You ain't got millions and three point two million views every day. They ain't got three point two million followers for real. Right? That's some bull. That look, listen, man. <laughs> Neither one of those yeah. people ain't got that. That's well, shit, it don't. Man. It don't matter. It's just that don't shit on the people that's been on the battlefield for you. Don't shit on the people that stand up to the line. You know, let me tell you, the military is huge, right? The military got oh, really five different compartments or whatever. They huge, but the the people that stand on the front line, the people that stand on the front line are important. Do you understand what I'm saying? You can't just wipe all the people that stand on the front line, wipe them away and shit on them and just worry about the people that sat down in the back. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, I got, I can stand and lose two, two or three hundred supporters. The ones that was on the front line, F those, but the ones that was all the way in the back, oh, let's, let's go party hardy or whatever. Come on, man. You don't shit on your supporters like that. That's all I'm saying. You don't shit on your supporters like that. So all I'm saying is we will be a goddamn fool to continue to fight in these social media streets amongst each other when they coochie country clean. Period. I wholeheartedly agree. Y'all I'm finna step down. Well, thank you so much, Jazz. I appreciate you coming up. Over. You're welcome. Y'all have a good night. All right, you too. So yeah, that's all I'm saying. That, you know, we we don't have no reason to beef with each other, no reason to fight with each other. Yeah, things were said. We was all in support of who we thought we were supposed to be in support of. But mm -hmm. to sit there and beef back and forth with each other and still have a... We ready to... Woo, honey, we ready to scrap in these streets. For what, though? For what? They ain't ready to scrap. You know? They ready to book a hotel. <laughs> I ain't gonna say that, but you know. Hey, shit, I, I'm going all the way. I don't give a damn. Listen, you, hey man, ain't no damn telling. Ain't I ain't gonna no say telling. that. I don't want to put out rumors. I don't want to put hey, out. Uh, hey. you know, 
bullshit, but to be honest with you, we shouldn't care. We shouldn't care, okay? We shouldn't care. We we was we you know we shouldn't care. They don't care. They don't want us to care, so we should not care. Okay, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they I don't. They good. Like they told us, find another storyline. Talk about something else. Stop talking about our family, and that's what we need to do. Find another storyline and stop talking about their family. Okay, let that family do what that family gonna do. Whatever it is that they gonna do, you know. Whatever it is that they gonna do. But we should have minded our own motherfucking business. That right there will ring to me, honey, for the next rest of my life. You hear me? Please, please don't let it. Please don't. Should I mind that motherfucking business? Hey, JP, who are you? What's going on? Hi. I just wanted to ask, is it don't you find it normal that when people break up, divorce, they are going through hard times at first? But a lot of times they get over that and get past it and become friends again. Yeah, that, that happens. That does. I think that part of what may have happened is that um, Brianna, when her and um, Latruth was first starting to try to get back on the right foot of co-parenting, the content creators were still talking about each other. And it was hard for them to progress with that. So I think they went about things the wrong way by saying, we don't need you guys. But in private, maybe they should have said, can you stop drag- dragging each other? Because we're trying to move in a different direction. If yeah. they wanted to do that, I feel like they could have did that. They, I don't even think it was the content creator's fault. If they grown enough and wanted to move forward or, or co pen or whatever, they was grown enough to do that. He didn't want to do that. So I don't know. All this some bullshit if you ask me. The hell, but I agree with you, JP. You know, um, I don't think anybody is upset that they are moving forward in a peaceful manner. I don't think that we're, I know I'm not. Let me just say, it. I'm not upset that they're moving forward in a peaceful manner. But what I'm saying is, the y'all should have managed y'all motherfucking business, and we right, are, that's hurtful. That type of that's hurtful, okay? I'm just that's what it is. It, it should be more, it should have been to me. I feel like it probably should have been more of. We don't want you guys to fight amongst each other. Yeah, we came out here, we brought it to the internet, but we don't want y'all to fight amongst each other. You know, we're trying to heal, we're trying to move forward. Can y'all stop fighting amongst each other? But it was more leave our family alone. Yeah, you know I got you. Leave our family alone. Fuck y'all down there. Y'all do what y'all do down there, but leave our motherfucking family alone because we good. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's yeah, I get you. I understand you know totally. It's going on long enough. Is a lot of people are being hurt down there, and in, 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 y'all little people, okay, y'all little people are being hurt down there. We don't want to see y'all little people being hurt no more, okay? So y'all, please stop fighting amongst each other. We're trying to move forward in a peaceful manner, and we would like you guys to move forward too. It, it ain't no sides no more. This should have been. It should have came out. It ain't no sides. We ain't beefing up here, and y'all shouldn't beef down there. Yeah, they should. They went about it the wrong way instead of thanking the people who went so hard for them and then asking them to move on peacefully. Instead, they said, OK, we don't need you no more. That's clarity. I'm going to drop down. OK, thank you. Thank you. All right, no worries. Yeah, I got I got to go ahead and drop down for you know, get out of here. But I, I just wanted to come up here, you know, what I'm saying, and, um, and you know, peace, peace things out, man. We, we hey, ain't no beef. Yeah, ain't no, no ain't no hard, ain't no hard feelings about nothing. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got no hard feelings with, with none of the people in the chat. None of that. You know what I'm saying? Everything, you know, hey, it's all love, man. All you love. Know. Thank you, Jobby, so much. I appreciate you, honey. All right, now. Peace. All right. Talk to you later. Mm-hmm. And that and that's what we need to do. All the content creators need to stop beefing. The supporters. Mm-hmm of whoever just stop beefing it ain't our fight they good okay so if they didn't they didn't say it i'ma say it let's not fight each other it don't make no sense we'll be a damn fool to continue to fight each other and i'm talking about not even on our own panels but even in other people's comments you know if, if somebody else want to talk about it or whatever don't fight the people don't fight the other people that's talking about it like just listen don't even fight amongst ourselves no more Mm-hmm. Just don't. Let's not do that. You know. Let's just and I mean and and those that want to continue to drink the Kool Aid and, and continue to fight, hey, whatever. But I'm 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 out. Y'all will not see me doing none of that shit. None of that windmilling and all that stuff for what? 
Right, for especially if you, if you ain't appreciated for what? Absolutely, 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 you know? And it's, 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 it's across the board, they good. And I'm gonna tell you this, I'll tell you this, because the internet, you know, there's money to be made or whatever, it may be a round two, some type I, of uh, round uh, second phase or whatever the fuck you want to call it to come about. If y'all want to get into that, y'all can. I'm not. Yep. No, hell no. I, and I feel like that too. I, that's what I was about to say, Miss Moore. I feel like it's going to be something else and then a the motherfucker going to need you now. Stay where you at. Once you cross the line, you got to stay there. Well, the, the, you know... <laughs> It may be around two second part, second division, whatever the case may be. But I, I'm definitely, I, I'm not going to chapter two. Hell to the no. You hear me? Mm -mm. But I, I just wouldn't. the supporters and the content creators that was beefing back and forth, thinking that it was personal. Stop. You know, she says a more. Hold on. I'm and I'm sorry I wasn't reading y'all super chats. I apologize. A more. I'm thinking back to that live you did one night. And you were hyping Brie up so much when you compared her likes, et cetera. You went so hard for her and this in return. Hurts my heart. Oh, Miss Heard, I'm so sorry. Yes, you know, I'm going to tell you something. When I support, I support. You know, when I support, I'm all in. I support. You know what I'm saying? I support. I support. But, um, you know, but to, to, to you know, you know, it's all good. But thank you, Miss Heard. It's all good. Did the judge sign the papers? I I, listen, I'm not here to talk about any of that. I don't care. Whatever. Right. That ain't, right. I don't care about none of that. All I'm saying is we left out here to defend for ourselves, to, to, to sit here and think that somebody was ever going to jail, to sit here and think that somebody was ever had real charges filed on them, to think that somebody was really, you know, really mad, upset, whatever the case may be. All I'm saying is Go back to living your life and listening to your favorite content creator or laughing and, you know, playing with your grandkids, baking cookies or whatever the case may be, honey. Finding your, your, the best show you like on TV or whatever the case may be, child, because, listen, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Because when you told that, you know, you should have managed your motherfucking business, yeah, that part, that don't sit right with me, okay? At all. See, it was just like that or more. Pretty much, yeah, it was. But I ain't gonna sit here. I, you know me. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not trying to. What I'm not trying to do. I, I, I'm not. This ain't to drag. I, I understand what you. I. You. You grown, and we all have our own feelings, and you can say whatever the fuck you want to say, and how you feel. It is what it is. Shit. Right. right. But this is just to say the family as a whole. This is a family as a whole. Got people out here. They could have done what they did the other day. They could have did this five, six, seven, a year fucking ago is what I'm trying to say. That's right. what I'm trying to say. This could have been done a year ago, but it wasn't. So the fact that we out here windmilling against each other for what? They good. Fuck us. They good. Okay? They good. So that's what I'm saying. We shouldn't be battling against each other or whatever. You know, Amor, your job is, well, don't feel bad. We still here for you, and we know what you stand for. Love you. Love you too, Lynn. Love you too, Lynn. And I ain't trying to, you know, like I said, I'm not dragging. At this point, I just feel like the family as a whole. And when I say the family, I mean the family, like they said. The family as a whole should have shut this shit down mm -hmm. a while ago. They should have, the family as a whole should have came out here and let us know that they were gelling or they were contemplating on gelling or they were thinking about gelling or they were good. The family as a whole. So the apology tour and all that shit or whatever, I don't know. Listen, all I'm saying is don't believe everything that you see on this motherfucking internet, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm sit here and think that it's real beef going on, it's real this and that or whatever. Oh, I got my team is better than your team type shit or whatever. We out here looking like goddamn fools, man. Right, right. Piss me off. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Hey, Robbie, what's going on? What's hey, I'm Laura. Long time no talk, too. Hey, honey, same here. Same here. 
Amora, we just going to say forget this stuff. Me, you, Felicia, and Glee, we all just going go to go on the strip and have us a drink. Well, if we do, we need to do it in a hurry, honey. Yeah, before you leave. Before you leave. Because this stuff is just like, I'm just so appalled. But I'm glad that I fell back. One, because y'all was too tough. <laughs> hence, hence. And two, it was just too much. Yeah. So yeah. don't think, yeah, don't think for a second that um, me and my girls, we had our eyes open. We saw stuff. We paid attention. That's why, you know, it was just too much. It was too much. It, is. Uh, it was just too much. It's just like you can go into a whole nother world with this stuff. And then, you know, I, I understand your hurt. I understand your hurt. Um, but there's, you know, there's a lot of people that are hurting this because this, as they call it, the saga, um, it played on a lot of people's emotions and feelings and, um, just like things that w people went through. And that's how so many people connected and they, of all people should come on here and give a public apology. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry that, you know, this went on so long. And, you know, that's, you know what, I'm going to tell you this. This is coming from somebody who's, who supported uh, Latrue, mm -hmm. um, or who supports Latrue, whatever, however you want to say it. The saga is over, so it ain't no, ain't no support. Don't nobody need our support. They don't need our support. Exactly. So here's the thing, and everybody got to remember this. It's not that we did this on our own. You know what I mean? It's their business. Why we, if you put it on the internet, the world wide web, it becomes everybody's business because right. that's what it's for. That's like telling us, oh, don't watch TV because that's that. You know what I mean? Come on, man. This is, it's like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm just appalled that that was even said to you. Yes, I am too. <laughs> I'm just, I, I'm, I'm just, I, and I, you know, huh? I even said, what did you just say? Because I can't make sure I heard what the fuck I heard. I can just imagine Morgan like, what? I would have been shocked too. Like, what? But we're, we laughing. We're not laughing at what was said or, you no. know, what it was. It's just like the audacity. And you know how everybody put on their uh, they title on the internet? The audacity. The audacity. 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 This is, this is, uh, this is what that means, 100%, the audacity. Right, the audacity. Mm. No, you're right. Because, right. Yeah, okay, so, yes, there were um, things going back and forth and back and forth, um, but there was no defense before you. You know what I'm saying? There was no defense before you. Right. Um, I'm, I'm going to say that uh, I don't, know about people on her page bullying and all that other kind of whatever they were doing because I didn't go to her page. I didn't write comments. I didn't do that. We we didn't do the people that I know, we didn't do that. We didn't go over to that page and do that kind of stuff. So all the stuff that said was done, you know, I, I don't know. But according to what was said was done, dude, she probably would have, you know what I mean, if it wasn't for you, because I don't know if I could have took all that. That's why I don't go on the internet that much because I can't handle all that. Yeah, but we were supposed to watch. <laughs> we were supposed to eat popcorn. We were supposed to listen, watch, and be quiet. We were supposed to sit there and color. That's what we were supposed to do. Sit there and color. Okay, that's what we were supposed to do. We went. To, nobody told nobody to come in and fight. We were supposed to sit there and color. That's what we've been told basically today. Okay, and watch. What FYI? If that was the case, then nobody should have been contacted or talked to off the screen. You know what I'm saying? Right. There should have been no communication with nobody. Yeah. So that's so, what we were supposed to watch. And the fact that now, you know, the family as a whole, because we can't just think about just a couple. The whole family is saying, leave us alone. This our family. Let us do what we do, and y'all do what the fuck y'all doing down there in those comments or whatever, wherever we at in the Motel Six. 
Y'all go fight it out in the Motel 6 and cut each other's throat off and 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 press charges against each other and be mad at each other and this thing. Leave us alone. Leave us out of it, though. We healing. We good. How about, how about this? Keep your the not this is not for you. But here you go. This is for them. Keep your ass off the internet. We don't want to hear nothing else about it. We don't want to see your face. We don't want to hear your stuff. We don't want to hear nothing. If you don't want nobody in your if in it, stay off the internet with the sob stories and uh just just stay off the internet with the BS. Yeah. And that's how you keep people out of your business on both was, sides. Yeah, hmm? that's true. And I'm not saying stuff don't happen. And I'm not, I'm not even saying that it wasn't real. What happened what was brought to the internet wasn't real. I'm not saying that at all. I do not want to discredit what ha what happened. But what I'm saying is to sit here and say hashtag team this hashtag team that and then now all of a sudden i didn't ask you to support me i didn't ask you to be there for me I, and i got all these other supporters that losing you or, or two or three hundred more people don't mean shit to me that's the shit that just make you know make, make you say huh what? right yes, how about this Refund all them two hundred people, them three hundred people back for the books, the clothes, the the refund us our money back. Give us the stars, give us the cat. Not well, you I didn't get no cash, but give the cat, give all that back if you don't need them support us. It ain't even that. that. Keep the shit. Keep, you can keep the shit. And no, I'm you just, ain't got to worry about me no more. Yeah, I'm just saying for them not to need the support is y'all. Uh, I'm just saying is for that to be said to you, and y'all the one that sold out the. Well, we're not going bat for bat, but I just hate for that to have been said to you. It doesn't matter if we were different. You know, we still human beings. We still people. That's why I back down. That's why me and you didn't really have no beef and no beef with the rehab and all that other kind of back to back call. Whatever was going on, you know what I mean. I don't know who's who or whatever. Cause my my you know me and me and my friends, cause we got a, you know how you got your sisterhood. We got our sisterhood. We just sat back and watched. Because at the end of the day, we all human. But I hate that for you. That is sad. And I just want you to know that if you, the people that you see me with, they're not going to get on here and say anything. But we are very empathetic with that situation because that is a hurtful one. Yeah. And you taking it like a champ. You taking it like a champ. They sneaking and geeking, but we taking it. You taking it like a champ. And was told by people that I thought. You know, uh, cared about me that get out my motherfucking feelings, okay? You know? <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. So I got out my feelings and got the fuck out the way. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm out my feelings and I'm out the fucking way. But it would do me, I feel like it would be injustice for me not to let everybody else know that you are dispensable, okay? So you 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 you, you could be tossed to the side at any moment, okay? So just know that it ain't about us. We the we the two to three hundred that don't mean shit because there's a whole lot more supporters that mean more, okay? Because us two three hundred people don't mean shit, okay? That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. That's what I told the people. I'm not gonna go back to back and back to back with somebody if something happened to me. I can't call and say, can you help me? Or can you help me pay a bill or nothing? Zero zilch nada. So I said I was not going back to back with them. Yeah. No, no. Oh, ma'am. Yeah. But okay. yeah. But thank you so much, Robert. For no problem. Up. Thank you, Amora. And you keep your head up and stay strong. We're going to be looking for We're going to be looking for your chat. Okay. And, and send me an inbox on Facebook. Send me an inbox. Yes, ma'am. And okay. uh, like I said, remember I said a long time ago, you have the voice for a content creator. Yeah, you did tell me that. You keep it up, but you keep it up other than this damn story because you will be. I'm done with this. I just don't want other people to think I'm done with it. Really, Robbie. And the only reason why I'm coming out saying something now, because I care about other people that really think that it's, it's genuine, you know, concern, appreciation. Mm -hmm. uh, both sides. I'm, I'm saying, you know, I used to come out here and say, Robert don't care about his supporters. Robert don't care about his supporters. Well, the family as a whole, the whole family, and I'm, I'm, I'm including Brianna as part of the family. Okay, you heard it first. None of them care about their supporters. Okay, now, well, let me just say it like this. That's what they said. Okay, I can afford to lose two or three hundred supporters, 
You you should have minded your motherfucking business. I can fight with my nigga if I want to. Okay? They don't care about their supporters, all right? So that's what I'm saying. Not be supporters. Okay. And then he, here, here, here is a very good lesson for everybody. Signs and symptoms of a toxic family. So now y'all know what to stay the hell away from in life. Oh, I'm done with it. I'm done. With oh, no, no. I'm talking about in real life. <laughs> in real life. They know everybody has seen the signs of a toxic family. So everybody knows what to stay away from. This has been a, a learning experience from, yeah. from the comments all the way to, you know what I'm saying? To the first day. It's been a, a learning experience. Everybody sit back, pay attention and learn yeah. from it. So, yeah. you know what? We thank them for teaching us some stuff. That's what we do. Okay. Right. So you have a good day, and I will be looking for. Let's talk about it. Okay, right. well, thank you, Robbie. I appreciate you. All right, bye. Okay, bye bye. All right, and I don't want people to think because I see Dad said, "Wait, we not gonna discredit what other Bree supporters did," and people saying Bree didn't have no support before. More is BS. Let's not do that, please. Let's not do that. No, Brianna do have supporters. There's some supporters that didn't come out and fight. The ones that's on the front line that came out and fought, that fought or whatever are, you know, I don't know. They should have just shut the fuck up, I guess, and just report and support. That's what they should have did, just support like the other ones did. That's what all the supporters should have did, just sat there, ate popcorn or whatever, you know? But you ain't got to keep explaining yourself either, Mr. Moore. I mean, we all, I, I definitely understand where you're coming from. The shit is hurtful. Motherfucker telling you you should have mind your business and all that, just... Just from here on out, like she said, we here for your show. So it is after this, after today, Mr. Moore, don't even let this shit get to you. You did, you came what you did. I mean, you did what, what they say. You came and did what you did. You know, you stood ten toes down. I mean, blessings to y'all for you and your family. I definitely stay away from your family. If that's what what's gonna get y'all together, then blessings. Let me move on with yeah. my life now. I just, you know, you know yeah, you right, <laughs> you right, you right, you right. Let me move on with my life. Shit, y'all moving on with y'all. Shit, <laughs> I'm really not trying to say the shit that I want to say because I probably have everybody on here mad. But I mean, it is what it is. I ain't yeah, kissing yeah. nobody ass. I don't give a fuck about no groups, no teams, no none of that, Mister Moore. Because yeah, it shouldn't be. Yeah, I'm. I'm cool. Sisterhood that was developed. Yep. But even in the sisterhood, you shouldn't get mad if if. Somebody go out and like somebody else's stuff. Like that ain't the type of sisterhood I want to be a part of. No, I don't exactly. want to be exactly. Exactly. Say hey to somebody that you don't, you ain't, you you know, you ain't feeling or whatever the fuck. Okay? Right. And I can say that saga really have took a toll on some people's lives and shit. Because I ain't never been on the internet this much trying to um, protect Brianna and. And just, just a lot of shit, the shit that you was doing and all that, a lot of this shit really has them taking a toll over a lot of people, me included. And after after this one, I never, never in my motherfucking life, no, ever yeah. again. This, this is too much, way too much, especially for the I'll play out how I just did. Like, no, never yeah. again. This is hurtful. That's fucked up. It's all fucked up. All right, I'm gonna drop you down, Jay, because I got two more people trying to come up. Okay. Okay, I love you, Mr. Moore. All right, love you too. All right. Okay. Uh, Danielle, it says device not connected. You need to go back out, and you need to uh say yes to having your your audio on. So go back out and come back in because your audio is not working, Danielle. Hey, KC, the diva. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Mora? doing quite well. I hope you are. I just wanted to call in and just say that I'm so sorry to happen to you. You have been the realest thing. I mean, like, from day one. You have supported that girl. And, you know, it, it, I, I'm just saddened by this. Like, that she would do that. I have a daughter the same age as her. So, mm -hmm. it's like, I was, I was thinking... If I was, you know, if I wasn't here and my daughter had an issue and someone was, you know, people were bullying her, I would hope that she would have someone like you that would step in and fight for her. Right. And it's a real slap in the face, you know, oh, and yes. 
disregard the email I sent you the other day. I sent you one the other day, an inbox to, for the Airbnb. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was going to be going, coming to Atlanta. But now I'm not, of course. Yeah, my daughter lives in Atlanta. But I'm just going to I'm gonna help my husband drive all the way to Texas, baby. That's what I'm gonna do because we moving. I was gonna, you know what I'm saying? I was gonna detour and let my husband do it on his own, but I just chose now. I think it's best for me to drive with him. But you know what? It was revealed at the right time, right? So it came out, you know. God planted this way is wrong. It, you know, one thing I did notice is that she was following him. Even when all this stuff was going on, she was still following him. On oh, Facebook. I didn't know. I didn't know. Well, but what I do know is that it, it ain't, it ain't. What I know is things that happen on the internet, it, it happens on the internet because that's what people want you to see. Okay. People want you to see what they want you to see. And everything that happened on the internet is not happening on the back end. So we out here thinking one thing and a whole nother thing is going on behind the scenes. So that's what I'm saying. So period. We just, we just need, we, we all should just mind our business and let the family do whatever the family want to do. Period. You know? Yeah, this was, this is very interesting, but um, you know, I hope that you feel better. I know it's, it's, it's uh, you know, a heartbreak there. Cause I mean, that's just ridiculous. And you did not deserve this by any means, but you know, some people are just, just not used to being appreciating p other people. Right. Um, right. And they're not used to being loved, truly loved. And that is her problem. Right. She don't know what love really is about. Cause that's why she was subtle being with somebody for six years that whooped her ass and treated her like shit and then had the nerve to have her daughter hug this motherfucker. Oh, sorry. Hug this, <laughs> hug this guy a couple of weeks ago. I was like, what the hell is this? What are you well, teaching your damn daughter? Uh, yeah. But I don't even really abuse. You, you said abuse, oh, it's okay to hug this abuser when you, she got out the situation. So it was, it was all a joke. It was all, it, this is ridiculous. Yeah. But I, I'm glad it all came out because that way it saved me money from coming to Atlanta, right? And so, you know, I always go to Atlanta anytime anyway, but I'm glad that it came all out because now we all know. And I will not be following, supporting, doing none of that shit. Like, this is wrong. And God don't like ugly. God don't like ugly. And ain't too fun or cute, baby. I just think the yep. family would have did it this long time ago. I think the family should have let us know that they were cool, that, you know, whatever, whatever. I just think the family should, if they, if they could snap a finger and one day come out and say, we ain't got no problems with each other. We good. After everything that came out, after all the supporters that went back and forth with each other and did all the, whatever we did to each other. I think that they could have done this a fucking year ago. Do you understand what I'm saying? I think that, you know, to say that I ain't tell you to support me, I didn't tell you to follow me, and I got more supporters, I got all these people, and all these people, and all these people, and hee hee ha ha, and it, whatever the case may be, I just think that that's a slap in the face. They could have shut this shit down. There's a lot of people out here, there's more people hurt than them, but to say I'm living my best life, I'm skipping up and down, I'm a, I'm doing a tour in Nashville, and every city coming up, and, and I'm sleeping good at night, and this, that, and the other, when you know there's people out here that's in pain that's hurting after everything that's been going on to leave everybody else out here bleeding while y'all didn't put band-aids on it long time ago uh it's fucked up okay it's fucked up it, so. it, it very much so is and i was thinking too about her relationship with her friends right the her sister sister girl how they ended then the other girl i forgot her name nyla i think i forgot sorry i forgot her name and it seemed like they were really good people and it's the reason why they don't fuck with her no more See, because I don't know. No loyalty, none. I don't even really care to talk about that, but I, I would just say this: Pe things happen for a reason, and actions speak louder than words. And Facebook, social media is fake as fuck. <laughs> yes. Social media is fake as fuck. People come out here smiling and dancing and acting like this, that, and the third. They show you what they want to show you, baby. God. Damn, well, it's do. entertainment, isn't that what he say all the time? It's entertainment. It's for entertainment purposes. <laughs> Facebook, I mean, social media is into motherfucking entertainment. She Which just never said it's entertainment, right? She just yeah. never said it. But he's been saying that shit all along, right? 
And yeah. we all fell for it. We felt so sorry for her, right? We like, oh my God, nobody's defending her. She's, you know, so we've got to protect her. That's the motherly instinct in all these women that's been protecting her ass. And at the end of the day, it was all a bunch of bullshit. Right. And we all should have just been protecting ourselves and not worried about this shit. You understand what I'm saying? We should have protected ourselves. But it's okay for, you know, and, and, and I don't want this just to be about Brianna don't care about her supporters. This is beyond Brianna. The family as a whole don't care about their supporters, okay? The family as a whole, all of them, even the siblings, they don't care about none of us, period. Period, okay? Family as a whole. This ain't just Brianna. Brianna made up with all of them, all of them. They all good. So why people out here so oh, I hope this person go to jail and I hope they go to jail and I hope they go to jail is laughable, okay? <laughs> it's laughable. Y'all crazy. There ain't no charges. It ain't none of that. If anything, if anything, and I ain't gonna say who said what, but I'm gonna just say this. It's been talked about that they put cease and desist on the supporters, okay? Wow. Yeah. The family wants to put cease and desist on the supporters, not each other. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> they want cease and desist to be put on the supporters. They want to check the supporters up. Okay. Not each other. The supporters. The supporters. Wow. All right. I just dropped the link. I just dropped the link. Yeah, they want the supporters to shut the fuck up. Because they got bigger shit happening. Baby, you better you better pay attention and stop playing with it. So like like I said, it's the they want the supporters to shut the fuck up and move on because the supporters are gonna mess shit up. Okay. And this was this was a major money grab. That's what it was. So at the end of the day, you know. Hopefully they enjoy what they made off of this, you know. It, we, That's we were, crazy. We were supposed to sit back and watch, okay? We were supposed to sit back and watch. But in the midst of it, we formed a sisterhood. We A lot of people, you know, which is a good thing. But also, it was a lot of hurt going on out here in these social media streets. And all I'm saying is the hurt that went on out in the social media streets, it should they should care about that shit too. They should care about that shit too. You know, I was told, um, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin want me to team up and help take you down. I said, what? Kevin, Kevin what? wanted to team up, girl. And see, I don't even really want to get into everything, but I do want to say this. Kevin called Brianna and said, let's team up together to take Amora down. And I said, take me down. Take me down. I said, you can't take me down. And Kevin can't take me down. Exactly. Yeah. Team up together to take me down. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> take me down. <laughs> One more. Just know that we love you. We 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 see the true. We we see the realness in you from day one. Okay. We know you you not fake at all. So we we know that. No, so I will always support you. And to I be honest, with you, I'm gonna say this, and I ain't y'all ain't gotta ever worry about me doing this. Y'all got my word, and I mean this. Y'all got my word. But if I wanted to, I could shut this motherfucker down to the goddamn ground. I'm talking about to the fucking depths of the fucking ground, I, the whole fucking thing. But what I'm not gonna do is, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to be no messy ass bitch, and I ain't gonna be no messy ass bitch. And this ain't for me to say. That the DV was fake because it wasn't fake. Trust me when I tell you that it wasn't fake. Okay? So that's not what I'm saying. Please understand. That's what I'm not saying. But trust and believe. Trust and believe. I'm going to carry the fuck on and mind my motherfucking business and let them fight amongst themselves. Let them fight with their new. Okay? I'm going to let them fight with their new. Right? Well, more will come out anyway, right? So God is going to reveal not even more. Me. So, not, not for me. Not for me. Not from you. I'm just saying in general, it, it will more will come out, right? So, it, 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 it's it's okay. or some shit like that. But not not on my watch. But all right. But thank you, Casey. I got other people want to come up. But all I right. Do. Thank you.
Okay, thank you, honey. Good night. Okay, you too. Hey, Miss Internet, sister, what's going on, lady? What's going on? Do you have your audio on? Oh, hello, hello. Can you hey. hear me? Oh, I can, can hear you. Hear How are you? Yes, I can hear you. Hey, girl. Hey, it's, it's, I never spoke to each other, but hey, how are you? I, I'm great. This is our second time being on a panel. The first, oh, yeah, I forgot I what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. first yeah. night, the first night, it just was, it just went to the left. Okay. Um, so I'm happy to be back on the panel with you again in a better place. Okay. Yes. That we ain't got to be yelling and cursing at each other, okay? Right. But what I do want to say, I told all you bitches. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that one. I'm going to take that because you know what? Hey, I didn't really yeah, mean you it like it before you start talking. <laughs> hey, look, hey, hey, let me say this before you start talking. Okay, I, okay. I, to never listen to you before. People would send me clips and, and, and say this, and I said, I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that shit. I ain't studying Jenny. I ain't studying Jenny. I ain't studying Jenny. But Jenny, girl, child, when I tell you, I can listen to your ass now. I don't know why. But I guess it's because I'm listening to you and I'm like, God damn, she is telling the motherfucking truth. Girl. <laughs> oh yes. my God. Yes, y'all. So that was just a joke. None of you guys are bees. Y'all are beautiful queens. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I know I may not be a fan of a lot of you women, but I love my sisterhood. And I just wish one day we can all understand that we're going to think different. We're not going to all think alike. We're right. not going to all have um, the right answer. And our opinions not going to always be popular opinions. I just can't wait to one day where we can get to the point we can have a conversation and we can um, have different opinions, but however, be able to respect each other's opinion and disagree with respect. This saga have damaged to sisterhood it has been a sad situation to look at how people have grown to hate one another one yes. it was never our business like you said we we got to learn how to you know keep our nose out of other people business but at the same time i have to agree with someone who was on your panel earlier that said once it's on the internet it becomes all of our business and i think for the most part we got involved because we was concerned of the well-being whether you was concerned about the wife or you was concerned about the husband i don't think we attached ourselves to this saga to just make it more drama we all thought we had the solution and we all at one point of time thought the husband was right the wife was right and right. what what I totally disliked about the saga and what made me pull back and just start looking at the husband in the wife with a funny eye is because when everybody start getting hurt in this saga, it's like they didn't show no concerns. They didn't show the love that the supporters was showing to them. Whether you was on the wife team, I think her supporters cared about her feelings and they was there to protect her from getting hurt and being hurt. The same with the husband. I think the husband's supporters was in place to protect him and his feelings to prevent him from getting hurt. But when their supporters start getting hurt, you know, like when people start coming at you, the wife didn't get on her panel or use her panel to defend you and to run people off from attacking you. It was more of, well, hey, that's none of my problem. The same with me. I started noticing when you all and everybody else started coming at me, the husband never used his panel to say fall back off of my internet sister or his siblings. 
They never stood up to say, hey, don't do the internet sister like that. So that kind of was an eye opening. It was like, okay, I'm jumping out here, helping them fight, but then they're leaving me out here on the battlefield to yeah. fight for myself. And the only reason why I'm in this fight, I'm in it to defend them. But I didn't have nobody defending me. So that left me to look at them as, oh my God, the husband and the wife is very much selfish. That's how I started looking at it. And it was like, at this point, I don't have no side and I want to get the hell up out of it because he's no better than his wife. And just watching how they was dealing with each other. He giving information for people to tear his wife down. His wife giving information for people to tear her husband down. And I'm like, you know, it's okay to break up. It's okay to divorce, but it's not okay to tear each other down, you know, in front of the world. So I was just like, these people got some issues that they need to really deal with. Mm -hmm. So, yep. So that's why I kind of start looking at the saga in different point of view versus you guys was pretty much no, I'm team. I'm team wife. I'm team husband. And Jeannie just mad because she won't Robert to pick her. She's a pick me ho. So I guess she was a pick me, Amora, because you got the same treatment. So I guess she was out here on the battlefield for the wife, doing all that I was doing for the husband because you wanted the wife to pick you, I guess. So never that. <laughs> I wanted to support, I wanted to support a young lady that was being bashed. I wanted to stand in the gap. I wanted to be the one I said, hey, do me. Bring it on, bring it on me. I wanted her to be able to go and flourish and look great and do great and sleep good at night and all that. And I wanted to be the one to stand in the middle and take the heat. I just wanted, and I wanted just to really take the heat, but to also tell the other people, listen, she human. It don't matter what happens. She human. Get off of her. You don't have to point out every flaw in her life or whatever to call, to say somebody lied. If you think she lied, okay, she lied. But what, what her lying got to do, if you feel like she lied, right? What her lying got to do with the way she looked? What her lying got to do with the way her coochie smell? The way the way her butt look? Or whatever the case may be that they was doing. I just thought it was weird. And I'm like, back up. Y'all stop. You know what I'm saying? And then I said, look at your own life. So I wanted to shine a flashlight on their lives to say, you guys are speaking about a woman and your life ain't no better. Okay, that's why I dug in the backgrounds. That's why I looked up addresses and looked in family histories and shit because to show them that your life ain't no better than hers or anybody else's on this internet. We all got flaws. You understand what I'm saying? We I agree. Flaws, but to sit here, like you said, Jenny, and to not give a fuck about your supporters, even though, yeah, you may not have told us to do it, but you amen us, right? You amen, you encouraged. You supported us doing it when it benefited you. But when y'all kumbaya behind the scenes, right? Y'all agree to kumbaya, come together and have a big ass picnic or whatever the fuck. And now it leave us alone. We good. We don't need you motherfuckers no more. You should have minded your motherfucking business and all this other bullshit. And don't care. We left us out here fighting and battling with each other. We can't even have a whole post without, you know, the, the, the supporters fighting each other. Right. Then why right. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's no yeah. need for us to be battling with each other when they coochie crunchy clean with each other. They right. Said, they told us get back, get back. We don't know you like that. Okay. And in the week, and 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 to me, I feel like that is so weak. When I hear people say, and I get it all the time on my page. When I hear people say, oh. He didn't ask you or they didn't ask you to interfere. The day they put it on Facebook, they brought it to Facebook to hear from the people on Facebook, okay? So I find that so weak when people say, well, they didn't ask you. Yes, they did. They asked us for our opinion. And that's the reason why it was brought to Facebook. If they didn't want to hear from us, if they didn't want to hear our opinion, they would have never brought it to Facebook. Now, 
if they did not want us to support them and help them, what they are doing today in March of 2024, they could have done that back in 2022 when the supporters first started supporting the wife and supporting the husband. This announcement could have been made at the very beginning. Why wait to make a bag and make mm -hmm. money off of your supporters. Now mm -hmm. we, the people, have brand these people. We have made them bigger. Don't mm -hmm. look at the supporters like we have been a problem and we right. have caused so much of drama because we have brought more good to them than we have brought bad to them. Don't you know with me covering this story, you covering the story, and all the other YouTubers and everybody else on Facebook covering this story have brought them so many followers, have drew so many people on their panel, clickbait. So don't do that to your supporters like we're the problem. Mm -hmm. We but have helped this husband and wife in the in-laws more than we have hurt them. Right. We've supported them. Is that we su Yeah, we supported them and we pushed their name out there. Girl, mm -hmm. every time you hashtag, every time you share a picture, every time you turn on a camera, that helps them and speak about their life. That helps them gain more followers, more views, more likes. So to just turn on their supporters the way they did, is to me is unacceptable. I'm going to say this. I don't want y'all to get upset because I know it's a lot of bees still buzzing and y'all still supporting the wife and I'm okay with that. We all can love and support each other. I yeah. just say do right about people. But I'm going to say this. Mm -hmm. The wife did y'all nasty. At the end of it, when it's all said and done, the wife did y'all nasty because the husband, he's still living his fairy tale life. Look, Ken over there planning that Barbie Jeep. He really ain't giving a damn. He ain't even tied into what's going on right now, okay? He's moving his cars in and out of the damn garage, okay? He don't know really what's going on. Let me tell you what he's doing. He's he's leaving it up to <laughs> he's leaving it up to the women to try to clean this shit up. Okay, listen, I ain't gonna say too much, but I am gonna say this. Okay, they talk on the back end. Okay, they talk. Just know that. Okay. Oh yeah, I've been they saying that for more. Okay. It ain't just about the baby. It's about business. This is a business for them. Okay, this okay. internet. Shit their business okay this they business so i'm gonna tell you this they talk and um he is trying to keep his hands clean but for the ones that's in here that's team robert if you want to still call yourself team robert they ain't beef okay they ain't beef all right so well, i'm, I'm trying to tell y'all that a couple days ago when the sister said the wife told her husband to file charges on me, I made a status and I said she probably did. Then some of her supporters showed up in my comment saying the wife is gone. The wife is gone. And I made another status and I said, y'all don't need to tell me the wife is gone. I know the wife is gone back to her husband, her in-laws. And they came, oh, you lost. She doing this piece for her fiance and her kids. But listen, I already knew that these people was talking in the background. I hey. already knew that if this woman relationship with her new friend guy, a living boyfriend, if that didn't work out, I knew she was going to backslide, backslide back into her husband's life. We are all women, y'all. So that's not a surprise. That's now, not shocking to me. People now, break up and make up. Now, I'm not going to say that, Jenny. Now, you saying that I'm not. But what I am going to say is, they talking and it's almost like as if none of this bullshit has ever happened, okay? 
And I'm just going to say this, and I, I just want to say it because I just want to say it. It's already been put out there. It is true. It is true that she did tell Robert to put a thief and desist on you. Okay? It's true. Now, I, did, I told y'all, I said it on my post. I said she probably killed, she probably did and her supporters got upset with me saying that but being that i've been watching this saga i never been to the point where i felt like they wasn't talking on the back end if you go back and you listen to the audios you can tell they was recording each other after the breakup they was recording each other doing the saga and if you listen to the conversation and the things that they was talking the tone of the voice it's like anybody else that break up you know some days we're gonna talk about making up we're gonna talk about getting back together but she had her supporters so blind that she hated this man so bad that her supporters would never believe in a hundred years that she would go back and even have a co-parent healthy relationship. Okay. They doubted that she would even have a healthy co-parent with him because the way she painted the picture. Me personally. She don't hate him and he doesn't hate her. Okay. There you go. He don't, she I, don't I can believe her. that. He doesn't hate her. So for the people that think that this man hates her, scared of her, or any of this bullshit, no. He don't hate, she don't hate him, and he don't hate her. Period. They don't hate each other. It's all fake. It's I told y'all it's fake news. To me, this is fake news. I believe, I'm gonna say this. I believe that they really did have a breakup. I believe yeah. that they had relationships you know, problems like it, all us that's tuned in tonight, we go through relationship problems, but we deal with it different. OK, everybody deal with their relationship problems different. I believe this couple had some issues in their relationship. I do believe the breakup was real. Don't get don't get that twisted but however when she ran to the internet i'm gonna tell you this is what he told me okay since i'm here on the panel and this man proclaimed he didn't tell me nothing but he jumped in my inbox and asked me for my phone number i came on here with a per heart supporting a per man that i thought was a cancel survivor and i thought women was just being mean and attacking him so i used my panel to be a voice for him and this man took it upon himself to jump in my inbox ask for my phone number so when he tell people he didn't tell me shit y'all got to know that's a lie because what else would he ask for my phone number if he didn't want to hold a conversation with me? He could have put anything in my messenger. We don't have to communicate by phone lines, you know, by cell phones. You could communicate with me in this messenger. So this man told me, y'all, okay? Y'all ready? Because y'all been saying stuff like, Genius, stop holding that. Go on and put it on the flow. Truth be told, 2024. He said his wife brought this to the internet because his sister got into it with her husband prior. The, the, the sister supposedly had a, allegedly this was said by the brother, the husband, that the sister, I guess, allegedly it was said by the husband that the sister boyfriend or whoever the sister was involved in domestic violence right and she came to the internet crying about her domestic violence and i mm -hmm. guess she got a quite a bit of viewers and you know women you know coming on here or whatever she got the attention okay from her story so he felt like the reason why she brought it to the internet is because she felt like she could get the attention that she did gain. So he did pretty much say his wife did it for money. Okay. His wife was doing it for money. Okay. Well, he said that, Jenny. Huh? He said she did it for money. 
then he continued it for money. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and I agree. I agree. Ain't no disagree. But I'm saying when you when you got a person like me that have heard him say this, and then I'm connecting the dots. I'm watching him. You know what I'm saying? I'm watching him support. He ain't tell nobody, but he show in the comments. He's engaging with the people that's tearing his wife down. So that's when I started putting him in the box. Like he's no better than her. And I've been saying to y'all, it's a money train. It's a money train. Because this is what the husband told me out of his mouth. Why he be running through him saying he didn't tell the internet shit. He told me. His mm -hmm. wife brought it to the internet for money. So, yes, all of y'all been backing this woman, supporting this woman. This story was brought to the internet. Now, allegedly, this is what his, what her husband told me for money, for money. And the way is, the way this saga ends, I'm going to have to believe it. It was all a money train, and they didn't care who they used. They didn't care who they hurt. They didn't care. They just, you know, it's been about self. It's been about self. If you notice them, they got their cars from the same car lot, the same time. Like, it's just, it's crazy. It's so crazy the way they played on everybody top. And now they're trying to make everybody else be the problem. Yeah, the, the problem. Now, I'm going to say this. I'm going to have to disagree with you, which, you know, it's okay for us to disagree. Mm -hmm. I don't think that it was initially brought for money. I do think that it was a cry out from the wife. But I also think that Robert told her this is an opportunity for us to make a lot of money. Now, I know for a fact he told her that because she actually came out and said that. He said, hey, this is a lot of money. Let, let's make a lot of money. So I don't think that initially it came out for a money situation because I think that she was crying out, okay? They, they, they had issues in their relationship. He abused her, whether we want to believe it or not, he did, but whatever. But this ain't even about this. But I think that after he sat and told her, after they realized, damn, look at all these views, look at all this money we're making, whatever the case may be, this would be a good opportunity to make money. And I think it went that way. Now, I believe that it was a true beef. They beef for a long time. But what I'm saying is, here lately, they haven't been beefing, okay? They've been communicating. They've been talking. They've been having conversations. They, and, 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 and still coming out here pretending like they don't like each other, that they so mad at each other, that they're not talking along with the family, like they ain't all high-fived and hugged and hugged it out behind the scenes. And they have. They done all made up, they coochie crunchy clean, and we out here looking like fools is what I'm saying. And they want to be left alone, and they want to, you know, they, they want to be left alone and blame us. They want to blame us. He want to tell her it was me. And she wants to say, well, you was talking about Toya kid. No, no, when did I talk about Toya child? But anyway, that I'm not even into that right there. All I'm saying is they want to blame us for the shit that got spread it all around on the internet. They both. And, and I but isn't it funny, Amora, oh, that you say this right quick. I saw somebody in a comment say that they over there laughing at us, me and you. And thinking that we mad and this that, and the other, why they over there thinking that uh, that this is a hit against Brianna? And if they want to sit here and laugh and still want to try to throw jabs and this that, and the other, let them try because guess what? We ain't wasting our time no more. You understand what I'm saying? They can stay bamboozled, hoodwinked, or whatever they want to stay over there. Not the one of them, nobody in that family care about none of us. Okay, period. Right. Right. So, so Amora, don't you think it's kind of funny that this is the first time you and I have spoken and you said that the wife said to you that the husband pointed out to her that this was a good money making, you know, pretty much scam to pretend, um, you know, this was a good money maker. And now yeah. I'm telling you, he yeah. told me. I'm telling you, he told me without knowing that the wife had told you that he told her it was, you know, a good money maker oh, yeah. opportunity. Now, yeah. 
he told me that, you know, she knew she was going to get a lot of attention, okay, you know, behind the story and, and she was going to make money off of it. So it was, it was brought here to make money, okay? If she was crying out, because if y'all go back and look at the videos, y'all, we got to be honest. We have to be really honest to ourselves. If y'all go back and look at the videos, okay, it I cry with her. I definitely cry with her in the van when she was talking about her fingers or whatever. I got emotional with her just to see anybody cry. I'm that type of person. I cry with you. But then when she changed things and she started apologizing to him and she did exactly what she's doing now. She started making it seem like the supporters is the one made up the story. She was like, I never said he physically abused me. And that story is still out here. And I mean, the video still out here. It got like snow falling down or rain falling down. And she's sitting in her game chair and she's looking into the camera saying that she never said he physically abused her. It was the supporters who said that. But yeah. listen, so her mm -hmm. stories at the beginning kept flip flopping. So it was like, was they in it together at the beginning? Was scripts being written at the beginning? Because she was kind of forgetting what she originally put out here. She'll like forget the things that she was saying. So being well, that you just <laughs> said, he told mm -hmm. her it's a good money opportunity. Have they been playing? At the beginning, too? You I don't, don't think, think so. so. Okay. No, I okay. Mind. I don't think so. I mean, because I, I, I would have to say that I've been on a lot of phone calls where there were real tears, real crying. And, and you know, and I honestly believe that she was um, abused in that relationship. I honestly believe that I would go down for the rest of my life saying that. I know for a fact that it was, okay? So I'm not Emotionally, I would say. Emotionally, <laughs> mentally, because he did it to me. So I well, know he's, he's an aggressive person. That's why I don't want to even get into I don't even want to go back down what happened in their That's relationship. I don't right. care. You understand what I'm saying? But what I'm saying, what I want to say is I but she forgave him, is what I'm saying. And that's fine because relate like the JP, I think that was her name is. She came up here and she said, But this isn't this normal. Don't um people go with get into it and then they um they make up at the end, you know, they, they move on or whatever. Okay, yeah, they do. But what I'm saying is they have made up, right? They have forgiven each other. They have, they back cool, right? Which is fine. Mm -hmm. But they have a lot of supporters out here thinking that, you know, that they're not or that we're the problem. They cool. Trust me, they cool. But yeah. have been for a while. They straight. They straight, y'all. They are. And I fine. don't, I'm so not into out here fighting amongst each other when they're not fighting. That's what I'm saying, Jenny. Right. Well, that's what I've been trying to get through to people. I've been like, I don't want to fight with y'all. But of course, and trolls come in. Fight. We shouldn't fight because they're not fighting. I don't give no. a damn what they look like. I don't give a damn what subliminals are made on social media. The subliminals is to keep people talking. The subliminals uh -huh. are to, you know, to, to grab hold to any little small amount they can. And that's the subliminals, but they ain't they ain't on that type of time, okay? They ain't on that type of time. They good. So why are they good and we ain't? Right, and that's what I want to bring to people's attention because some people think that, oh, the supporters just should shut up and be quiet because the family is back together. I salute that. I'm okay. I'm definitely okay with the piece of the family wanting, but it's the way they did it, how they did it. It was so disrespectful because like you said, it left the supporters out here still fighting with each other while they in the back scene making up with each other. I have said for a very long time, I say, listen, this saga can go away. It's going to take those two to take this, off of the internet they need to get on the same panel you see how me you are up here right. on the panel together i've been called for a peace call and i say it's gonna take the husband and it's gonna take the wife to come on the internet and let the world know that we have forgiven each other oh, and we are working 
on the back end of our, you know, working with our divorce and our co-parent. We want to thank everybody who helped us. We appreciate it, but we no longer need it, you know, and we would like to see our supporters start fighting each other. Like, it's not what they did, it's how they did it. They're working on their healing process, making up you know, their relationship, but then they got people out here still fighting one another while they, they in the back. Jail, and they want to put cease and desist orders to shut us up because they got bigger fish to fry than us, but go ahead. Yeah, I well, I call that too. I said, I don't see just like, oh, you wake up in the month of March and you just want everything clean, mm -hmm. yet you've been pushing stuff out here like they have equipped their supporters with the information the husband gave stuff the wife gave things but for them to try to make us look like the problem i'm like wait a minute yeah, i what only I see that it must be opportunities at hand right now like it's a business opportunity somewhere laying on the table and somebody that told this woman, you have to, you know, clean this up. You got to clean this up. You got to get rid of this drama in order to move forward and sign this contract. I feel like there's probably a new management team in place and there's offers out there. And it's like, okay, before we can move forward, because we watched, y'all, we got to stay awake. We watched um, the fiance or the in-house boyfriend we watch how he quickly detached himself from the drama when he got his contract offered to him he made the big announcement we're going to continue to be friends but we're going to focus on our career because somebody came along and told him hey if you want to work in hollywood you got to, you know this touch yourself you gotta let yourself go from this drama so i feel like she have that same offer out there so she's going the wrong way about it because it's like she don't care about her supporters and her supporters feel feelings she's catering to the husband and the husband family so i'm kind of believing they must be on the deal table too you know i'm thinking the family must have a deal on the table too I don't know nothing about that, to be honest with you. And if I did, I probably wouldn't even mention anything. I don't know nothing about that. But what I do know is that the family as a whole, let me say this. What I do know is Kevin ain't never stopped being cool with Brianna. Uh, 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 you know, Don may have stopped being cool with Brianna just that moment when she lost the $400. Um, but they back cool now. Um, Toya has always, she, she was probably mad at Brianna, but she always admired Brianna. So now they met, they made up and Toya is happier than ever that they made up trust and believe. And, um, but, 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 but for the people that even wanted to support or was supporting Robert or is supporting Robert or whatever, if y'all think that a lot of this stuff was real, it wasn't, they were still talking. They were still communicating while we were still out here fighting and, and going against each other in the first place. I'm telling you, it is not what, what it seemed. They was always still somewhat cool. And that's what I don't like that we sitting up here. We're like, oh, we still love Brianna. I still love Brianna even now. To be honest with you, I still right. love Brianna. Right. I, I can believe that. The no appreciation and the... And now, um, it's the supporters. And now, all of a sudden, it's the supporters' fault, and it's gonna be cool by y'all real soon. Uh, well, it's already cool by y'all, but it's gonna come to the internet real soon or whatnot. That it's the supporters that did all of this, and they was just cool and and, and straight and just whatever the case may be. It's gonna be slapping everybody for the face, okay? So all I'm saying is, we don't need to be upset with each other yet again. I'm saying that. We don't need to be upset with each other. We ain't got to go down memory lane and talk about what happened on this day, that day, that day. They good. They cool. They been cool for a while. They been good for a while. Trust and believe. We sitting out here looking like crazy ass fools. Period. Okay? So. Well, I learned, I learned my lesson, and I can say this to you, Amora. Even tonight, when you finish this live, you're not going to even feel good about 
even though you didn't say nothing bad about the wife, but you're still not going to feel good that you even had to come here and talk about what you talked about. I'm telling you guys, I have dealt with it for the last couple of weeks when people are saying like, oh, she been wanting to flip and flip flop and she need a, you know, a stray jacket or whatever. I each and every night that I had to come on the internet, expose something or say something unkind about the internet, brother, it bothers me because when you fight with a sincere heart and you mean good, it hurts when you have to, you, you have to really be honest and stay real with yourself and say, Hey, you supported somebody that didn't give two effing sense about you that is a hurting thing when you supported somebody from your heart and you had good intentions and you really have to come on the internet now and begin to expose things about them you know i respect you because i think you really good with self-control I'm working on that. I have my self-control is not where it needs to be. Self-control is a gift. Okay. And that's something that's just a gift I don't have. Um, because when I'm hurt and somebody hurt me, I act off of emotions. And I really damn his sisters. Damn his sisters. Okay. Because the only reason why I was supporting the sisters is because of him. He's really the one that I came on the internet for. And to see him cross me, to see him disrespect me, it left me at a place where I, you know, my feelings was hurt. And I did not feel good after exposing him and saying things to him I, about him. I thought it would make me feel better, but you don't feel better when you care for somebody. So I know you still love Bree. You ain't got to tell me that because I can relate to you. I still love Robert, but I dislike, I dislike the Robert action. I dislike how Robert just think the world is like he's God gives to the world. Like I feel at this moment, he's not going to get on him and say half of the stuff his wife's saying because he don't feel like he owe her that. He feel like she owe him what she's doing right now to mm -hmm. her supporters, the way she's cleaning this saga up. He feel mm -hmm. like he can ignore it because you owe me this. You was the problem. You the reason our business is yes. here on the internet. Yes, he's leaving so it for you the owe me this. For his sister and Brianna to clean it up. You hear me? He's leaving yeah. it for his and Brianna to clean it up and that's exactly what they doing they cleaning it up they trying to clean it up meaning that clean up the family clean up this stuff or whatever you see he ain't came out and said a motherfucking thing about it but doing whatever he doing which I don't even know what he doing because I ain't even went to his page to see what the hell he doing I don't know but what I do know is what people think that is going on behind the scenes ain't really going on behind the scenes they good they good. But what you mean by that, Amora? Are you talking about the people who believe that this peace call is because of her peace? She don't want to talk to him. She don't want to deal with him. She's just doing this because almost like she's forced to do it because of their child. Is that what you're saying is not what people think it is? No, I'm saying I think that they... You know, like JP said, um, they done with the fight. They don't want to fight no more with each other. They want everything to be cool. But they've been talking, to be honest with you. They've been talking or whatever. And it's, it's, it's been, I ain't never said nothing about you. Well, you know, da, da, da. no, I ain't even say that. The supporters did that. Oh, this, the, even with you, I only, I only met up with her just to get the money. Like, they talk. So, right. and they, they want to push the blame. They both collectively even us even the follow i mean even the family well i only said this because the supporter said you said this well you should have came and asked me first blah 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 blah. whatever the case may be they are blaming everything that happened on the supporters it was the supporters i've never bashed you i've never talked about you i've never done this to you i've never said that to you it's the supporters 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 so now it's fuck the supporters we good. Let's go out and make an announcement and tell these people we good and to mind their motherfucking business so we can go on and off and do whatever we gonna do. 
That's what it is. So now they have convinced each other, each other, and I'm talking about the family. The family members have convinced each other that they ain't never done nothing wrong to each other, that they may have done this little one thing or that little one thing, but it's been the supporters, supporters, taking bones, carrying bones, it's the supporters. Okay, well, if we get the supporters to shut up and mind their motherfucking business, then we could be peaceful and happy or whatever with our own lives. It's the supporters' fault, basically. Period. Mm. Wow, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. That, um, yeah, she would do this to y'all, her supporters, because y'all really, man. When I tell you, y'all really like step for this woman. Y'all step for this woman, but she definitely picked the family over y'all when it was all said and done. At the definitely. end of the day, she definitely picked the family over you all. I listen to her voice. She doesn't sound like a weak one, okay? Because I hear a lot of people say, oh, the sister-in-law bullied her into making this decision. I don't think the sister-in-law got that much of power over her. Even on her on the sister-in-law live, she was doing more of the talking and saying, you know, I don't need y'all to come and tell me what she said. She don't want to hear y'all coming to tell her what I said. She has this voice. Like when she speaks, she speaks with authority. She doesn't speak like somebody is making her say this. When she says she don't need y'all and she don't need no tea. She speaks with authority. And how did she pick this family over the people who has been defending her for the last 18 months? Y'all didn't have a problem with the family. Y'all didn't know the family. Y'all stood up for her and y'all protect her because y'all felt like the family was attacking her, dragging her. And in return, it was just like a slap in the face because y'all did you you are saying you knew they was talking behind in the back scene but reading the comments on my page a lot of her supporters did not know because a lot of her supporters was saying the, the sister-in-law was lying oh the wife ain't tell her nothing like that and the yeah. next day this lady end up on the sister-in-law live <laughs> anything is wrong with them communicating they are they, no. they, share, they share a child together in a uh you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying yeah family their family their family yes yeah but what i'm saying is i i do believe that um i do you know i'm not gonna say do i want to say that this is toya's fault no but i think that no. i think that i do believe that brianna wants peace and and to move on but I do think that she's choosing the family over her supporters, which I don't know if that's a bad thing. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's a bad thing. I guess what I'm trying to say is it is for the supporters at this point. It is fuck the supporters. But it's fuck the supporters, not always fuck the supporters. Let me let me let me back up a little bit. It's not fuck the supporters. It's if you want to support me, buy my merchandise. If you want to support me, like my post, share my post. Okay. But don't say nothing about our family no more find another storyline don't say nothing about our family don't support me don't fight for me right don't defend me just support me by sharing my stuff buying my stuff this and the other and just pretend like none of this never happened okay if if don't fight with each other in the comments well she has have told us don't fight with us now I'll, now let me let me correct something let me correct something Brianna has told us don't go back and forth with the other content creators. She has. And Brianna has told me not to fight for her. Uh, not just me. But she has said, uh-uh, just let them talk about me. Let them do whatever. Let them do whatever. But when I say actions speak louder than words, what I mean by that is, yes, you have told me not to do it, right? But when I've done it, you were okay with it, if you understand what I mean. Mm -hmm. So it and you remember when Felicia came out swinging? Mm -hmm. You remember when Felicia came out swinging, which was what maybe two months ago or a month mm -hmm. and a half ago? 
She was very, very excited about that. Put it up in a story, all that stuff. She was happy. Hey, let's go. Let's go. We got a fireball on the team, so to speak. So you right. can't say, don't do it, but then clap when it's done. Do you understand what I'm saying? But she has said from her mouth to not do it. So I would be lying if I say she ain't never said don't do it. Because she, I mean, she has told us plenty of times, stop, just leave it alone. Let them, let them do whatever. I don't want to see y'all fighting. Just let them do whatever. Let them do whatever. Let them do whatever. So she has said that. But on the other end, she has been okay with us still doing it, so to speak. So I ain't gonna see here and say, but what I am gonna say now is she is okay with losing the people that were doing it. She okay with that. She said, mm -hmm. if I lose two or three hundred supporters, then oh well, I got three point two million here, I got one point one million here, I got two point, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. That's what I'm trying to say. Right. And that's that's another thing I was gonna point out. When you say she's not wrong for making back up with I would consider her family. Because right. her husband, husband family is the daughter, and auntie, and uncle, and daddy. However, once again, it's not what you do, it's how you do it. You can make up with your family. Mm -hmm. However, why not make up where you're bringing your supporters because they're your family. They're your internet family. These are the people, like you said, you have heard her cry. These are the people that was there when you was dropping tears out your eyes. They was there to give you that, you know, inspiration that things are going to get better. Hold on. We got your back. So right. when things got better, how can you just turn your back on them? you know, and make them become the problem. Once again, I just say the husband and the wife, in my opinion, I wrote this on my page. I was like, well, maybe the husband's not a bad person. And maybe the wife isn't a bad person. Maybe they both are just great liars. They're just great liars. I don't think that Brianna is a bad person. I don't. I yeah. do not if we had a bad person, as far as Robert, y'all feel how y'all want to feel about Robert. I feel how I feel about Robert. Mm -hmm. uh, Robert is a mass manipulator, a narcissist, and a whole bunch of other shit. Gaslighter, whatever the case may be. Okay? I um, can agree with you on that from my experience, but what I just said, I said that on the person, I just think Brianna doesn't know how to appreciate those that support her, I think she, I don't know what it, the fuck it is. Uh, Y'all can form however you want to form it. But I just know that she has forgiven them wholeheartedly. They cooling the motherfucking fan. And y'all, you know, for us to sit back and be like, we so mad at Robert. We so, we feel this way about him. She don't feel that way about him. She good with him. She cool with him. She with him. She all right with Toya. She all right with um, Don. She all right with the damn supporters across the street. Did y'all even know that? <laughs> y'all don't have no idea what the fuck is going on. She cool with all that. Mm. She okay. If you need help, I got you. You want to do a skit? I got you. Y'all want to hook up? Y'all come to Atlanta? I got you. She be hooking mm. up with them behind the scenes, right? What? But in our face, Right? We over here, we singing them in the comments and shit like that. She cool with them motherfuckers, okay? Oh, she yeah. But why she don't like the internet, sister? Hey, girl! Let me do a skit with you. <laughs> I don't even think that it's that she don't like you. She just, uh, but she, you know, she supports Robert. She supports yeah. him. Yeah. She right. supports him. So, whatever attached to him, they she's good with is what you're saying whatever attached to him she's good with it exactly well, she's good with my, it. my thing is i don't know what type of heart she has now what new heart been created in her from october 22nd to march of 2024 after all this stuff that this man have done and drugged her the his family and all the information that's been put out him about her and he she can just forgive him and the family 
and you say the content creators across the street, then she should just have a pearl heart for everybody. Because this man, real life, but once again, that's where money is the root to all evil. If they was doing it for money, that's the only way I can see it's been so easily forgiven. I mean, the wife, husband, made went in the studio and made a song about her and her father, which I have shared with y'all. I know, I'm going to assume that he got that information from the husband because the husband did share some similar information with me about her and her father. So for her to be able to just have this good golden heart for the family, for her husband, after everything that he have done, in my opinion, I don't know what went on behind closed doors, but in my opinion, I think what he did to her here on the internet in front of the world is 10 times worse. It's like 10 yeah. times worse. But he's convinced her that he hasn't done anything, that it was the supporters. That it was the supporters. He ain't done nothing. It's the supporters. Once again, if you share with me that you felt like her and her father relationship was a little fishy, and then your brother-in-law is in the studio making this music, I'm sure he to talk to her about how he feel about her father and her relationship. Cause he was so willing and so open to share with me. And then the sister-in-law husband made a song. So I'm sure the wife got to know that kind of stuff comes from the husband. Okay. So he shouldn't be able to convince it. Once again, when I say maybe he's not a bad guy, she's not a bad girl. They just both great liars. I'm speaking that on their end, not as for me, because I feel like the husband, with my experience, is definitely a narcissist. I definitely feel like he's selfish, he's heartless, and he don't mind by using women, okay? That's with my experience from dealing with him. But I feel like both of them worked on making each other look really bad in front of the world for money. That's, mm -hmm. yeah, that's the way I, I just feel like, I mean, come on, Amora, you said she told they wanted, you. They wanted their side to win. So I think it was in a competition. They wanted their side to win at the expense of the supporters, right? At the expense of the supporters. They wanted the supporters to battle it out, to find out who's the best, who's this, who's that. And that's what we did. But at the end of the day, it's fuck the supporters. We good now. You understand what I'm saying? Right. And somebody yeah. would say, oh, it's for the sake of the, of the baby. No, it's not. Well, I don't even want to get into that. Right. I see a lot of that, too. And then you got people. I'm not here to convince anyone. I'm not here to try to persuade anyone to think different. But I am here to give my opinion, my right. point of view. You know, you got some people just stuck on it that she's doing it for the sake of the kid. And my thought is, well, she could have did it for the sake of the kid. The kid was born back in 2022, and the kid was born back in 2023. The child just didn't get here this month, this year. So, I definitely don't think it's for the child, because if it was for the sake of the child, I don't think the whole audition of the child being afraid of the father just last month she was so afraid of the father she was seeking help you know and now this month she's doing it for the sake of her child when just a month or two ago the child hated the father you know she didn't trust the child around the father so come on guys come on y'all if y'all want to look at it the way y'all looking at it continue to look at it but people that's a way can see this is just a game. Amora, you said she told you that the husband said that this was a money opportunity. Well, hold on. She said this online, on her live. She said okay. it's the money. Yeah, it was, this was to the world. She okay. said he said this is the most money that he's ever made and he wanted to. He said, let's run it up is what he said. Okay. Those were his, those were her words that Robert said, let's run it up. 
And so they ran it up. And, and you know, and, and, and Robert wanted this to go on even longer. But I think that, the, you know, a lot of people are getting tired and the views going down and this and the other is actually hurting both of their brand more than it's helping. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This on so long is hurting their brand. So they want to clean it up. And he's leaving it to her and the sister to clean this shit up. Do you understand what I'm saying? So they want to clean it up and say, fuck the supporters. If we good, we straight. Okay. And she okay with that. She's okay with that. Now it's, oh, let's minimize. Oh, I, I ain't really, you know, oh, it was the supporters fault. It was the supporters fault. The supporters are doing this. The supporters. Are, oh, well, let me disconnect from the supporters that's keeping up all this shit. Let me disconnect or whatever so that we can go off and just, you know, make skits, <laughs> make movies, have fun, kumbaya, whatever the fuck together. Okay. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. So I'm going to be honest before I jump. I'm really curious to know. Was the wife and the husband working as a team with the first story before this domestic violence story came about before this divorce story came about? I'm curious to know was the story before this the cancer was they working together as a I, team i don't really want to talk about that but okay. this is my belief okay i do believe that he had cancer and the reason okay. being is i heard the doctor say uh, um um what, what is one i had oh stage one i had stage two but the doctor says stage one, just any other case may be. So I'm just going to say this. I think, now this is just me thinking. This is my opinion. I think Brianna misspoke when she said he didn't have cancer. I believe that she meant he didn't battle cancer. That's a difference. Battling cancer and having cancer is a difference. You know, I battled cancer, okay? When you battle cancer, you're battling all the residuals that come with it going to the hospital, getting the chemo, the radiation, the, all the surgeries, the, the counseling, because you know cancer, when you have can can cancer, they send you through counseling as well, okay? Mm -hmm. So I believe that he had it. It was just stage one, and it wasn't enough for him to have to be treated for it. So he had a surgery to have it removed, and that's it. That's all. He had a surgery. You understand what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I, I think she misspoke, but I don't even really want to speak to say what she meant or this or any other, because at this point I don't even give a damn no more. But I don't think that it is cool for us to talk about his medical condition. You understand what I'm saying? That's his personal. Medical is personal. Okay. So I just think that actually should be taken off the table across the board because it's just not good to speak on somebody's medical condition. Let him have it. If he had it, if he didn't, whatever the case may be, let him have that. That's too personal. That's why they have uh whatever they call that thing out HIPAA, here. The HIPAA, the that's HIPAA right. law. That's why they have HIPAA. So I yeah. don't think that we should even be speaking on that. If he say he had cancer, let him have it. I, I, I heard the doctor say he had stage one and that it didn't need to be uh treated with any he didn't think that it needed to be treated with any type of further uh, measures, okay, outside of the surgery. So, but, and so I don't want to have nothing to do with that. Um, if anyone have that video, drop it in my inbox. And I respect yeah. you on that, um, Omora. So I wouldn't even force you to speak on it. But however, that's what drew me into the saga of his story. His story that he brought here once again, like we talked about the divorce in the DV, that once it was put on a, online, it became everybody's business. Now, if someone was snooping in his medical record, that's a violation, that's HIPAA, but this is something that he brought on the internet, and I, I was drawn to him, and I became a supporter and um, a bigger follower following his content because of his sad story. So I would personally like to know if this man, because I feel like he used 
his videos and his pictures to play on women because that's what moved me. So I would like to know if it's some truth in it or if it was just a, you know, a storyline because of what the wife said that he was never diagnosed. So if anyone got that video, um, definitely head over to my Facebook page and drop it into my inbox because I would like to see that because the night he called and cursed me out, that was one of the things he was yelling in the phone that I knew he had cancer because I had heard the doctor and out of all honesty, I never seen that uh, video and I never heard the doctor say it. So I will, you know, I can stand to be correct, to be corrected. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, but I don't want to have nothing to do with that one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. I, I don't care if he had it or not. That don't mean shit. That doesn't, it doesn't excuse his, um, his disrespectful women. It doesn't excuse his, uh, outbursts, the things that he say and do, you know, it doesn't it doesn't excuse his lack of care for his supporters because he don't give a fuck about them either, you know. Yeah. They can see yeah. him go to bed all day long, this that other, just because they get a shot. Shout don't mean a motherfucking thing when in real life they don't give a fuck about you, okay? They don't give a fuck about you. They only care. They give a fuck about you uh, making them look good, okay? But other than that, they don't give a fuck about you. So I don't really care nothing about um, his surgery or nothing that none, nothing like that. So um, well, my, that my level of care is that if he's doing this as a public figure he's doing this as an influencer i think awareness to be need to be brought to it because that's sickening and he do need to be canceled okay he don't need to be out here as a public figure making content of that kind for money okay if they wanted to sell their divorce story and it's dv for money yeah under i understand that okay prank skits but to use a cancer story uh-uh that's that's unfair to real cancer patients and, and family members who's going through it you know with their loved ones no yeah so. yeah see i don't, I don't even know nothing about, i don't even want you know you can handle that you can handle that right. but i'm gonna tell you this jenny um you know, I, I'm going to watch you. I'm going to uh, be on your page. I've already subscribed. You know, I, I'm a follower, honey. I get the ding, ding, ding. Jenny is going live. I, I think it's Sorry. another day. But I'm going to watch you. Um, I do agree with a lot of the things that you say. Now, I may not agree with everything, but right. I agree with a lot of the things you say. Hey, I don't have no beef with you or whatever. And I just want to say, you know, from all of us, you know, going back and forth with each other, we didn't do a whole, you and I didn't do a whole lot of, um, going back and forth with each other, because I think we kind of both just cleaned each other out. But I am here to say, that if I the, the things that I said about you, if I said anything to hurt you, I apologize, because um, at the end of the day, it ain't worth us still. I know we ain't beefing now, but I'm just saying, it wouldn't even be worth us beefing with each other when they ain't even beefing. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I'm right. glad I you know, and you got a supporter, you got a follower, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what they call it on Facebook. What do they call it? Follower? I think it's a, a follower. follower. Yeah, and I do accept that apology and it's likewise you know, had I said anything um, to disrespect you or hurt you in any kind of way um, from a sister to another sister, I'm, I'm totally sorry from the bottom of my heart, as well as, you know, I'll be here on your panel. I think we all have, um, I think we all have potentials, you know, to be great, con you know, great content creators or bloggers or, you know, podcast hosts. Um, we all deliver a story a different way, but I think everybody did their thing, you know, um, right. with, with this did. story. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, Jenny, the people in the audience are saying, are you going to unblock them? They want to come over to your page too. They say they all the bees need to be unlocked, unblocked or whatever the case may be. They want to be unblocked. You hear me? <laughs> It took me 18 months to block y'all. Y'all think I'm going to unblock all y'all in one night? Man, when I say that block list, how, how was y'all creating all them emails? That's a job itself. 
People talking about, oh, you made a bag, so you shouldn't be worried. Baby, let me tell you, every dime I made was worth it. My thumb hurt okay. from night. I'm blocking so much. But listen, y'all, look, I'm thankful. I'm grateful. Right now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all how bad the internet brother want me to be gone. Him and his supporters or whoever they've been reporting me report me i didn't get one strike one restriction my money have never been placed on hold the whole time i spoke on the wife but lord behold i spoke on the husband and i got so many videos that's being reviewed um so right now i'm not making my money i'm doing it for free so this to let y'all know it wasn't just a money train for me. I enjoy doing what I do and that's talking because in that case, I will shut up, you know, my money on hold. Um, so when y'all say, oh, you made a bad, you made a bad. I deserve the bad that I made because I worked for it. It was not given and it's not easy, y'all. It's not easy getting up every day fighting with people. It's that's, you know, not that's easy. not an easy bad. <laughs> Videos. I'm clearing my page. I'm deleting all my videos. I'm doing. I'm starting all over. I'm done with the saga. I'm not speaking on this shit no more. I just wanted to come out here and let people know from the both sides. I know I spoke about it a little bit yesterday, but we've been played. We have been played. Okay. Now I know there's been a lot of friendships developed, but there's also been a lot of hurts that's developed. I'm saying let's heal the hurt. Let's not be out here mad and bitching at each other for no goddamn gon' reason. You understand what I'm saying? It don't make no sense, you know? And I, and, you know, and I said, and I would never do that. I said, I ain't going over there and apologizing to nobody. But now that I think about it, and, and, you know, I would just be so wrong in my heart to be trying to still be bitter and mad at people that came against me for coming against them or vice versa or whatever over something that... Uh, you know, a family that di didn't even appreciate this shit. They didn't appreciate it. And see, let me say what they're going to do. They're going to send Kevin. <laughs> they're going to send Kevin over there. Smooth to try talker. To Smooth talker to do damage control. Yeah, girl, he to clean up, man. They want Brianna to come to you, I mean, to Facebook and, and basically just all hot because, you know, that's how they do. Just on your supporters or whatever the case may be, and tell them to you know leave us alone, and we gonna go off into the sunset and have fun, and then Kevin gonna go over to Facebook and do what he do, and he gonna try to clean it up. Not Facebook. He gonna go to YouTube and do what he do to try to clean it up on YouTube. Okay, that's what's right. going on. Right. I'm done with this. Go ahead. I can say to I want I want to say to all the new content creators, the new bloggers, be careful how you build your page. If you build your yes. page based on drama, you're going to bring in a lot of negative people and that's going to be what you're going to be entertaining. So, even with the ones like Amora says she's going to clean up her page just try to stay away from the drama. Yes, drama sells, okay? And it runs your numbers up fast, but it's right. really not worth it, you know? It's okay. You know, you're going to go through it regardless, but just try not to make your page be just based on drama because it, it takes a lot, y'all. So remember that. Remember, if you build your page up on drama, that's what you're going to have. That's going to be your audience. Those are going to be the people who come to follow, the people who come to tune in. So be very cautious on how you build your page up. Right, yeah. right. And somebody just said, I want to answer this right quick. She said, why did you keep supporting if you knew this? What, what part are you talking about if I knew what? If I knew, so two days ago, Lady Red, I was told I should have minded my motherfucking business and that she can have an argument with her nigga if she wants to, okay? That was two days ago. I had to process that shit. It hit, it hurt like, a, it, 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 it hit hard, okay? But, but I had to go to sleep and I had to think about some shit, okay? So I'm just finding out that I should have minded my own motherfucking business uh, yesterday, okay? So that's why I'm coming out today to say, listen, you know, whatever. Was that whatever. text message you got, Amora? There was no text message. That was on the phone at the 
for the person that, that you don't talk to on the phone. You understand what I'm saying? That's oh, the so you that verbally I, was told that by... I was verbally told that by Brianna that I should have minded my own motherfucking business and that oh she my. could argue with this nigga if she wants to. Okay? Mm, I told y'all she have authority in her voice. People think that girl is a pushover. She told her big stepper that. Oh, and you done went on for three, four hours for this woman. I think a lot of people gave her a lot of respect because of you. Because they knew you was coming. You was that auntie, that big sister didn't care. You'll take the whole family on. Wow. Wow, right. that had to be hurtful. That's almost like the text message I got from her husband saying he didn't know me. Huh? That I need to get out of my feelings. Okay, she apologized. Get out your feelings. No, let me shut up. Because she didn't apologize for that. She apologized for something different. Okay, she apologized for... Let me be quiet. So... That sounds like the text message I got from the husband when he texts me and said he don't even know me. He said, I don't even know you. <laughs> Let me tell you, that husband wife is something else, honey. Um, He definitely texts me and said he didn't even know me after calling me on the phone and taking my $1,000 and me on him fighting every single day for him to prove his innocence and to give him his flowers. I guess well, I was not told, but I, I heard that um she don't even talk to me. She don't talk to me at all because all I do is talk about the saga. She don't talk to me. Mm. Wow. Well, I didn't hear that, but um, of course, as a content creator or host, you know, people bring you back information. I'm sure you get inboxes. Oh, I heard it with your own ears, baby. You better believe it. I heard it with your own damn ears. Yeah, yeah I, I know you get all of that. So I didn't hear, but I did get a text message stating that um, the wife was on live and she had stated that pretty much she only called out two people that she talks to on the saga. And that was um, Denise and I guess the Brehive. And if anybody else says she talked to them, they lying. And I was like, whoa. Like, yeah. why did you have to do that on live? Hey, I don't talk to them as often as uh, she, I don't, I didn't, okay, so I don't, I, Brianna and I don't talk as often as they do, but we do talk. We have a whole uh, headquarters chat. They, I'm probably kicked out now, which I don't give a fuck. Um, a whole headquarters chat that we communicate in and that uh and, and her and I talk that we have a chat that we communicate in on our own. Like I said, I, I'm not I'm not fan the fuck out, never been fan the fuck out. I ain't put sugar on shit. They can continue to put sugar on shit all they want to. I don't give a damn. I'm done with it. When I heard what I heard yesterday and they didn't give a fuck that I had real fucking tears in my goddamn eyes, they didn't give a goddamn go so fuck them all. I don't give a damn. I'm done. I'm out. I'm out. That's that's exactly how it is. I'm out. I'm done with all that bullshit. But I just don't think that it's okay. It's good to leave the the supporters beefing with each other when it ain't no real beef behind the scene. It ain't no real beef. So I'm putting I'm I'm cleaning up my damn page. So if y'all want to watch some videos, y'all got 24 hours to watch all the fucking videos that y'all want to watch. But I'm deleting all this shit off my page and starting to fuck over. Okay. And I ain't coming out. I'm not telling no. If y'all expect me to tell Brianna business, that ain't even gonna motherfucking happen. I ain't like that. Now, Jenny, I know you do what you do, and other people do what they do. I'm not about to go no tour. Of that I'm done with it. I'm done with it after this. Like I said earlier, hon, I can relate to your feelings. Just like you said, you got tears in your eyes when you know you were spoken to. How you were spoken to. And However, I gave you your flowers about self-control because not everybody has self-control. Self-control is a gift. So that's a great thing. And the thing is, you're right. Everybody reacts different. I don't even like to deal with people on a personal level because one thing about me, when I love, I love hard. And I don't deal with disrespect at all right. in a good way. I don't, once you disrespect me, I don't never ever want you to talk back to me. Like, I don't want you to never, you know, 
I'm talking about on a personal level and when you really, like these trolls and these people come in my comments, I don't know them. I don't trust them with my life. They don't know my personal, you know, information. So, mm -hmm. but when I deal with you on a personal level, we have that personal relationship and you betrayed me, you hurt me, you damaged me. Oh yeah, you best believe my cloud bat's going to be back, be very much disrespectful. But I'm asking God, to bless me with self-control. I need that. I need to know it's okay to walk away when somebody hurts you and you ain't got to clap back and you ain't got to try to make them feel the pain you felt. You know what I'm saying? I'm over here crying. Now I want you to cry, you know? And I mm -hmm. want to get Bella at that. So that's, that's a gift to have, you know, that self-control. And you're doing the right thing. When you can say, I'm not going to tell her business, don't do it but one no, thing I, one thing i can tell you as the days go i'm gonna help you as the days go refrain from reading the comments refrain from talking about it unless you're gonna talk about it with somebody like your husband because right now you're gonna be running on e so any little thing is gonna be able to set you off so you need someone who's gonna be filling you up okay with positivity because when yeah. you're down at your low, the last thing you want to do is read a comment of somebody telling you that Brie is talking shit about you. Because once you read that comment and you're running on E, you're running on empty, you're holding back your, you're holding back your tears. But you get online and somebody telling you Brie is talking shit about you. You're going to spin out of control. Okay? So stay away from the comment. Guaranteed. I can almost guarantee Brie ain't gonna say a motherfucking thing about me, okay? okay. I can almost guarantee that I ain't this ain't no threat, none of that bullshit, but Brie ain't gonna talk about me because okay. tell you something. <laughs> That's gonna help you because I was getting talked about. So it didn't help me when I was coming online and I'm getting feedback, what the sister saying about me, what the big sister saying about me, you know, his um, supporters making pages about me, his supporters down in my comment. So now I'm fighting with myself to try to save my relationship with him. But I'm running on E. I ain't got nobody pouring in me. I done poured, I done poured out everything that was in me to support him, his family, and protect them. Now I'm running on E. I need to be filled up. Nobody ain't filling me up. Okay? I'm fighting with my God sister. I'm fighting with this troll. I'm fighting with the sister. So hell, now, you know what? I'm going to spin out of control. I'm going to get some of this hurt off of me. And I'm going to let him know. Because I felt like it was for him to protect me. Because I was on him for him. So when I may cry out making my status, asking him to get with his sisters and make sure this is something they want to do. This is how they wanted to end. I honestly thought this man had enough of respect for me. Okay. And that I wasn't going to have to go there. I can be just like you and be chill. But he kind of did what he's doing now. Right now, women are still on the internet going at it. His wife is on here trying to clean it up. His sister trying to clean it up. And he's in la-la land. He only, you know, speak on stuff he wants to, you know, speak on. And when he wants to be funny about something. So I spit out of control. I was running on E. I was running on E, and every day it was just negativity. So stay away from the negativity. You know, that's my advice to you. Like, don't read the comments. Don't accept no message of nobody trying to tell you that, you know, the other supporters are talking about you or the white oh, people talking oh, about you. I know I'm going to lose some people, and if I do, that's just fine, you guys. If y'all don't, y'all don't like what I'm saying, you don't like the truth, whatever the case may be, it's okay. But I'm just letting you know, honey. And I'm sorry to tell you that you are not valued. Hell yeah, but I ain't valued. If I'm not valued and I stood in the motherfucking quicksand and shit, then you know you ain't valued. But at any rate, I'm not saying this to turn people against Brie. Like I said, still even, listen, I know this might sound weird to y'all, 
But I'm not, listen, I'm still going to support Brie. I am. I'm going to support Brie because she's a young black woman. She's a queen still. I'm still going to support Brie. I am. I'm still going to like her stuff when I like it. If I like it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to like it. I'm still going to support Brie. I'm not going to no party or nothing like that now. I'm just going to get real. But I'm going to support her content. If, if I like the content, I'm going to support the content. So I'm not even telling you guys for not to support the content. What I'm saying is I'm not fighting for Brie no more, okay? Because Brie don't give a goddamn about me, okay? Period. She don't care about that. I'm done with whatever I did. She probably appreciated then. She don't appreciate it now. I don't think she appreciated then either, but whatever the case may be, I'm done. I'm not telling you guys to don't support Brie at all. So, and you can support Brie Hive. I don't, I'm done with Brie Hive too. Brie Hive got called me a bitch for the second motherfucking time. And, and I ain't being nobody else bitch. Okay. So I'm done with Brie Hive. Let Brie Hive stay fan the fuck out all the fuck she wants to. Okay. So I'm done with that. I'm done. I'm out. I'm out. So, so you're not a B no more. Is that no, what I'm hearing? You're no longer a B? I'm not a B. I'm individual. So I'm not a B. I'm not no B. I ain't a part of no Brie Hives. Uh, no, that's not it. I'm done with that shit, okay? Done, 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 done. I'm done. So where's Felicia? I'm Felicia getting her hair done. I'm cool with Felicia. We straight. Okay. She Now, nah, she's, she's a B? I don't want to um, talk for Felicia. She can um, speak for herself. Okay, but she's not in the comments. Um, She was she early. Your comments? Felicia, you'll be <laughs> seeing your comments. I just need to know who's still banging. But um, I just say like this, Felicia and I are good. We straight. Okay, good. Hey, y'all, where is the nurse? Where is Nurse T? Nurse um, Teresa. Is she over here in these comments? I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know. She said, why she called you a bitch? Because I called her out for being a liar. That's why. Because when Brianna's not on the phone, uh, she's um, let's continue the drama. Let's continue to uh, talk about Robert. Let's continue to drag for you. And then when Brianna on the phone is, I didn't say I wanted to continue to drag Robert. I didn't say I wanted to continue to drag for you. Yes, you did. No, I did. No, I didn't. What? Yeah, that part. So, yeah, she want to pretend like she ain't with the mess when Brianna ain't on the phone. But when Bri Brianna ain't on the phone, she want to pretend like she's still with the mess. Okay, that part. That part. She is obsessed with Brie. Let's just keep it above. She is. She fanned all the fuck the way out, honey. Back, lean back, lean back, fan all the fuck the way out. Y'all better know. See, y'all gonna have me talking too motherfucking much. I'm trying not to talk so goddamn much, y'all, okay? So, but, but like who you want to like. And listen, I know it's going to be just fine if you unfollow me, honey, because I ain't talking about this shit no more after today. So if you only here to hear about the drama and all this shit, then uh, you, you ain't hearing it no more out of my mouth, okay? Now, I'm going to say this. Unless I'm called, fuck. Okay, now if you call my name, I'm coming out this motherfucker, okay? But if you don't call my name, I'm going to carry on. I got a whole show I'm about to put on. Hey, Jenny, guess what? I got a dating show coming up, baby girl. So once I move to Texas, honey, I got a dating show coming up, and it's going to be the bomb dot motherfucking com, okay? So anybody oh. want to stick around for my dating show, can I do that, and I'm really going to talk to my members. I'm going to talk to my members when I want to talk to my members. Did you say you got a dating show coming up? Yes, I'm putting together a dating show. Right if, now. if this baby don't come out being near one of these ninjas, I may have to come see your dating show after I have this baby to find my baby stepdaddy. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow you, girl. But I need I need somebody with money, girl. I need somebody with money, honey. You know I stay out here in this luxury lavish community. So you can't hook me up with a broke one. I need somebody with money now. Okay, we will have to find you a date, girl. Uh -huh. I think it's gonna be. It's gonna be funny. It's not gonna be about. I definitely ain't about to jump in nobody else's goddamn divorces. You ain't gotta worry about that shit. You know what I'm saying? And you ain't gonna never have me uh, uh looking out here uh speaking on somebody that don't give a motherfucking shit about me. And yeah, and I'm done with the people that stand the fuck out over people. Well, 
I'm going to try to be honest with you guys. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'm doing a comedy show on my page. But okay. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'm still talking about the motherfucking little truth. So <laughs> <laughs> It took me, hey, listen, y'all. It's gonna take me a little longer. I'm a work in progress. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we're gonna take a break. We're gonna laugh. I'm doing a comedy show. But Tuesday, Tuesday, <laughs> Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, we keeping up with the motherfucking little truth. Okay? <laughs> if they on the internet, we on the internet. So the internet sister. It's just keeping it real. Well, I have done for the last 18 months. So if y'all don't want to hear about the little truth, y'all want to leave their ass in March of 2024. Don't come to the internet, sister page, telling me nothing about it's over. Okay? Because I still got the freedom of speech, and I'm going to operate my freedom of speech. Okay? It's over when they ass is off the internet. Okay? So I'm talking about the ass. That's why I was brand. And if y'all had a brother to tell y'all, I talk about him and his family make money, why in the hell will I stop talking? Make it make sense. Two plus two is what? That nigga taught me math, honey. So if I'm making money talking about them, why the hell I'm going to stop talking? Y'all got to be crazy. So, yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying? I might do a little something, something. Because, listen. I might just do it behind, the, like on my members only or something like that. Tell y'all what the fuck is. Here. I might say, listen, <laughs> keep it real with yourself, Amora. You come first. You got to keep it real with yourself. You got to remember, removing your voice for them is because you're trying to make them feel good, and you keeping it real with them. How the hell you gonna keep it real with somebody who ain't keeping it real with you? Okay, so I tell everybody, you got to stay true to self before you can be true to anybody else. You giving them what the hell they want, but they to use you up for 18 months. How the hell y'all going to talk or tell me to shut up? Hell no, nah, I want to see how long the damn Barbie Jeep going to last because it looks like it's going to break down any moment. So I'm staying in tune. I'm keeping up with the damn little truth, okay? This saga that caused me so much of drama, so much of pain, I'm, I'm here to stay. I'm here to stay. I'm here with the family. I want to see how long the family going to get along. I want to see if it's going to be another wedding, okay? I, I'm just here to stay, huh? Damn that. I'm the internet sister. Who don't like it, unfollow me and block me, period. Well... Since you put it like that, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just don't, you know, I'm not in the business of, I don't, you know, <laughs> listen, I, I don't know. Let me just, I digress. I, look, look. Take your time. Take, Take your time, Amora. Page, okay, I'm going to be on your page listening in. And if I, if I see some shit that's funny, I'm going to laugh. Especially if you tell the truth, I'm going to say, hey, fucking man, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, you know, it might be some things that I don't agree with. And if I don't, I ain't going to be like, nah, that ain't true. That ain't true. No, I'm going to let you say whatever you say. But if I agree with it, you're going to hear that. I'm going to be like, hell yeah. That's right. I love y'all. I love y'all all. And I would just say, go your way. Go your way. I would say to all of the supporters, I would say, so, you know, it was a lot of people out here just was watching, you know, never said anything. I would definitely say, Follow the people that you agree with, okay? Make your time here on social media a happy place, okay? Don't go peeping in on people content that you is in disagreement with because that's going to leave you bitter and that's going to leave you at a bad place. So for you all who really do want to move on and you want this to be put behind, be cautious on who you follow and who videos you peep in on. Because that's what I do. Like, I never went to content creator pages that wasn't speaking in my favor or was speaking about some stuff that I didn't agree with. I'm not going to show up there because when I come to the internet, this is my happy place. This is what I come here to watch people that I'm in agreement with or people who I feel like have good content. So please, please, I can't stress to you guys. The internet sister cannot stress to you guys 
how much I would appreciate if you just unfollow me and block me versus coming in my comments fighting, okay? We have unfollow and block buttons. We should not be down in them comments fighting. Yes, you can leave your opinion because I respect everybody's opinion, but to show up on my page like you're checking me that's when the problem comes about i respect you if you unfollow me i don't care about um losing l losing followers who don't agree with me or have a problem with my content i don't care about losing you guys okay but hey if you want to just come and look you're welcome but all that going back and forth that's what i don't want to deal with this 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 time around you don't want to block them well that's didn't you say all i'm down there in the comments some people down there said unblock me unblock me oh yeah yeah but i, I they, blocked they, so they, much they, to my thing or her it just seemed like when you block them they come back in a dozen that really don't work i would just think we all are grown-ups like why follow someone yeah. troll them <coughs> well I, I, do block. I block i i would tell people from now on if you don't agree with the person saying just don't don't say nothing you right. know some of the stuff a lot of it's going to be true and a lot of the stuff is going to be funny as fuck and a lot of the stuff is just going to be a little far reached or whatever, because you know, I don't, I'm not gonna sit here and say her story is fake because I don't believe it's fake at all. I know it's not fake, I know, I know 100% it's not fake, but I just believe to just but why she went back to him so easy, though, Amora. You said what now? How did she go back to him so easy if nothing was fake about it? Because she want was his friend, she wanted them to be friends, okay, and you know, and they're friends, the whole family, they friends. It's our fault, you know. Um, we kept up the shit, you know. But as far as people asking about the cruise, you will begin to refund. Just give me some days to process it because I'm not going on no damn cruise, okay? Not this one. I'm going to the cruise. Next cruise I go to going to be back to Europe, okay? So plan another cruise. So you'll be getting your money back. All of it, okay? I ain't keeping nobody coin. You ain't got to worry about it, baby. Okay, I, I really, I'm really not a camera. Okay, I'm not a camera <laughs> in real oh, so, life. <laughs> oh, so, so that wasn't true. Okay, that I'm a camera? Hell no, nah. girl. What I got a stand for? I'm a retired captain. My husband is a retired major. Now, am I a business woman? Hell yeah, I'm a business woman. You know. And y'all, I do have charges, but I'm not convicted, and I never lost my child. <laughs> I still pay the motherfucking motel six. Shit. <laughs> Isn't that something? <laughs> All that we had to go through just to end up here. I mean, people just drug you and painted your character out to be something that you're not. And then at the end, it's just like, wow. You just pretty yeah. much showed up on the internet to be, you know, I guess docs and lied on and it just none of it was worth it but we can move on i yes. do you know all jokes all jokes aside i do wish everybody the best and that's including the husband and the wife and um but like i said that don't mean i'm gonna stop talking guys i'm just not you know when that time come i will but i'm not gonna tell y'all i'm in that place where i'm gonna say Hey, I'm not talking about it no more. No, I'm gonna yeah. talk. I'm not gonna talk about it. And, it, and you know, I'm not gonna talk about it because I don't like the. Uh, I want, want, well, I'm not gonna. You know, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna talk about it. But if I do, mm -hmm. it's not gonna be to make money or whatever. Um, because that's what that's what it's doing now. The uh, you don't want to make money on this saga, and you use this name to make money. And what? Let me tell you something. I came out here in the defense of a young lady, okay? I came out here in the defense of Brianna, okay? And 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 I still, I feel like what I did helped her, even though she may not feel like it did, but I feel like it helped her. I don't want to see Brianna hurt or attacked. You understand what I'm saying? But I am no longer defending Brianna. She doesn't need our defense. I'm no longer defending her.
with her. Um, I'm not. I'm no longer. And I would. I would think that Robert Gordon would no longer defend him because he don't need them either, or the whole family. They don't need their supporters to defend them. They said support by looking at their content. I'm still going to watch her content, so I'm still going to support her. I'm going to watch what I want to watch. I'm going to like what I want to like. So y'all may even still see me say, you know, oh, this is funny, Bree, whatever the case may be. But I'm not going to continue to uh, go on and pretend that there's that side against this side and, and they mad at each other and whatever the case may be when I know for a fact that it's not like that, that it is not what we think it is, okay? And it's not what we think it is. They coochie crunchy clean, okay? So, Omora, you think it's okay for them to continue to make their income, everybody protect them so they pay, don't get blocked, scrub. You know, pretty much the husband and wife was able to pretty much keep their hands clean because they're supporters. So their pages was never in risk, you know, to be demonetized or restrict. So do you think it's okay for it them to continue to make money and, and go on with their best life and, and, and you know, the supporters that did become monetized um, for them to stop making money? Like, do you understand you can shift your content, but when you built your platform, okay, because remind y'all now, their platform was built off the do domestic violence story and the divorce, okay? This this new, I should say money bag, because, okay, they was bringing in some little money with their, you know, family um, story. But this divorce and this um, DV storyline have gave them a new bag. So just like they built them a new bag with the DV story and the domestic violence, I mean, in the divorce story, well, there's a lot of content creators came along and built a new bag off of that story too. So what these people supposed to do, just let a new bag of money go away. It takes time when you have built a platform. People are showing up every day because of this story. People want to know what's going on. We're not even able to give our, cunt, I mean, our followers, us content creators are not able to give our followers a good, healthy ending because it's like they just want to pull the plug on us. No, I don't think it's fair. That's why it's going to take time. Yes, I'm going to work on other things and other content. But mm -hmm. however, I'm going to continue to talk about what my supporters, my followers want to hear. Yeah, I don't know about, you know, I, I don't think my, I don't know if my supporters, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't. The reason why I kind of want to not talk about it because I want to get it behind me. I, I, I got big fish. To, you know, I got more stuff I want to do. Like right. you know, day show and this, that, and the other stuff. But I am gonna keep this page to talk about whatever I want to talk about. But I don't know if I want them to be my main focus because I'm kind of like because I know what's going on. You know what I mean? I kind of right. like oh, it's gonna turn my stomach. It's gonna make me want to throw up right. what I watch and what I hear. Because I know with what I'm seeing ain't what's really going on. It's gonna make me want to throw up, and it's gonna make me want to really come out and motherfucking drop the goddamn sky out the motherfucking sky. Okay? And that's what I said. So if it, but my question was to you: Do you think it's right though for the not speaking of you, but the other content creators? Do you think it's right for them to get the plug pulled on them? I mean, a lot of people just starting to make their money bag. You know, I'm not saying you got to just. Keep on the story, but you can have your opinion, like the aftermath, the finale. You know what I'm saying? Like, really, the finale of the story. So you, uh, you do I think that the other content creators, me and um, um, Robert supporters, the, the one, the content creators that's speaking on Robert behalf, are you saying? Do I think that they should just stop talking about it? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I, do you think it's fair? Period. Not only on Robert's side, but on y'all, you all side. Don't you got other content creators that's getting paid on your side? 
Uh, yeah. If you, you mean you mean in headquarters? Is that what you're talking about? Or yeah, just period. Yeah, just period. Do you think overall, both sides, if there's content creators that's making money, okay, is mm -hmm. it okay for them to just shut down on their supporters? Like, I have certain people who's coming to my page just to hear you. Excuse me, you have people that show up on your panel to hear, and I'm sure there's other people out there that's doing their thing. Do you think that, now by choice, some people are probably say, well, I'm just going to walk away from it. I don't want to have nothing else to do, it, do with it. I'm going to respect it. But then you got some people saying, well, I'm just getting into it, and I, you know, I got people I'm doing story time with. Do I just cut off in the middle of my story time? My question to you, do you think it's fair to those people to just have to shut down in the middle of their story time? No, I mean, I think people still going to follow and, and listen in or whatever because, you know, they might like drama or whatever. So, no, I'm not telling nobody. I don't think that anybody should stop supporting whoever they want to continue to support. You know what I'm saying? Um, I may even tell my story dealing with um, headquarters. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's so much went, it's so much went on in this 18 months where you just don't have to keep nitpicking and back paneling because back paneling because I've been done with the story. So it's not, but it's certain stuff you may want to pull out and talk about. You know, like I've been having fun with laughing at how the wife that popped out and put together a protection plan for the husband and the sister. And then the husband over there thinking he just so, oh, like he won the battle. You know, like today he made a post saying something about, yeah, they thought they was going to break me. You know, and then I'm laughing because I know the headquarters on your side had made that statement. All they want to do is just break him down, break him down. And then I'm like reading that and I'm like, bro. Give your wife the thanks. They ain't broke you, or I would say they broke you, but she came along and pretty much put the pieces back together. Listen, but he needs her. He needs her. Let me just say it like this. He needs her, and she knows it, and she's going to help him, okay? He needs her. He needs her continue action on his page because it's hurting and she knows it and she's going to help him do it. Okay? That's what's going that's what's going on. That's what's happening. He needs her and she knows he needs her to help his page stay relevant and she's going to help him. So but I don't what I don't want to do is you know I don't know. I, 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 my concern today is more for the people that just have an open mind, right? And just know, and, and good hearts, the ones that have open minds and good hearts, and just to know that if you really think that you're in this, protecting, defending a particular party, you're wasting your time. Okay. If you, if you're, if you're in it like how I was in it, I couldn't stand Robert. I still can't stand Robert, but I wanted to. I wanted to, to, to go to bat for Bree, and I did, until I see her rise to the top. And, 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 and not that I wanted to break the husband, but I wanted to see him get the payback for doing what he did to Brianna. And that, ain't my, that ain't my motherfucking concern no more, okay? Because what I know is she ain't going to let him fall. So I'm going to say that, and I'm going to say it again. She ain't going to let him fall. I'm going to say it one more time. She ain't going to let him fall, okay? So because she's not going to let him fall because her support is for the family and he is included in the family, that's why I'm saying I'm pulling the plug. So if everybody else out there want to continue to be motherfucking windmill windmilling in the comments to other people, you're wasting your time is what I'm saying. You're wasting in your time and you can continue to waste your time robert supporters if they the ones that don't have an open mind if they want to continue to waste their time let them go right ahead but all well, of us are being played well i don't think well let me piggyback off of that 
okay, from what I just heard you say, I'm going to interpret it in my own words, okay? Um, pretty much. <laughs> Not putting words in Amora's mouth, but just interpret it in my own wording is that all the help you guys have done, all the hard work you guys have done, all the money that has been made on the wife side, okay, she's going to use whatever it takes to keep her husband up, okay? He, she's not working against him. They're not bad. She's going to do whatever it takes to help position him, okay? And yeah. I don't think that the husband's side have no reason to keep going on and on and on because I think at this point, the husband's side feels more like victory, victory for them because the wife came and set her supporters down. So the husband's supporters were standing up because the wife supporters were standing up. But when the wife set y'all down, it gives them no reason to have to stand up. Who they going to fight with? Who they going back and forth with? So right. I feel like they feel as if they won the battle. They don't have to fight and go back and forth with y'all no more. He didn't sit them down. Right. You know, we have joked about this so much online saying the wife defired her staff again. So she pretty much defired y'all and they still got a job but they don't have to work because the wife came and set y'all down. So they got the wife on their side now because the wife is supporting and the husband. And it's funny you say that because we have been sat down a couple of times. I'd be lying if I say we have it. We have been sat down a few times, baby. Sit your ass down. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sitting down for good now. Honey. If you going to get up this time, if she come back and give y'all a job, man, the wife got power, man. The wife got power. The man, the supporters could do whatever they want to do. I'm not. I am no longer. I'm no longer standing in the gap. That's why I'm saying, fuck it, white flag, I throw that bitch in and wave it, wave it to the highest motherfucking mountain, honey, because I ain't wasting my goddamn time no more fighting for somebody that don't appreciate me, baby, that told me I should have minded my own motherfucking business and that they can fight with they nigga if they want to, honey. I'm done, child. I done tapped out a more gone. Hashtag a more gone. <laughs> I'm more gone, okay? I'm more really, really gone. So I don't care. I, you know, I hate, I don't want to see nobody hurt because, you know, pe um, people hurt, hurt me. And Brianna hurt, hurt me. But she's right. I should have minded my motherfucking bees knees, okay? And that's what I'm going to do from now on. My, my, my motherfucking bees knees. So now if Brianna want to continue trying to present a picture that's that's dead and ain't really there, then she can go right ahead, okay? I'm not doing that shit. I'm over it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. But that they're presenting that picture to keep to keep other followers and fans and supporters blind to the matter because there's a lot of women follow her based on this DV story and this divorce and having this nasty husband. And that's the, I was talking to my supporters about it yesterday. I'm like, it's so bad. You made all these hundreds of thousands of women hate your husband. What was the purpose of that? And you know, it was a possibility that you guys are going to heal and get back together. But now you got a hundred thousand women looking at your husband with a very disrespectful eye. Like, you know, I didn't think of it that way because, wow, <laughs> I didn't think of it that way. Yeah. I didn't think yeah. of it that way. Yeah, like, why would you do that? Why would you create this problem for your husband? You got, like, there's people, and, and, and that's the old saying, don't put people, or even you won't get in your family love life business because you be like, uh-uh, I, I, well, I can speak for myself. My sisters ain't going to get in my love life because they know me and my man will fight, break up. We're going to get back together. Then they going to be disliking my man. Me and my man going to be back together. So that's just life. But what I don't understand is why she just destroyed his image, even if it's truth. 
If it's true, y'all say it wasn't fake, it wasn't a lie, but still you're going to have some women looking at her with the bad eye now because if this man is everything you say he is, if this man did everything you say he did, people going to be looking at you now like, really, girl? You can co-parent without getting all personal and involved. Like, if this man really did everything you say he did, he's the man that you painted him to be, okay, y'all got a child, but baby, you ain't got to be getting all personal, jumping up on his family panels because you want to co-parent with him. No, you need to still be distancing yourself. If he everything she said, she should be working on distancing herself. Co-parent, they can have a whole healthy co-parent, okay? Most people will have a third party. If this man is really who she said he is, and he did everything she said he did, most people will have a third person meeting up with, let me shut up. <laughs> most women won't be running back trying to make it so personal. It would just be a healthy co-parent. You know what I'm saying? That's I, it. I, That's all. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. And even yeah. to say, you know, give him advice on you or you you should do this to shut this person up, or you should do that to shut this person up. Yeah, That's giving personal. it advice, stuff like that. Yeah, that is personal. You're right. That's I ain't personal. That ain't that ain't trying to develop. Oh, I'm doing it for a healthy um co-parent because you know I want to do this for my daughter. No, you're getting more back, you're running back towards of getting building a, a personal relationship. So now everybody else looking at this man with one eye but you looking at this man with another eye like running back to him like everything she said he did to her like i don't know that's just a red flag to me like it is not uh, you know it's it's just weird it's weird honestly it's weird it's just weird because everybody not saying they have to hate each other and it can't be over but it's just weird how everybody just was so, just 30 days ago, things was just, I mean, he just got up on the panel and called myself, you know, it called me in her a hoe. He had yeah, but, why you got these hoes up here lying? Mm -hmm. huh? And now it's like, hey, you need to go press charges against her. He just called me well, in her a hoe. He can convince her that he wasn't even talking to her. You understand what I'm saying? He can convince her that he didn't mean nothing about her. But let me just address this person right here, this Terry person that said, she's talking to you, Jenny, but I'm going to address it, okay? She said, Jenny, get your dusty ass off somebody else's panel trying to keep something going. You wanted that man. He didn't come out to hunt you. Go get your husband. You had locked up Terry. That's the very thing that I'm trying to say. You coming on here to say something like that for what? You're, you're, so is that, are you trying to, did you say that because you in defense of the husband? The husband don't give a shit about his supporters either, okay? So I'm not sure what this was about, but you should probably listen to what Jenny is saying and, and, and me and any other woke content creator up out there. You should probably listen to what we're saying because we're just trying to help you guys. I'm just saying all these negative comments right here for somebody that's speaking on it, you should probably keep that because I'm here to tell you, you guys been fooled, okay? So I, I'm, I'm, keep, I'm keeping it a buck with you. You 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 know not what you speak of. I don't, I don't think Jenny really wanted him. I think Jenny was getting her coins, right, Jenny? Well, I'm no disrespect to anyone. I have my right to, to tell you guys how I feel. First of all, Terry, go comb your mammy hair okay go comb your mammy hair and don't play with me second of all i felt that um he just had the dl energy for me i can be wrong but i talked to him i met him my opinion i felt like he was dl i don't even think he you know he won his wife but anyway that's none of my business, but no, I was not turned on to him, not a little bit, guys. He couldn't kiss my big toe, okay? I didn't want him. <laughs> so okay. I don't know why she's going with that, but uh, we're trying, we trying to let her know that it's, it's not what they think it is. If they want to sit here, somebody says it's a fake face. Okay, if it's a fake face, let's just, 
Y'all, the, 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 the wife, the wife was to pick me the whole time, y'all. In this whole saga, the wife was to pick me. In my opinion, not being disrespectful, but I really, I and I called that. I said this woman wants her, her husband back. I and y'all used to get mad at me when I said that this woman want her husband back. At the end of the saga, where is this woman? This woman, the back track she's going backwards she's going I backwards can't i can't say that i can't agree with you on that one. i don't Wait, think that she, she wants want her him. husband back i think she wants them to be friends okay i don't think she wants him back I, you know i think she has moved on in that regard but i do believe that she wants them to be like like how she is with her first baby daddy cool and whatever she wants them to be cool mm -hmm. i don't think that she wants him back like a, as in a relationship now i could be wrong but i just don't think so from what you know i don't think so i don't think that she wants him back she just don't want him mad at her and she don't want the family mad at her so she wants she wants all of them to be cool okay amora right yeah, my blinders must be on then I, let's, I, I, no but let's stop and think this really, really let's dumb. stop and think this with her painting the picture that she painted about him, right? So this is an unhealthy ninja. So if she's moving on with her life, she's with her significant other. How in the hell, if you with somebody else, you gonna tag this unhealthy man along? He need treatment before you try to make him become a friend of you and your new partner. So that's kind of hard. I don't know her personal life, and I don't know if she's still involved with her new partner, but the way she is going on about this man and his family, I don't see a new partner in the picture, but I can be wrong. I'm on the outside looking in. Well, I, you know, I, I, at this point, I don't really care, but at, at the same time, I don't want to paint a picture and, and I don't want to paint a picture, oh, oh, she, you know, oh, she's on this thing to get him back. No, I don't think, I don't think that's the case. I don't, I don't believe it. Yeah, why I got to build a relationship with the family. Damn the family. The family can be an well, auntie. She is, she is cool with the family, child. She is cool with the Yeah, family. so I'm just saying this is like a little too much for a friendship. This is, that's why I, I'm saying what I'm saying. This is like a little too much with a friendship. So. Yeah. And she do she do want she do want them to be cool she don't want nobody talking about them she, you know like she said who goes online every day talking about the same up who, who go online every day talking about the same person okay so anyway um i think that she wants them to be cool the whole mm -hmm. family because i you know well, that's a healthy thing. That's a healthy thing. And hey, us supporters, we're gonna we're gonna voice our opinion like we did from the beginning. And you know, with Terry, nobody ain't trying to keep nothing up. I'm just voicing my opinion. I'm giving y'all my thoughts. Okay, everybody have control on. If you feel like I, I'm trying to keep it up, once again, don't follow me. Don't but what you did think something you just said okay so they came out painted a picture robert this big old monster whatever the case may be and i think robert got mental issues i'm gonna be just just keep it above he do but anyway you it's okay for all these women out here to think that he's this person or that person and don't like him but then you cool with him yeah that is kind of confusing so i didn't even think about that until you just now said it you know let, let me be cool with him because he's my baby daddy, but all these other women don't like him because he's this or that. But then I want to be cool with him. I want to be straight with him. I want us to be copacetic. I want us to do business together. I want to, I want us to do skits together. And I want to do skits by the people that drug me too. I want to, I want to be cool with the people that supported him that drug me, but my supporters, y'all can still watching my shit and buying my stuff or whatever, but I want to do skits and kumbaya and do everything else with the people that drug me for fuel. But the people that stood in the gap, yeah, no, they need to be quiet, learn new content, and turn the page, and, and mind their motherfucking bees. Yeah. You go, you better stay awake, and that's exactly what I'm saying. Uh, I mean, a lot of people don't feel like 
she sees him in that way. But I just think like she won't nobody why her and her man. What what she said her ninja if she wants to what did you say? I don't I can know. Say if I want to, but I honestly think she meant like from the get go when she first came out. But see, let me let me say this. Let me clear this up too, because just like you said, and I don't want this to sound like I'm going on no uh, um, uh, tour of I feel used and abused. Okay, yeah. I'm not saying I feel used and abused. But when I reached out to Brianna, when Brianna was crying, breaking down on social media, and it just hurt my heart so bad. And when she was talking about unaliving herself and stuff like that, that hurt me. Okay, I can hear that. Wow. And, and and I used to leave. First of all, I used to leave little positive messages. But then one day I said, "Here's my number. Call me. I don't know if I said when you want to talk or if you want to talk." Okay, mm -hmm. she called me. Okay. She called me. I didn't have her phone number. She called me. I answered the phone. I hear a soft voice. Hello. I said, um, I said, hello, who is this? This is Brianna. And I said, oh, hey, Brianna. And we got to talking. Our very first phone call was for three hours. Okay. I heard her heart. I heard her heart. Okay. And I listened and I gave my advice, whatever the case may be. From that day i only wanted the best for her and still does and i think i i want more i want better for her than she wants for herself okay i'm gonna say that again i believe that i want better for her than she wants for herself okay so at any rate um just continue to talk continue to talk continue to talk whatever the case may be okay but now, and then y'all know, then Ashley came along, whatever, 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 whatever. And then start introducing this person, and then that person, and then this person, and that person, okay? And I was accused of more more keep Rihanna all to the same or whatever. And it wasn't that. It was more so that I didn't want a lot of people in her head because at first I was like, just ignore it, you know, just, just, just ignore it, just ignore it, just ignore it, or whatever. But, um... But she was like, you know, I don't even want to get into those conversations. But all I'm saying is she reached out to me because I left my phone number. OK, so but to now here, you should have minded your motherfucking business. OK, her crying and being hurt and wanting to unalive herself or speaking of it, that was my business, you know. I, I'm, I'm a retired captain, okay? I was over a lot of soldiers in the military that had these same cries and then nobody listened to them. And you know what they did? They went and unalived themselves, okay? So that was my business that there is a black queen breaking in front of the world. That was my business, okay? So now if she's saying me coming out and forming my channel and trying to fight off all these people that was coming at her, if she's saying that that wasn't my business to do, I did that because I felt that was my duty. That was my duty. I figured, I said, all these people coming against her, right? And it's just her. I said, where is her voice? Where are the people? Why are they doing this? All these people coming at her, coming at her, family, kids, daddy, brother, everybody, coming at everybody, coming at everybody that had anything to do with her. And that's why I stepped up and said, you know what? Let me jump in between this. I said it, I said it to the people that I talked to in the background. I said, I'm getting ready to make a channel and I'm going to let those content creators see, put a flashlight on their life to see who they are because obviously they think that she's supposed to be perfect. I never said that everything that Brianna did was right. I never said that. I never said anything that she did was right. But I heard her cry. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do I feel that what she did was worth her being bashed? Hell no. Hell no. She didn't do shit to be treated the way she was treated. So that's why I spoke out. She didn't deserve what happened to her at all. Yep, they came out, had a disagreement, whatever. She apologized a few times. She didn't deserve that. But other people thought that she did. And that's why I stood in the gap. That's why I stood and said, no, I'm going to turn flat, flat on y'all life. Y'all want to come after somebody? Ain't 
none of us perfect. I'm just saying I'm not perfect. Hell, I haven't done some shit that I ain't too proud of. But should I be condemned for it? Hell to the no. She didn't deserve what happened to her. But at the end of the day, to be to hear with my own ears, you should have minded your motherfucking business. Yeah, that hurt. That hurt a whole lot, okay? Because I know. She said she sleep good at night. Well, there's a lot of motherfuckers out here that don't sleep good at night, okay? And that is what her and the family do not realize. A lot of people got their emotions involved because they cared for them. Do you understand what I'm saying? They cared for them. And they basically turned around and showed us how much they don't care for us. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm that's why I'm telling people stop. Stop fighting. Go out and have fun and enjoy your life. They don't give a damn. They don't care. They cool now. They coochie crunchy clean. Okay. Well, she sure painted a picture good enough to keep him a free man. So when people be like, oh, you want him, you want him. After listening to his wife and the things she said about him and how she was treated, it definitely wouldn't have a woman so turned on to this man. So I don't know. It's just like, I, I just feel like she ain't want nobody else with him. I don't know. It just don't make no sense. It's still not adding up. Why did she paint this such bad picture about him? But now she's really protecting him well, and I, his family. I'm protecting him. I, I, no, no, no. I, 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 I don't. I think that that was just arguing. You know what I'm saying? You know when you argue with your man, you say this, you say that, whatever the case may be. I think that's what that was. You understand what I'm saying? I don't. I don't think. I don't think that. Uh, I, I, I don't think that she meant. You know, I can't say what the fuck. Only she can say what she meant to do. I ain't mm -hmm. saying it no more. I ain't defending shit no more. I don't know what the fuck she was trying because to do. I just don't understand the motive. It just it don't make sense the way it ended. Okay. And I mean, I'm not the author. I can't write their story, but I was a part of, you know, the saga talking about it. But I mean, we all waiting on the divorce, right? That's what we've been waiting on for the last 18 months. We all waiting for a divorce. We all waiting to hear if she going to prison about this picture. Like, we all waiting. And then it's like turning on the television and... The movie say the end, and we like, damn, is it a to be continue? Like, whatever happened to the picture, the jail, going to jail, whatever happened to the divorce? Like, oh, do she get married? Do he get married? It's just like right in the middle of the saga, the channel just flipped. Well, I, I, I'm not waiting on it no more. I'm not oh, no. It ain't nothing to wait on because it ended already. It's over. It's I'm over. Not, yeah, the it's saga over. is over. Now, it's the aftermath, what other people want to talk about and, and their feelings and their thoughts being a part of this saga and following the story. But the saga itself is over. She's gone. I mean, Maine drove all the way from Texas to put a song together that she was gone only for her to go back. I, I don't, don't know. You, you saying back. I, I don't, I don't, I don't. Well, when I say back, she's back in their life. Whether they're boyfriend, girlfriend, whether they're thinking about getting remarried, because I don't know if the divorce is final. But when I say gone back, let me specify it. Gone oh, back into their I, life. I've been yeah. thinking it's been like in the relationship with him. I don't I don't believe that that's but I think she I think it's a possibility too. I don't know about I don't know about now if they're back together into men or whatever the case may be. I made a joke on my page saying, you know, the best sex is the makeup sets. You know, the wife on here cussing everybody out. She done forgot what she told us 18 months after that makeup set, you know. But um, anyway, y'all know me with my little corny jokes or whatever. But when mm -hmm. I say gone back, I mean she's gone back to the family, you know. Oh, yeah. every, when y'all say she's gone, y'all mean she wasn't a part of their life. She's gone. Leave her alone. 
for so many months, y'all kept saying, be gone, be gone, be gone. So y'all was saying like, she's out of his life. She's not thinking about him. She's not worried about him. She's gone. So right. now I'm saying she's gone back. Because she have. She have reconnected with the husband. She's reconnecting and rebuilding, you know, relationships with the sisters. So she's gone back, you know. What you saying? Yeah, yeah. I know. To be honest with you, when I think, when I used to say Brie gone, I meant that he fumbled her. You understand what I'm saying? He fumbled her. He lost her. So I looked at it like that. Oh, he lost her. He lost a good one. I do believe that Brianna was good to him. You know what I'm saying? But I don't even really want to talk about that because it's just the fact now the slap in the supporter's face, you know, or I didn't talk to Amora. I only talked to Bree Hive and Denise and, you know, and you should have mind your own motherfucking business and I can have an argument with my nigga, that type of stuff right there. That made me throw deuces, baby, honey. I'll be a goddamn fool to sit out here and windmill with any goddamn body after. And you know, let me tell you something, Jenny. I heard from other people that Brianna don't like you, Brianna don't like you, Brianna don't care for you. Even people that that still cool with her, you know, right now I've heard that. Uh, Brianna don't like you, Brianna don't care for you, this, that, and the other, but I brushed it off. I would ask her, did you say that, whatever? Did you hear me say it? No, no, okay then, stop believing, stop assuming that I said something, you didn't hear me say it, okay, 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 whatever. Kept saying it, kept hearing it, kept hearing it, kept hearing it, and I'm like, God damn, why am I keep hearing this shit, right? Like, what have I done for her to not like me? Okay. I was thinking that to myself. Like, what the fuck have I done for somebody to not like me, not like me, not, not like me? And I keep hearing, oh, she really don't like you. She really don't like you. She really don't like you. And then to hear from my own motherfucking ears, you should have minded your motherfucking business. That's how she feel. Right. That's how she feel. So that's because how she feel. Now I do do this because guess how I feel? I don't give a fuck no more. That's how I feel. I do not give a fuck what happens. I really don't at this point. I'm done. I tapped the fuck out is what I did. I'm done with it. I'm done. Mm -hmm. That part, you know? So, and that's why I just say, you know, woo! Child, every day be a challenge for me. Every day be a challenge for me because I do wake up sometimes saying, okay, I'm done. I'm over. I don't want to talk about it. But then something will come down my timeline or I get an inbox and boom, there I am back talking about it. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I went to two visits. I really did. I, I've been trying to seek help. I think I got PTSD. <laughs> Well, I ain't gonna say I got PTSD. I was hurt. I cried yesterday. They didn't give a fuck. Neither one of them. Denise didn't care. Breha didn't care. And neither did Brianna. They didn't care. Only Felicia reached out to me, you know, and said, I feel your pain or whatever the case may be. They didn't give a fuck. Matter of fact, I heard, get out your feelings. Get out your feelings. Get out your feelings. When I'm out, I'm out. I'm out of my feelings. So do people not do people not think that um the supporters can be wound? Her? Uh, I don't think well from what I told is I could stand and lose two or three hundred um supporters because I got three point two million on this page, this this amount of men on that page, this amount of men on that page. Or do y'all think y'all my only supporters? I got three thousand people coming to my party. Do y'all think y'all my only supporters? So Hey, oh, you do. Wow. I don't know. Oh wow! So it doesn't matter, you know. You don't have. Oh, it was. Well, I guess you guys. What I'm trying to say, you guys was just all in the basket together. I mean, it wasn't no. These are my top supporters, or these are my day ones, or she these are my staffers. Brian, Rehab, and Denise. That was done for a reason. Because I'm, I'm, I'm a, you know, and I don't even want to really talk a whole lot, but I guess Toya must have told her that I was talking about her kid. You know, you know, that video that you did when you was talking about the kid. So I, I did a, um, I did like a, uh, what do you call it? A, um, oh, I forgot what it's called. Uh, what is it called when you, when, when you go over your video? I can't even think what the fuck it's called. But a reaction, that's what I did. I did like a reaction video. So I was laughing at the things that you were saying. Okay. So Toya must have, 
I went back and told her that I was talking about her daughter when I wasn't talking about it. I laughed at what you were saying. And I was like, oh, I said something you know. about the kids. Yeah, when you said what you said about her daughter, I laughed when, at it. You know what when, the video, what, I did a what so you know, video was that remind me? See, so I you said you said something in regards to oh, she needs to wonder if OB is there for her or the daughter and that, you know, all that stuff or whatever. Oh, then, well, then, well, I did about Toya kids. I thought you was talking about Brie kids. No, 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 Toya kids. So Toya okay. must have called Brianna up and said that I was talking about her children. So, and I guess, I guess, and I'm only, right now, I'm only speculating because I wasn't on no call or nothing like that. Brianna, Toya must have told Brianna and Brianna must have told her, well, I don't talk to her. I don't deal with her oh, or whatever the case may be, you know, and I'm, all she do is lie. So mm -hmm. I'm assuming she said that. I wasn't on no call and I'm like, I'm assuming Brianna told Toya I'll be lying, okay? Mm -hmm. And so because of that, Toya, on that little apology video that they did, Robert wrote what he wrote. You saw that, the little smart comment that Robert wrote up under the post. I think he said something like, I hope now these bloggers and content creators can stop lying on me or something like that, Robert said. And Toya wrote right up underneath it. She wrote, oh, she said she don't need them no more anyway, that all they be doing is lying. You know what I'm saying? So when I saw it, it was text to me. I sent it to Denise, and that's when you heard, not Denise, I'm sorry, oh Lord. I sent it to Felicia, and that's when you heard Felicia say, I'm about to get my thousand dollars back or whatever. You remember that live? Oh, yeah. But anyway, she said, I'm about to get my thousand dollars back. And I said, no, 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 no. Let's wait. Let's talk to Brianna. Let's talk to Brianna. Right. So I'm a type of person that, yeah, I'll ask you if I want to know something. So I asked Bree. Bree response was, did you hear me say it? She always does do that. Did you hear me say it? No, I didn't hear you say it. Well, then why you believe it? Why you believe it? Whatever. So, you know, whatever the case may be. And then we had our little conversation talk or whatever. And then it was something else said, and then she apologized to, to the something else was said. I couldn't get over it. I couldn't get over it. I got off the phone, whatever the case may be. I couldn't get over it. The next day, I began to talk about it again. But now I'm, I'm really hurt. I'm hurt by it because I'm just like, you know, you know, I'm, I was hurt by it. Let me just say that. But then I heard when she went live and said that she only deal with Denise and Breha trying to indicate. Now you only say stuff like that when you really trying to say something. You understand what I'm saying? When she said, I only really talk to Denise and Breha, what she's trying to tell the world is she don't fuck with me, is what she was trying to tell the world. The same shit that everybody on these all these panels been saying all along. Brianna said she don't fuck with them more. Brianna said she don't fuck with them more. Brianna said she don't fuck with them more. Now we don't fuck with each other the way she fucked with Breha and Denise. But we fuck with each other, meaning that we do talk on the phone more than just about the goddamn saga. OK, more than just about the saga. But that ain't, for you know, that ain't for nobody to know. I ain't got time to be doing that or whatever. But we talk about other stuff. But to say I only talked to Brehab and Denise, she was really saying something with Without saying it, she wanted people to. She wanted people to assume she don't fuck with me. So, do I believe she said that to other people? Yes, the fuck I do. But when I expressed to her, I don't even know was it yesterday, but when whenever it was, shit, I'm getting my days mixed up. When I expressed to her that it bothered me or something like that, she said I should have minded my motherfucking business. Is what she said to me. You should have minded your. And I said, what did you just say to me? Because I give a person a chance to correct themselves. You understand what I'm saying? I give a person a chance to correct themselves. When she said it again, you should have minded your motherfucking business. And I can argue with my nigga if I want to. Okay? Because what I was trying to say is, she said, didn't I tell you to stop before? I said, yes, you did. You told us to stop before. But when, when Felicia came out swinging and this, that, and the other, you put her in your story. You was happy about what she said. She fucking drug Robert for filth. And Brianna appeared to be happy about it. And I'm like, well, when you say stop, don't do it, but then you 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 clap when we do do it, it's, it's sending mixed, mixed signals. You understand what I'm saying? So I said, you put her in your story and all that stuff. And that's when she said, I could talk about my motherfucking nigga if I want to. So I said, you know what? I'm out. I don't even know if I said I'm out. I think I just hung the fucking phone up.
and blocked all of them because that's what type of time I was on. I the disrespect and then as far as being called a bitch by uh Breha for the second fucking time, I was done with that shit too. Because Breha thinks she can talk to people crazy. Cause she fanned the fuck out. So I'm done with it all. I'm done with it all. And Denise ain't never done nothing to me. I ain't gonna say she did, but she drinks Brianna's Kool-Aid and she puts sugar and sprinkle sugar all over shit. So I'm done with her too. She, her and Brianna was on the phone with me crying. Neither one of them said, I understand your pain. I understand where you coming from. You know, this, that, and the other, whatever. No, they didn't give a fuck. They told me to get out my fucking feelings. Okay. So I'm done with them too. Period. And that's how I feel about it. And that's how it is moving forward. So, and all I'm saying is, if they if they cool, because I was like, because I even said, damn, if they cool, if they done made up, they he he and ha ha with each other or whatever, why are we out here fighting? Why are we fighting the other content creators and they supporters and stuff like that when they cooler than the motherfucking fan? That don't make no sense. You know? So that's why I was like, you know what? Hell no. Nah. I'm not about to be out here and have people that support me out here fucking in the comments going ham when she ain't going ham behind the scene. She ain't fighting with Robert behind the scene. She ain't fighting with Toy behind the scene. They all cool. They all cool. You know? So we'll be a goddamn fool to, to be beefing with each other when they ain't. You know? So, yeah. Hey, Tanya, what's going on, honey? Oh, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hey. Well, I just, I was just coming up to say, you know, I've been watching you since forever. And you were there. You fought. You took a whole ass whooping for months, every day, and it's really sad that you know she would say that. And I, and like yesterday on the live when she said that, I I kept asking, I kept asking, did you call us liars? Did you call us liars? She kept ignoring the question, and I just feel like it's it's some some. I got one question more, and you don't have to answer it, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, but my question is, I have a passion for children, which I've told you that time before. And that counselor call about Moski being terrified of her daddy and then Moski run to her dad. Was this all a, a fake or uh, a lie? I don't think so. No. Mm -mm. I don't think that was a lie. No. Mm -mm. But I really don't want to talk about uh, well, no, I know, or anything like yeah, that. Yeah. I, don't, I don't. I do not think. I don't. I do not think that that was a lie. No. I don't think the only thing that I fought Brianna for. I'm not fight. I'm not faulting Brianna for anything that she's come out to the internet and said. The only thing that I fought Brianna for is basically shitting on her supporters for the family. Yeah. That's what she's doing. She's shitting on her supporters. Um, for the family and not just for the that people were even calling you nasty Nate, they didn't call anyone else name. And you know what? And she was okay with Toya calling me nasty Nate. I didn't even want to tell y'all that. I told her to come out and address mm -hmm. the Toya for calling me nasty Nate. And she says, no, she ain't doing it. She is not going to do it or whatever because she didn't want to argue with Toya no more or whatever. So she, she was okay with Toya calling me nasty Nate. And I didn't like that. You know, because I said that if I cared about you and if they called her Lyonia, I would, y'all know I'd go motherfucking ham. But she okay with them calling me nasty Nate. She don't give a fuck about, listen, yeah, anyway, I, how many times like I said? <laughs> how many times like I said? But here's the thing. Um, I just got a message. I ain't going to say from who, but they said that they in the group saying that I'm doing this for money. Let me tell you something. I ain't doing this for motherfucking money because I'm here to tell y'all. I hope y'all hear me loud. And motherfucking clear. If I wanted money and if I wanted to do this for money, I'll shit this whole motherfucking shit down to the goddamn ground. So please trust and believe I'm not doing this for no motherfucking money. Okay? Please. I don't give a fuck what they say. Don't tell me what they say in the group. I don't care. Thank you, but don't don't tell me because I'm gonna tell you this. 
Don't, don't, don't tell me what they're saying in the group. Y'all say whatever. I don't give a damn. Rip me apart. Say whatever you want to say about me, baby, because I'm going to tell you something. I'm not doing this for money. Trust and believe. If I want to make some money, baby, child, please. That's all I'm going to say. This ain't for no money, baby. This is for the supporters. This is to let the supporters know that she don't give a fuck about us. Okay? Period. Now, don't get me. Don't get me. Don't. Don't get me. Come on, I'm, they in the group talking about I'm doing this money. They can sit there and still drink too late. They motherfucking want to. I know what the fuck I heard. The fuck? I don't know if disputed. Well, Lamora, first I just want to say, I just jumped up here real fast. I have to go to work in the morning. Um, first thing, I, first I want to apologize. I'm not Brianna, but I want to apologize to you on behalf of her. Um, I believe respect is respect no matter who is to and who is from. Respect is respect no matter how you see it, okay? And I do find it very disrespectful because of who you have been to her, you know, and you was you was on assignment and she just didn't understand that. Um, next, uh, next thing I want, I came up here to uh, uh, speak to Jenny because Jenny said that she was kind of confused on just all of a sudden um, everything became cool. Everything become cool. So um, to Jenny, I just want to say this, and this is what the Lord showed me earlier. Um, at the beginning, we all knew, and I'm not talking about nobody. The truth had a controlling spirit. That's what a narcissist do, right? They have a controlling spirit. And when you're married or when you're not married, when you have sex with somebody, spirits are transferable. And um, so, and remember when Brianna was telling us when she started seeing the counselor, she told us that was the first thing that she needed to do is distance herself. Why? Because those spirits, she had to get delivered. She had to get healed from all the things that she had went through. So she had was gone from him for quite a while. She blocked him and all that stuff. So those spirits began to lay dormant on the inside of her, but she wasn't fully healed or, and she wasn't delivered from everything. So when the, she started making contact with him and allowed him, you know, and speaking to him and everything, those spirits that she wasn't delivered from rose back up in her. So those controlling spirits that she, he had over her is now dwelling and is now taking place and is now alive again. So that's the reason why all of a sudden, because that's the way the enemy work. OK, so I just want to tell Jenny that because she said she was confused and, and that's what the Lord showed me. It was the spirit that she that was transferred into her has now rose up on the inside of her. And that's why they, the contact is so strong now. That's why they can get along and which is a good thing to co-parent. I'm co-parenting. So it's a good thing that they are co-parenting, but ain't no way in the world I can co-parent when you allowed me to be dogged as, as your child's mother. But and, you, I, and it's a good thing that forgiveness took place because we have to forgive. But at the, at the end of the day, you still did me like this. So I wanted to say that, but then also a more to you. And someone wanted to sow that bad seed and said that, and this is not just for boasting, nothing like that, but as I was coming up on a panel, I think if I heard you correctly, you said somebody told you that um, you was just doing this for, uh, for um, yeah, you were just you were just doing this for money. So in the name of Jesus, I'm sowing $100 to you for your life today because of what you have done for that lady. And you have laid down and you have took and you was on the battlefield for her. You know what I'm saying? You took the hurt. You took the pain. You the wounds. You know what I'm saying? All the things that were said to her, just like Toya Neal spoke bad about her, said the same thing about you. So I'm going to cash up you $100 right now. Oh, well, thank you, girl, honey. I uh -huh. appreciate it. You have a good day. Okay, thank you. Jenny, did you go to sleep? I don't know if Jenny went to sleep or not. Hey, Tanya, you up here? Yeah, I'm here. I'll just okay. listen tomorrow. 
Well, that's that's basically all I wanted to say. I I still support you more. I always support you. You're going to make me laugh, and I'm still going to do my damn bingo. So <laughs> I still got notifications. I still got my membership. And I know you stood in the gap. I know you stood in the gap, and you fought, and you fought, and we win me, and we did the thing. But I, I, like I said, I felt a certain way when she said just Bree Hive and, and um, Denise. And I, yeah. and I put that I put that in the group and I got a little backlash, but it's all good. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. But like I said, we love you. We still here. We still support you. Okay. Love you too. And thank you, baby. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Jenny, you still up here? I don't know if Jenny is still up here or not. Honey. I don't know if Jenny went to sleep. Jenny took a phone call or what. But anyway, what I'm saying is, I don't think that we should be windmilling, like I said before, in anybody's comments or anything like that, um, because why? Why? Uh, and, and even speaking against Robert, to be honest with you, if she ain't speaking, you 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 up here, Jenny? I heard something and I don't hear no more. But if she ain't speaking against Robert and stuff like that, you know, if she, if she ain't hoping, you know, Oh, karma hit him or whatever the case may be. Him, then why should we? She cool. Like she said, she believed Toya. She said Toya ain't lying and this, that, the other, whatever. So listen, all I'm saying is, and for the people <laughs> that think that I'm doing this for money, y'all can think whatever y'all want to think. I lived it. And let me tell you something. If I really, really wanted money, baby, trust and believe. If I wanted money, hmm, I can make money. But I don't want money that bad, okay? I don't want money that bad, all right? I'm good, okay? So trust and believe. It ain't even like that. That's why I'm deleting the goddamn videos. What you think? I'm still making money on all the videos that I did. I don't want. I don't even really want my channel to be about this no more, you know? I'm going to still talk to my followers and stuff like that. But as far as, you know, you know, Saying Brianna name, oh no, honey. I don't want people to think, oh, I'm trying to make money off the family. No, I'm moving on, baby. That's what I'm saying. I am moving on, okay? And I would encourage any other content creator to move on too. Oh, God. And listen, I got out the group this time. Yeah, y'all, I got kicked out the first time <laughs> so they could talk about it. But I got out on my, I got out um the group this time on my own. And the reason why I got out, because I knew that I was about to be out of this whole soccer shit. You know, sometimes you, you be in a group and you hear this and you hear that and it make you want to re react. I don't want to react to any of that stuff no more because I know what's really going on. I know what's really, really going on. Y'all don't know, you know, but hopefully you know a little bit more than you did know. OK, it's all fake. It's all phony. It's all fucking bullshit, to be honest with you. You know, just keeping it above. She says, I won't delete ish. Making that money you earn is who cars who cares what someone say now i'm good baby honey because let me tell you something i'm doing something different you know i'm thinking that what i did was good but when i'm hearing i should have minded my motherfucking business i don't need this i do not need this you hear me she says so what about dawn put her business out for days was that fake i don't what you mean no they did what they did but they didn't already they they good trust me they good they good, honey. They good. Today was a day I'm still confused and have so many questions. Well, today was a day. Yesterday was a day. The day before yesterday was a day. She said, I said it months ago. Watch it play out. Now, now if you would have asked me months ago, what would this have happened? I probably would have said no, because I was still being dumb, stupid, and blind. Even though you hear, listen, Ashley done told me. A whole bunch of people done told me. Brianna don't like you. Brianna don't like you. Brianna don't like you. And I'm like... Y'all, y'all just saying it because y'all trying to break us up. Y'all just they just trying to come between us. You know, the, you know, they just trying to come between the supporters, trying to come between the supporters. No, all along, Brianna did not like me for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't know, honey. She liked me when she liked me. She liked me when she liked me. We talked about way more stuff than just stuff by God. Okay. Cause I heard that. Somebody said that to me, saying that she said she don't talk to you. Uh, she said, oh, <laughs> she said she don't talk to you because uh, you talk about the saga. No, I talk about way more stuff than just the saga. Okay. Respectfully or more, it was a question of who Brianna talked to every day. And she said she only talked to Denise. 
And sometimes, Jeremika, you both said you don't speak daily. No, we don't speak daily. We don't speak daily. But she told Toya that she don't talk to me and I just be lying. It was awful content. That's why I don't know. Um, see, I don't know about that. I still think it was a part of the original plan. But why she don't like you is the question, but you keep talking about the husband. What is it? She said, but why she don't like you is the question, but you keep talking about the husband. I'm not sure what you mean, Tanya. Her name is stricken from my mouth. I won't watch anything she does ever in life. I've been peeped this months ago. Something ain't right with that little girl. Wow. At this point, Bree doesn't like herself. Don said, Bree said you was trying to be her mother. Don said that? Mm, I didn't even know Don said that. I ain't know Don said it because you was bringing the husband and the brother-in-law to the light. A lot of stuff was trying to. Wait a minute, what? Because you was bringing the husband and the brother-in-law to the light. A lot of stuff they was trying to keep hidden was coming to the light. All the family secrets. Oh, I think it's because you held her accountable. Is Johnny okay with dealing with so much with the mess? I see. I ain't trying to be answering all the questions right there. I'm not. I don't care nothing about that. She said, "You believe Toya? Toya been watching you to turn on you and more. I'm so hurt." Yeah, Toya been watching me to turn on me, but Brianna believes Toya. Okay, Brianna believes Toya. Uh, Tamara Cook. Um, Brianna believes Toya. Don also said Brianna didn't fuck with you. Yeah, I believe that Brianna told people she didn't fuck with me. It was a while back when she was exposing Bri and Don. Said Bri, Don said Bri said she don't like her more because she's been trying. I guess you're gonna put something else on there. But anyway, y'all, I just wanted to come out here and tell y'all this. Um, she don't have to like me. Um, I don't. I'm not with the fuckery no more. I'm done with all of that bullshit. Um. Yeah, she said, child group, you better leave her more alone. She knows a lot about Brie. <laughs> but you know what? To be honest with you, I ain't even on that type of time. I, I, I don't want to see Brie hurt. I don't want to see Brie hurt. But I do believe that people should know that if she doesn't care, if she if she don't care about what the family has done to her and all the supporters that drug her, if she don't care about what they did to her, why should we? You know? She came on your panel and said they don't tell you everything because you act like her mom and that you like to run things. She came on your panel and said they don't tell you everything. What the things that they kept for me. <laughs> Let me read another question. <laughs> they don't tell me things because I wouldn't just sit there and listen to it and don't say nothing. OK, some of the stuff that. They kept for me, oh, I would have blew a motherfucking gasket up in this motherfucker had I known. And when I found out, it took me everything in my life not to fucking say nothing. Y'all better stop playing with me. I noticed that girl, Brehive Mouth, is very disrespectful. She is very disrespectful, very disrespectful. And if she see you saying anything about her, I hope you ain't in the group because she will kick your fucking ass out. Okay, I'm just letting you know. You are bigger and better than this dog more. And I is... And I am, you hear me? And I am, and I'm about to show, I ain't, I ain't got nothing to prove to nobody. I'm gonna prove it to my motherfucking self. I don't need this fucking saga, but they need to leave you alone and they better. <laughs> they better. <laughs> uh, was this skit, what, was this skit called now when to hold them? No one to hold them and no one to fold them. No one to walk away and no one to run. That's right, and I'm running. Running, baby, for the motherfucking border. She's a narcissist, and the narcissists are users. If they use people, they can. Well, I'm not going to say Brianna is a narc, but what I am going to say is, I'm not going to say Brianna is a narcissist. I don't want to say nothing like that. I think Brianna is young, and Brianna just don't know how to appreciate good people. That's what I'm going to say. She don't know how to appreciate good people. That's what I will say. But I don't think Robert does either. They both don't know how to appreciate good people. They will throw good people away in a minute. Okay. No, I definitely wasn't a yes woman. Mm -mm. 
But not only that, I I, I wouldn't uh, go along with some certain things, okay? Some people will. Mm. But anyway, y'all, I'm about to get off here. She said, no bingo tonight. Jenny, you still up here? I hear some, but then I, I, don't, I don't hear you. Are you talking, Jenny? I hear something, but then I don't hear nothing. But anyway, I believe Jenny is going live. Um, um, just don't be fighting the other support. If the other supporters say shit or whatever out of their mouth, let them say it, child. Stop windmilling, honey. Stop windmilling, baby. Don't get yourself all caught up into the windmills and fighting against people that she ain't even fighting against, honey. You hear me? Uh, she said, I want my money back, Kimberly. She said, you need to set up a girl's trip for all the supporters. We all need a break. When I get to uh, Texas, I'm going to do things. I'm going to, you know, we'll do something. Just let me, let me get comfy. Let me get, let me get tucked in. Let me get unpacked. You know what I'm saying? I don't think she's snoring, but I'm gonna put it down just in case she is snoring. But I'm sure she's gonna go and um and go live. But anyway, I'm gonna y'all will see me. Uh, she said the others don't hold her accountable, and when you do, you become a threat. Well, you know, I never, I never came in this. She said, check your inbox, positive vibes from her, and going forward. <laughs> Let me see what you said. Hold on. Check my inbox. Uh, hold on one second. I've been getting a lot of messages while I've been on live saying people saying I'm doing this for money and uh, and they on Bri Brianna's side. I don't I, I don't want them to turn against Brianna, to be honest with you. Don't turn against Brianna. Feel however you want to feel, but just know that. Just know what's up. <laughs> That's all. I don't see no message from you. I don't see no message from you, lady. But anyway, um, she said, I want to say some other shit, but I'm going to keep it to myself. Amor, thank you for your engagement and for being honest with us. Yeah, because I, I just couldn't sit here and allow people to continue fighting with those folks and this, that, and the other when she ain't, when she cool, when, you know, when y'all find out other stuff. Y'all gonna be like, what the fuck? So you might as well just get brace your damn self. You know what I mean? She said, if Brianna called to apologize once she listens to the live, what will your response be? She blocked. She ain't calling me. All of them blocked. I blocked all of them. I, I, once I heard what I said, that's enough for me. But the thing about it is I don't hate her. And if Brianna, I, I don't want anything from her because somebody asked me that yesterday. What do you want from Brianna? Not a damn thing. I don't want nothing from Brianna, okay? I don't even really want no apology because when you say that at your mouth, you mean that. You mean it. Okay. Now, if, you know, whatever the case may be, she meant it. I'm done with the situation. I don't even want to go back. That's why I really don't want to continue to talk about the story because I really don't want to go back. And I feel like if I continue to talk about the story, other stuff going to come out that I just don't want. I just, I just want to let, leave it alone. Just leave it alone. That's why I just want to move on. I don't want everything that we did to go in vain, but I will say this now. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Don't fight with Robert supporters, the things that they say about Brianna. And the reason why I say that is because she don't care and she is cool with a lot of them more than you know. She's talk, she talks to them. Okay? And when I found that out, I was like, you know, whatever, but she talked to them. They they making plans together and stuff like that, okay? So it's things that's going on behind the scene that y'all don't know about that if you knew, you would probably throw the fuck up, okay? So just know that it ain't what it seems, okay? It ain't what it seemed like. So we should just, you know, do whatever. Like I said, you know, yeah, like I like I said, I should have minded my motherfucking business, period. Okay. So anyway, but I'm about to hop off here. She's I know this is a 
is a is not about job, but I know he gone now. I don't know nothing about that, Nikki. Um, and I'm not, I wouldn't, that ain't that ain't none of my concern. That is not my concern. That's none of my concern. They they doing a reality show. <laughs> I don't know. Um, now that's a slap in the face. Oh, girl, keep watching. Keep watching. She said, Auntie Teresa said a lot more is going to come to light. We just need to sit back and watch. A lot more is going to come to light. A whole lot more. A whole lot more. How does your husband feel? Child, when my husband heard me crying, he came and consoled me. And he was like, damn, this is messed up or whatever. But other than that, um, I had cried out. Once I got it out, I was done. She said, just read and keep struggling. Don't defend. Okay, Brandy. I ain't defending shit no more. I'm not defending nothing no more. But I don't want, I don't want to lie and and put, you know, put a whole lie out there and continue a lie or whatever the case may be. God is always right on time of more exercise. And then just one more thing, y'all. Just one more thing. Just one more thing. So, you know. Excuse me. So, you know, um, the little comment when I came out here yesterday, all excited, y'all know, I came out here and said I just um, got my page on Facebook. I uh, got offered to the bonus program. So I heard, <laughs> I heard Breha try to, uh, 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 you know, say, oh, if everybody get that or try to downplay uh, me being invited to the bonus program. Let me be happy for what I want to be happy with. I wouldn't try to downplay anything that you excited about. So don't try to downplay what I'm excited about. You understand what I'm saying? So I thought that was kind of a little weird that she would try to downplay something that I got going on. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I just had to say that because I thought it was fucking funny when I heard it. And then I was like, but you know what? Let me tell y'all this, y'all. Don't tell me nothing else that, that them people say. I'm done with it. I'm out. I'm more out. I'm more out. Y'all will catch me tomorrow. Those that still support me, thank you already in advance for continue to support me. Those that hate my guts and mad because I'm not supporting Brianna any longer and I'm not going along with this bullshit any motherfucking longer. She said, was that your breakfast picture? Yes, that was my breakfast picture that I sent a picture to the uh, to Bri uh, to Denise and Brianna. I sent it to them. I was on the phone with them at two o'clock in the morning while I was cooking it, okay? So that was my food. That's my plate. That's my food that I cooked, okay? But at any rate, if y'all mad at me, I'm sorry that you're mad at me. Um, I don't dislike any of y'all. Still have much love for y'all. If y'all want to continue to support me, you can, and I will appreciate it. If you don't want to support me, I understand. But I just did not want you guys to continue being hurt because what you're going to see coming out real soon is going to hurt your fucking feelings. You understand what I'm saying? You're going to be like, what the fuck? So anyway, like I said, you continue to just watch um, with your eyes. i got more stuff coming for those that really rock with me and those that don't rock with me. I am A-okay with that, okay? And I don't care nothing about no subliminals because I know how to do subliminals too. And I know they ain't ready for that. But anyway, I feel for the ones that we we formed a bond with that still love me, I still love y'all. For those that don't love me, I'm so sorry, child. Jump on another train, baby, because this might not be the train for you because we're going in a whole different direction, okay? But I appreciate those that do support me that's going to continue to support me. And, and I was told by Breha that you guys ain't my motherfucking supporters no more, that y'all are Brianna supporters. That's what she said. They ain't your supporters no way. Well, those that continue to support me, and I don't care if it's just 50 of y'all, but those that continue to support me, thank you in advance. And I guess we'll just have to see on the next live, okay? And those that continue to support whoever else, y'all can continue to support whoever else, okay? All right, so I'm done. I'm done with Rehab. I do not want a relationship with her. She ain't got to apologize to me. I'm not apologizing to her. She's a mean person, period. And I don't want to have nothing else to do with her. And I better shut up before I put something else on the floor. 
So I'm going to log off before I get in my motherfucking feelings and really put some shit all the way down on the motherfucking floor to where it fall all the way through. Okay, so I'm going to log the fuck off because I feel it coming up and Lord knows it's taking everything in my goddamn body not to say what the fuck I really want to say. But I am not going to say it because I don't want to go out like that. Okay, so, but uh, yeah, that part. All right. So anyway, I already unfollowed Denise. I unfollowed uh, Brehive. I'm not a part of the Brehive. If y'all mad because I'm not a part of Brehive, I'm sorry. But I'm not a part of no Brehive. Okay? I ain't with nobody. I'm independent moving forward. I'm independent. I'm like Jenny. Independent. Okay? I'm independent. I ain't, listen, the sisterhood that I developed, I'm still rocking with y'all. The ones that ain't rocking with me, then I ain't rocking with y'all no more. Period. But anyway, love those that love me. Okay? Now, I'm going to drop the fucking mic before I pick that bitch back up and slam it on the motherfucking ground. Okay? All right. Bye, y'all.